I say, I'm no average paladin. What? Well, that checks out. Ah, man, I'm kind of bored now. You're still alive? I didn't give you permission to live. How the hell are you still kicking? <sighs> It's not even funny anymore. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna take pity on you. Mainly because I kind of feel bad, but also I think leaving you alive is the worst thing. What? Good luck with, well, you know, all that stuff. <laughs> Get back here and fight me, demon! <clears throat> oh, Emperor Zeal. This is you telling me that my time has come. I accept. <clears throat> oh, I'm still alive. Well, knowing the gods, I don't deserve the kindness of death. Uh, come on, get up! Uh, not sure if this is a second wind or just adrenaline. <clears throat> but I'll take what I can get. <clears throat> God's a temple. Oh, looks like I get to die another day. God, I hate the temple doors. Who thought it was such a good idea to make them so big? What did Syndergorn demand an entrance that could handle his massive throbbing di- ah! It opens outwards. Because of course it does. That's... That's stupid. Where am I? What are you looking at? Oh, wait. You're a sister paladin, aren't you? <laughs> My apologies. I couldn't tell under that resting bitch face of yours. So... Who's in charge here? It obviously isn't you. I can tell. You'd have sooner let me die on the door of the temple if that were true. <laughs> Not gonna tell me, eh? <laughs> Fine. I'll figure it out myself. Well, let's start with the obvious. <sighs> My wounds haven't been tended to, but I've been moved to a bed. I'm gonna take a wild guess and say whoever moved me uh, decided to teach you a lesson in helping others, regardless of who they are. That is a virtue of Cindergorn, after all. So tell me, am I close? What makes me think... <laughs> are you playing dumb? <laughs> I've never seen dumb on a woman before. It doesn't suit you. Leave being dumb to me from now on, princess. Anyway... The reason you hate me is very simple. You got a good look at the bastard's mark on my chest. The mark that shows that I am born of the sin of mankind. There's no point denying you saw it. I can tell when a woman puts my shirt back on, even in my current state. <laughs> you always make it look so neat, but it's always too tight around the neck. <clears throat> there. So. You don't like that I'm a bastard, eh? <laughs> you know, I could name five women who'd kill to be where you are right now. Give me some time, I could also name five men. To kill me? <laughs> well, that would be some stabbing happening, sure. <laughs> ah. Ow. Ah, look, can you put your grudges on hold for five minutes? I'm pretty sure I'm bleeding out here. I wouldn't want to be the one to clean the blood from these bedsheets. Uh, 
How'd I get all torn up? <laughs> you actually care? Hmm. The battalion I was assigned to was attacked by a demon. I was the only survivor. Yeah, well, it was a suicide mission, so go figure. <laughs> Which demon? What, you don't believe me? Well, I think his name was Kravitas. Did we kill him? <laughs> well, what do you think? Would I really be here right now getting my wounds treated by someone who hates my guts? I'm starting to think you're actually that dumb- Ow! <sighs> okay. Maybe I deserve that. <clears throat> ah! Oh, wow. You have some impeccable bedside manner. Tell me, how quickly do the people you treat recover? I'm surprised you don't hold some kind of world record. Well, anyway, no. No, I didn't kill the demon. Uh. Yeah, I'm surprised he left me alive, too. Am I hurt anywhere else? Well, uh, yeah, actually. Right down here, if you don't mind, uh, just, uh, maybe giving it a little kiss. Uh, ah, that stinks. <laughs> <laughs> Good? You hate bastards that much, huh? No, no, I completely get it. I understand. Most people hate me. Even other bastards. I think it's because I remind them of what they are. Loveless, sinful mistakes. But I've come to terms with it. In fact, I find I can do the things most people here can't. <laughs> what kind of things? <laughs> Well, wouldn't you like to know? Maybe you'd like me to show you. Oh, so now your virtues suddenly matter. <laughs> what? Afraid I was going to add you to my list of conquests. I wasn't even going to bring that up. I was just going to say how I get to speak ill of the gods. Speak Trigus' name in vain and all that. It's actually quite liberating. You should try it sometime, sister. Might help with all that pent-up anger you're repressing. <sighs> so, tell me, how did someone so spiteful end up in the sisterhood? You'd make a great knight sergeant, albeit it's an angry one. Then again, most are, so there wouldn't be much difference. <laughs> Following family tradition, eh? Well, I don't... Need to tell you how I feel about that. So, a family dedicated to the faith, huh? <laughs> you must be proud. But you don't look proud. Let me guess. Mm, trouble in paradise? <laughs> Why do I care? <laughs> well, I don't, but... <laughs> Okay, 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 ow, I get it, I get it, I get it. But I did want to know, alright, so just, are you gonna tell me, or? <laughs> Seriously? After all that, you're still not gonna tell me? Oh well, I tried to be nice, but I don't know what I was expecting. <clears throat> Look, it's not that I don't appreciate you patching me up, but I should get going before... What do you want from me? Is this about the list of conquests thing? Because if so, I wasn't going to add you to the list anyway. I find that sleeping around with brothers and sisters of the church can get you into some hot water. Fast. Don't ask me how I know that. It's not about that? <laughs> Jeez. At this point, I'm starting to think this is a cry for help. Oh. All right. What's the job? What did I say about playing dumb? It's obvious you want me to do something sacrilegious. Otherwise, you'd uh, go to someone a bit more, uh, let's say, more qualified than me. <laughs> Look at me using big words. You need me to kill someone. 
Well, that's fine. We paladins kill each other all the time. <laughs> oh, it's one of your brothers. Well, now you have my attention. So, let's hear it. Why does the sister of Syndagon want a brother paladin dead? And a family member of that? <laughs> no, I, I guess I don't need to know the why, but uh, I do need to know the where. You can't expect me to kill someone without knowing where they are. The Mantle of Emprazil. You do know that place is referred to as the Circle of Madness for a reason, right? Hey, I was already going to help you, don't panic. And don't push your luck either. What is this, your first time or something? <laughs> yeah, well, you did patch me up. And besides, nothing in life is free. Not even friends. I'll be back then. Not sure when, but who knows. Maybe I'll get lucky and finally die. You... <clears throat> you can't come with me. <laughs> you need proof. Ah, so you found me out. I knew you were smarter than what you were letting on. But seriously, what about the temple? You gonna abandon your family for this? Your duty to Syndagorn? <laughs> They'll understand, huh? You have a lot of faith in your family. I guess that makes sense. Alright, fine. If you're absolutely sure about this, I'll take you with me. But let's lay down some ground rules. Number one, no complaining. I've traveled with enough faithfuls to know that none of them like walking for long distances. So yeah, none of that. Number two, pee before you go. Unnecessary pee breaks are the actual worst. And finally, number three, take the bare essentials only. If you get tired out there because you brought too much, I'm leaving you behind, understood? You wanted to come with me, I don't make the rules. You know, except for those three. So, you still want to go? You do. <laughs> well, all right then. <clears throat> we'll leave first thing tomorrow. Since we're actually doing this, I'll need some time for my wounds to recover. Name? Yeah, yeah. I think I got one of those. Albus. Albus York. Of Clan York? <laughs> no, no. I have no clan. I was disgraced. It was a pretty big deal, actually. I think it was even made into a tale sung by all the clans of the North. You never heard the song? <laughs> well, good. I, uh, I don't know what you were expecting me to say. Eh? <laughs> what about my duty to my battalion? Well, uh, they'd understand. Besides, that demon left me alive. I want to make him regret it. Also, my battalion hated me, so what do I care? <clears throat> well, I'd better get some sleep. Big day tomorrow, sister. Good night. You still here? <laughs> you know, I usually find when I'm sleeping in a room with other people, there's always someone on top of me. It's not going to happen? Well, in that case, kindly get out. I don't sleep with an audience. Wait. Wait. Before you go. Thanks. <laughs> For taking care of me, what else? Maybe you are that dumb after all. <laughs> uh, oh. Oh. That's the reaction I was expecting. Uh, damn. Why do I fall for the bitchy ones?
All right. Looks like we're approaching the border. <sighs> hey, how are you holding up back there? Oh, what did I say? Rule number one, no complaining. <laughs> Fucking faithfuls. Can't walk a mile without one complaint. I'm guessing you broke rule number three as well. <laughs> Judging by that suitcase you're carrying. If I didn't know better, I'd say you were trying to get off world. That's a sin against Syndagorn though, isn't it? To abandon family in matters of hardship. <laughs> That's what I thought. So, what could be so important that you need to lug around that thing? Oh, it's a secret, is it? Well, your secret is weighing you down. Dump it and we'll get to where we need to be by sunrise. Pfft, no arguing with you, is there? All right, fine, but don't expect me to pick up the slack. What? Ugh, so you're finally gonna break rule number two. <laughs> Unnecessary pee breaks. And all this time I thought you'd forgotten. How generous of you to remember. Ugh, we're not even out of the Eastern Faith lands yet. <sighs> no, I'm not tired. I'm a warrior. Endurance is what we do. The only thing I'm tired of at this point is your shit. Fine, fine, go pee. At this point, we might as well set up camp for the night. N now hold on a minute, that wasn't an invitation to- <sighs> No reasoning. Pfft, not typical. Then again, who is ever reasonable around here? There you are. <laughs> Took your sweet time. Let me guess, number one turned into number two? Nowhere to wash your hands? <laughs> well, forgive me, Highness. I thought you were just a bitch. As it turns out, you're a pompous bitch. <laughs> yeah, surprise, surprise, you're in the wilderness. There's no soap, there's no conditioner, there's no nicely folded bedsheets. Tents? <laughs> what tents? Just sleep in a tree. Look, you wanted to camp out, okay? Maybe, if you'd travelled lighter, we'd have made it to another temple by now, or an inn or something. But you didn't, so we didn't. Happy tree climbing, Highness. Try not to fall out. Oh, and watch out for spores. You don't know what a spore is? <laughs> well, it's like this big, hairy-legged thing that latches onto your face and and plants its eggs into your ears. I don't think there's any out here. But supposedly the further south you go, the smaller they are and the less frequent they appear. But who knows? You just might have some tiny spore eggs nesting in your ears tonight. You never know. <laughs> oh, I'm an arsehole, am I? Yeah. Tell me something I don't know. Ah. <sighs> Ugh. All right, I get it, you're upset. I'm gonna go get some wood to get a fire started. Don't panic, I'm not going far. You're still nervous about spores? <laughs> really? Well look, spores don't do hotter environments. It's why there's less of them in the south. Start a fire and they run like hell. Okay, so just... Don't worry about it. You're gonna be safe. Pfft, seriously? You're gonna follow me? Look, I get that you think being a bitch is cute. And to your credit? Sure. But, it doesn't mean you have to act like a dog and follow me everywhere. Come on, you're a big girl. You can sit still for five minutes, can't you? Ugh, fine, okay, fine. <sighs> women. Nothing, nothing. Uh, come on then. Let's see. <clears throat> <clears throat> there we go. Help me carry these. Okay, you got it? 
Good. Now just... I thought you said you had it. <laughs> Look at you. Jumping at shadows. Come on, pick them up. There's nothing in the grass. Just pick them up. Ugh, fine, hold my sword. Don't unsheath it. You'll hurt yourself more with that than you will with anything in this grass. Oh, okay. Let's get started. Food? What do I look like, a restaurant? No, I don't have food. I have load pills. Here. Pop one of those, and you don't need food or water for a month. What? What do you mean they taste gross? Hey! That's good nutrition you're wasting there. Pretty sure that's a sin, too. You're not supposed to taste them. You're supposed to chew and swallow. How do you not know that? Pfft. Fine, whatever. Starve. It's your life after all. Who am I to tell you what to do? Ugh. Ugh. Here, catch. They're dry biscuits. Not exactly nourishing food, but, uh... uh I guess it tastes good. Look, just, just don't ask questions, okay? Y you don't want to know where I got them from. Don't thank me, just eat, okay? And, and try to make them last. Gods only knows how much longer this is going to take. Where are we going? <laughs> We've been walking for miles, and now you ask. You didn't want to be rude. <laughs> I, I don't even know what to say to that. Okay, well, we're heading to the Southern Forge Lands. Why? <laughs> Look, you, you want to go to the Mantle of Empresil, right? And the fastest way to get there is by ship. Unless you want to walk through the Fires of Hatred Crusade style. Yeah, didn't think so. Can't believe paladins actually do that. Too many times I've seen good men go off to die because of that stupid right thing to do bullshit. Damasis. Anyway, we'll get a ship and head there the fast way. Hopefully it'll be easy. We get into the ship depot, we hire a ship that can withstand the mantle, go to said mantle and kill your brother. Easy. Oh, and, and by the way, the ship is probably going to cost you. I don't have that kind of money on me, so it'll have to come from you. What's that look for? Look, I'm not asking you to buy a top-of-the-line battle cruiser, okay? I just need something with air conditioning so we don't burn to death in a tin can. Pfft, okay, fine, look. If it's that bad, we can just take it out of my pay. But just so you know, I still want to be paid. Don't use it all, okay? And if that's still not possible, well, I guess we can just steal a ship. <laughs> oh, no way, that's a sin. Well, I had no idea. It's almost like I'm a bastard or something. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, shit. Actually, someone I know is contracted in the Southern Forge Lands. Well, hopefully, we'll never meet him. Why? <laughs> Have you ever met my friends? No? <laughs> you know why? Because I don't have friends. And this person knows me, too. Worse still, he's family. So, like I said, hopefully we'll never meet. <sighs> Come on, stand up. Let me see your hands. I'm not gonna hurt you, just let me see him. Hmm. Yeah, as I thought. You've never fought a day in your life, have you? <laughs> Why is that important, she says. We're on a mission to go kill someone, and you don't think fighting is important. You're really that thick in the head, or are you just playing with me? Come on, over here. Ugh, catch. Yeah, 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 I know. It's a sin for those who look after the temples to train in the art of combat. Sacred Rules of Convent, right? How do I know that? <laughs> I can know things sometimes. You mad? Go on then, strike me. Wide open here. Oh, come on. 
like you haven't wanted to hit me at least once on this little journey of ours. Come on, take a swing at me. You know you want to. I know. You want me to call you a bitch again? Oh, now you're playing holier than thou. Oh, you would never, would you? So let's say a man, like me, would have come right up to you. Pin you against a tree. Hey, that'll do nicely. <laughs> Just like that. And then, for the sake of arguments, of course, he has his way with you. You, the poor, helpless little sister of the church, who's never fought a day in her life, gets taken advantage of. You're just gonna let it happen? Or are you gonna stop being a little bitch and kick me in the fucking dick? <laughs> good effort. But every good warrior never leaves home without a metal guard piece on the cock. You should count yourself lucky. Some paladins put spikes on theirs. I have to admit it's a smart idea in theory. Until you start walking funny to avoid getting pricked in the leg every five seconds. <laughs> now, lesson one. The enemy will always put you at a disadvantage. How's that leg of yours doing right now? Lesson two. The enemy will always try to have you on the defensive. <laughs> so the goal is to find an opening or a weak point. Come on, don't just dodge. Of course I'm using my sword. Don't you remember the first lesson? <laughs> you have a long way to go, sister. Now, this time I'll let you take the first swing at me. Aren't you lucky? Come on then. Don't be shy. Oh, whoa! <laughs> Guess you got all riled up then, eh? <clears throat> whoa. Whoa! <laughs> Damn, you're hot when you're angry. Whoa! Your grip is too tight. Loosen it up a bit. There you go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's why you don't do wide swings. Leaves you open. Oh. 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 By the way, have you taken notice of your footing? Despite the fact that you're on the attack, I'm the one moving forward. Now why is that, do you want? <laughs> Tired already, Faithful. You know, it's a good thing no one can see us in this position. Else they might think I was doing unholy things to that holy body of yours. <clears throat> Come on, let me help you up. Oh, <laughs> knocking my hand out the way, huh? <laughs> no, no, you were in the right. I was totally going to knock you back down again. That's actually another lesson. Never, under any circumstances, believe a bastard. Oh, it's time to get some rest. Oh, stop being a baby. I only bruised you. I could have done a lot worse. My night trainer broke my arms in five different places before we fought. <sighs> yeah, old Sandy really knew how to fuck a man up. And let me tell you, my arms weren't the only thing she broke. <laughs> what do I mean? Oh, come on now, you don't need me to tell you that. Sex. We had sex, okay? A knight's training involves knowing how to fight hard and pleasure harder. Anything less is unacceptable. Besides, you don't think she was called Sandy for no reason, do you? <laughs> oh, I still have the scars. What a woman. Barbaric. You know that's what all the knights go through, right? We're trained to fight and fuck like it's the last thing we'll ever do. So yeah, you're god's damned right it's barbaric. But it's all we know, so it's all we do. Of course you can choose to become a parent, continue your clan's legacy, become a true paladin, a knight faithful to the man or woman you've chosen to be with. And if you ever break that code, say you get a little bit too curious with a tavern whore and... The idea of doing something a little bit taboo is just so hot. The sins are passed down to your little mistake. 
<laughs> me? Well, yeah, me and every other no-good bastard. Upsides, of course, is that we can do the sinful jobs. You know, the ones the average knights are forbidden to do. We can do anything from eating inside temples to fucking monsters that lurk in Emperor Zeal's core. I haven't done that one yet, but, uh, you know, it's on my bucket list. Of course, some of the jobs we get are kind of odd or boring or just straight up suicide. For example, I was once approached by this sister paladin who worked for a temple of Syndergorn, and she asked me to kill her brother. <laughs> Well, I had to work you into the conversation somehow. How does that story end? Well, I'm stuck between two endings. In one ending, the job gets finished, we have a few laughs, maybe there's a sex scene followed by some sharp regret, and we go our separate ways. The other ending is that we both die horribly. So tell me, which one sounds better to you? <laughs> you hate both? Well... I was never much of a writer anyway. You look tired. Come on then. Guess we'll have to find out what that ending is ourselves. And we can't do that unless you get some sleep. Yeah, yeah, don't worry, I'm staying up. You're not gonna get attacked, just uh, focus on getting some sleep. I don't care, there aren't any pillows. Just find a comfortable position and conk out. What are you- Oh, you can't be serious. Hey, wake up! Ugh. Fuck my life. You had to fall asleep on my shoulder, huh? Damn it. You're lucky you're so damn cute. Shit. Oh, hell, I'm getting tired. Ugh. I hate you so much. Hmm? Ah! And you're absolutely certain about that? I yes sir. No one can commission a ship without direct say-so from the Forge Master. Fuck. It's just like him to take over everything. I is something wrong, sir? No, you can go. Well, you heard the man faithful. Guess we'll have to go elsewhere. <laughs> no, we can't talk to the Forge Master. He'll just say no. <laughs> Look, I know, alright? It took us forever to get here. We're really sick of each other, and now we're stuck. Let's just find a place to relax and figure this out later, okay? Hey! I do not quit all the time, okay? Just because we've been traveling together for a week doesn't mean you know everything about me. You don't know anything, okay? So tell you! What, what you think it's just... <sighs> Come here. The Forge Master here is one of my half brothers, Devlin York. Unlike me, he got to grow up with the rest of the family, and he doesn't exactly have a high opinion of me as a result. If we go to him, he's gonna turn down whatever I tell him. Will he turn you down? <laughs> I, I don't know. Uh, your mission is heretical. He might not want to be aiding a misdeed. <laughs> I'm sorry, did you just say, then just don't tell him? <laughs> I think I'm starting to rub off on you. Oh no, I kinda like it. Alright, fine. We'll do things your way. 
It's a stupid plan, but then again, we're stupid people. Right. Hey, Forge Hand. Uh, yes, sir? Take that cute house of yours to the Forge Master. We'll be in his chambers. Tell him... Daddy's here to see him. Night Paladin York! Oh my, right away, sir! <laughs> Can't wait to see the look on old Vinny's face. Um, Forge Master? Not now, Belfast. I thought I told you I wasn't to be disturbed whilst I worked on my father's flagship. I, I understand that, Forge Master. It's just that, that there, there's someone in your chambers. Who is it? They're looking for a ship. They can wait three to five business days just like everyone else. It's your father. He's here? Impossible. By the gods, how do I look? Am I presentable? He wasn't set to come to the Southern Forgelands for two more weeks. What brought him here so soon? Belfast, tell me. Uh, um, um... No, you're right. I'm, I'm better off asking him in person. I am a son of York. Confidence, Devlin. Confidence. Here we go. <clears throat> Father? Hey, Vinny! How's my little brother? You... First of all, half brothers. Secondly, I'm two years older than you. Third, never call me Vinny again. Fourth, get out. Wait, are you talking about the chair? You mean out of the chair? Of my life! And take your repulsive behavior with you. Oh, I missed you too. Belfast! I yes, sir? Why did you tell me it was my father? Well, I... Oh, uh, actually, that's on me. I told him to do it. Thanks, Forge Hand. You perform spectacularly. Oh, and by the way, your mouth felt great. Ten out of ten. Belfast, you may leave. Make sure we are not disturbed. Yes, Forge Master. Oh, God, how do you get anything done when you got a cute little ass like his walking around? Oh, I just want to take a bite out of it. You will not touch any of my forge hands. <laughs> okay, okay, I get it. You've already called dibs, haven't you? <sighs> Must you always be so vulgar? And what is this? Hmm? Oh. Yes. Oh, what, you didn't think I'd notice the tavern hall you brought with you? No, wait, don't tell him. <laughs> it's funnier this way. Tell me what? Nothing. Nothing at all. Albus, who is this? Wait, is that the crest of Syndergon on your sash? Your sister Paladin? I... I apologize, sister. Please, forgive my rudeness. I had no idea the triad would take an interest in coming here. Whatever you'd like, simply say the word and it's yours. Anything to appease the gods and make up for my transgressions. Oh, for fuck's sake. Could you brown nose any harder? Pray tell, what is your business here, sister? She needs a ship that can traverse the mantle. The mantle of Emprazil? Why in the gods' names would you... Uh, I, I do apologize. I am not one to question your will. Please take a look at this catalogue. These are all the ships we have that can withstand the inner circles. You may choose from anyone you like. By all means, take your time. We won't need to. We'll take that one. You can't have that one. Excuse me? Please, sister. Any ship but that one, I beg of you. <laughs> well, now I want it more. It's not ready at the moment. It's undergoing repairs. Isn't that it? There, in the window. <laughs> Looks pretty ready to me. Yes, but as I was saying, it isn't ready. It still needs... Uh, proper fittings and adjustments, so if you could- Excuse me, but this is a sister of the Temple of Syndergorn. If the lady wants a ship, she gets it. And by the looks of how you've got it propped up in the window there, it's a real good one. You can't have it. I'm, I'm sorry. It's Father's ship, isn't it? No. Yes. It's not. <laughs> oh, it definitely is. Faithful, let me tell you something. Vinny isn't just a brown noser, but for Father, he's also a cocksucker. And a terrible liar. He'd do anything to get noticed by Daddy Dearest. To be recognized by a paladin of the realm, especially one of such high esteem, is what anyone in the world would want. I don't want that. That's because you can never have that. You're a bastard child. A reject and a product of sin. If you even had anything resembling a chance to have that, you would want it. <laughs> Look, I don't mind sucking dick, but if it's for attention you can forget it. I'm also incredibly against incest. 
Unlike Vinny here, who'd drop his pants and bend over at the first sight of Father's greatsword. That's disgusting! How dare you say such things about Father! You know what? You're right. It's more of a short sword anyway- Ow! Thank you, sister. I'm happy to see that the time you've spent with him hasn't dulled your sense of duty. Oh, I could have taken those stupid family heirlooms off first. Ah, oh, it's gonna leave a mark. That's what you deserve. <laughs> anyway, sister, might I ask what your mission is? It will help me to help you to choose a more adequate ship. A delivery mission, you say? What could you possibly be delivering to the inner circle? It, it's not my place to question. I, I beg your pardon, sister. I have a habit of speaking my mind at inopportune times. Please allow me to show you the cargo ships we have at your disposal. What? Why can't you take the ship in the window? Well, b because it's not ready to launch. Am I lying? Please do not take that ship, I, I beg of you. Yes, I was lying. Because it's a ship that I have spent hours crafting to perfection for Knight Paladin York. Ha! <laughs> I called it. Forgive me, sister. My sin goes deeper. Damn! This is a full-blown theatrical, and I don't have anything to chew on. I... used resources given to me for a military commission to build the ship. No way. I didn't use much. It's just I was running low on thermal plating. The Interplanetary Division makes lighter plating than anything I can get locally. Tut tut, little brother. You shut up! Lest we bring up your sins. Oh, I'm proud of my sins. All the public drunkenness, laughing during funeral services, having a fivesome. Pretty proud of that last one. Ah, uh, ah, uh, no, 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 I'm fine. Okay, I'll stop. Please forgive me, sister. You will? Conditions? Uh, of course. Anything. You wish to see my father's ship? Ah, you wish to see the places where I've stolen materials? Of course, anything to absolve this act of filth I have committed. i better come too. I am your bodyguard after all. Don't want this sinner taking advantage of you, eh? <laughs> That's rich coming from you, bastard. The ship is armed with 50 broadswords, 25 on each side set in two rows of 12 with the remaining two broadswords near the bow. Each broadsword is loaded with phoenix shells blessed by Trigus, god of victory. We're here to talk about your fuck-ups, Vinny, not your ego. I'm aware. I just wanted to show you the good work I've done. <sighs> Always so prideful. By the way, I brought all your shit on board. Hope it's worth it. Whatever it is. My sin technically starts here in the engine room. Well, well. Looks like my brother's magnum opus doesn't shine so brightly. The endothermic energy is siphoned from rocks that come from a heat mine in the west. The rocks were sent to me to be solely for military commissions. Sorry, I neglected to mention that. Stealing fuel and hull plating from his majesty's holy army. How scandalous, little brother. Please forgive me, sister. Oh, you're too forgiving of him. I say give him lashings. Isn't that what you temple folk do? Then again, he'd probably enjoy that. Thank you, sister. I will return the materials tenfold after your visit. I swear by Syndagorn's will. This plating, it's all stolen, you said, right? Yes, but not all of it. I was able to create some myself. It's just that my commissions had more that was readily available. Not a patient man, are you? Of course you would say that. It's so easy for warriors to receive recognition through combat. How is someone like me supposed to also be recognized for my work? See, this is the kind of thing I could never get behind. Life is just so much better when you have no bullshit standards. But with no standards, you lack a moral compass. <laughs> Who uses a compass anyway? A good warrior can simply navigate using the stars. Why are you staring at me like that? <laughs> I'm not apologizing if that's what you're looking for. Such a fool. Here we have the ship's black box, which records everything, from commands entered into the computer to vocal commands given to the crew, complete with clear audio playback. So, the black box records everything we say, including what we're saying right now. 
Yes? That sounds like a violation of one's privacy. This is a working ship. It is a public space, not a private abode. Yeah, but I mean, who hasn't said something off the cuff like, uh, Oh, I'm gonna make the captain my bitch after this shit. You know, just on a long-haul mission, you know, something like that. I mean, this is also Dad's ship, right? Surely the old man is entitled to some privacy, especially when he's cheating on his fifth wife. Think of it as insurance to prevent sinful acts on journeys like those. Oh, right, because we both know Dad would do a lot of that. He's not even your father! <laughs> yes, he is. Oh, moving on. This is the bridge, perfectly designed to harmonize with my father's commanding style. Here, let me try. What are you- Helmsman, bring me a whore! I wish to feast on her breast milk. Get out of that chair! How'd you make it go? The controls aren't responding. Aha, uh -huh. an isometric lock. Only my father and I can gain full control of this ship. Right, so in order for me to gain control, I'd have to enter some kind of password. One I could, say, find in the ship's black box system. No, it's a voice command. Voice lock, right. So all I'd have to say is, Computer, disengage isometric lock. Except, it's coded to only respond to my voice. I'd have to say, Computer, disengage isometric locks. Oh, thanks, bro. Ugh. Ooh, I've been waiting to do that. Okay. We have about 20 minutes before the Forge Hands raise the alarm and they find out their master isn't responding. You know how to sail this thing, right? <laughs> Why would you assume that I know that? Well, this is gonna end well. Maybe there's some kind of autopilot. Uh, computer! Uh, activate autopilot and prepare for launch. That seems to be working. See if you can find a manual. I'm gonna need some help, and you can do that by telling me which buttons not to press. Okay, let's see. Oh, okay, so that goes forward, and that means that this one... ...fires the forward guns, apparently. Why are the controls set up like this? Does my old man really prefer it this way? Ugh. Well... At least we have a way out. Hold on tight, Faithful! We're going full blast! Damn! What was that? Why aren't we moving? You found a codex on how it works. Alright, tell me why it won't go. What are you handing it to me for? I can't read! Look, just tell me what to do, okay? What do you see? Chains. Shit, of course! We're tied down. Well, guess we gotta shoot them off. Uh-oh. That doesn't look good. Forgemaster? Is everything okay up there? Go figure out the broadswords. I'll deal with this. Uh, yeah. Hi. The, uh, the Forgemaster's fine. He just, uh, fell asleep on some controls. You know, he's been pretty busy lately, so it's, uh, only natural he'd have trouble staying awake. Oh! Does he need anything? Well, no, no. He, he's fine. Why isn't your video feed on? Uh, pff, I, I don't know. He's the egghead, it's his ship. Wait a minute. It is working. Why can't I see anything? It's probably some kind of glitch or something, right? Just an everyday act of the gods. You know what that's like. Hey, you're just covering the camera feed with your hand, aren't you? Gotta go. <sighs> Damn, Forge Hands. You really made them simp for you, Vinny. If I were father, I'd be proud. Oh, broadswords are online. Good job. Okay, let's get out of here. Uh, uh, well, looks like they aren't chasing us. We'll be crossing into the outer mantle soon. But for now, we should dump our excess baggage overboard. Yes, I'm talking about Devlin. Oh, come on, he's not gonna help us. He's just gonna complain and try to sabotage us at every step of the journey. You even had to lie to him about your mission. <laughs> not very honorable of you. Anyone ever tell you you look cute when you're lying through your teeth? <laughs> you also have a tendency to blush a little bit when you lie. Oh, yes, you do. <laughs> oh, you're doing it now. <laughs> uh oh. Hey, what? Albus, did you knock me out? Okay, to be fair, it was her plan, not mine. Sister? Why? Why would you go through all of this just to. Oh, come on, Vinny. Use that big brain of yours. Why would a sister of Cindergorn be traveling with a bastard like me? 
your quest. What is your quest? We're gonna kill someone. Someone? Who? No, wait, don't tell me. Computer, isometric. No, 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 none of that. You see, he's gonna cause nothing but trouble. So, as I was saying, let's just throw him overboard and be done with this. <laughs> Are you serious? Oh, fine. Guess it's your lucky day, little brother. You get to go to hell with us. My travels to this place have revealed a great deal to me. Despite what we have been taught, there is more of an horror, death, and evil within the mantle. I once came across a ghostly creature of black smoke in my travels. I had heard stories of this creature from crusaders that would pass through the temple. It wanders innocently, yet it has a curiosity that rivals my own. It would not let me pass once it had seen me. Normally, a paladin would simply slay this creature upon contact. I, however, found another way. What do you want? You wanted to know what I'm up to. Well, I was just dreaming about you being naked. So, you know, nothing too exciting. <laughs> so, what about you? How's our prisoner? Is he dead yet? No? Mm, shame that. He's a hazard to have on the ship. You know that, right? All he has to do is say one voice command and the ship turns around. Then we're screwed. We should throw him overboard. Yeah, yeah, I know you don't want to, but in my fucking existence. Well, anyway, we won't be crossing into the mantle for a while. Forgot I had to account for how we get to the mantle without being found out. All we can do now is keep the princess locked in the castle. Suppose it's one way to stop being bored? <laughs> I'll go and, uh, watch over him. You stay here. Tell me if you see any black clouds in the sky. It means we're close. Hey, take in the stars while you can, Faithful. There's no starlight where we're going, so enjoy it while you can. Come on, open. Computer, open the door. Oh, praise Trigus. I think you're supposed to praise me, actually. Although I'm questioning why you are. Albus? Fuck! <laughs> Language, brother. Don't you know we have a sister of Syndagorn on board? Man, that black box recorder's gonna be the death of you with language like that. <laughs> then again, I suppose it's working as intended, right? You can't keep me down here forever. According to our gracious host, we're gonna have to. Hey, I don't like it either. You think I want to be stuck on a metal tub with daddy's little cock sleeve? Oh, you must stop. What about you? What are you getting out of aiding this misdeed? Let me guess, that poor sister is offering you her body. <laughs> are you kidding me? I wouldn't tap that with a ten-foot pole. And by pole, I mean- Ah, I know what you meant! <laughs> well, besides that, she's not putting out. She's very orthodox. Your kind of girl, Vinny. 
It is forbidden for paladins to fool around with those- With those who work for the temples. Yeah, yeah, but I don't exactly think that stops those who don't believe in the orthodox ways, now does it? I mean, look at Father. Oh, here we go again. N no, seriously. He was always the progressive type. My mother, she was a sister paladin before Father came along and got her addicted to his two-inch wonder. Ugh. Well, anyway, I am surprised that you haven't just taken advantage of that sister. Isn't that what bastard warriors do? Hey, I make sure people consent before I take advantage of them. Sure, I'm a bastard, but I'm not heartless. Says the man who wants to throw me overboard. Would you throw me overboard if our roles were reversed? That's different. How? No, no, seriously, I want to know. In what way is that different? The difference is that I haven't done something illegal, Albus. Well, that stolen paneling would say otherwise, Vinny. Stop calling me that! I am Forge Master Devlin York, and you will address me with respect. I have no respect for you, Vinny. The feeling is mutual. Kill yourself. Go fuck yourself, Albus. Already did. Twice before noon, I always say. Looks like I'm two steps ahead of you, little brother. How does that even... The hell was that? The emergency brake was tripped. Probably by some kind of obstruction outside. Which direction are we going? We're headed east, across the Heretic Sea. I figured it was the best way to get into the mantle unnoticed. Hmm. Could be another vessel, or we could be in the mantle sooner than you thought. Wait, you were going to throw me overboard into the middle of the sea? Oh, don't be such a baby. We'd have given you a life preserver thingy. But those things only last a couple of hours! Albus? Albus, come back! Ugh, I've got to find a way out of this cell. Hey, what are you doing on the bridge? You weren't gonna sail this thing by yourself now, were you? <laughs> oh, and by the way, black clouds in the sky, what gives? I thought you were gonna tell me when we got in- What is... Huh. Okay, we'll save the accusations. So what you're looking at on the view screen there is, um... Well, they're called shades. No one actually knows what they are. I knew this one guy. You know, a bastard. Anyway, he believed they're the souls who lost their way on the path to being one with the core of the world. Doomed to walk blindly across the mantle for all eternity. What do I believe? I don't give a shit. But what I don't understand is why there's so many of them in front of us right now. Usually they're few and far between and just wandering around. These ones aren't even moving. According to the scanner, looks like they're all around us and... Huh. I think... I think they're watching us. Who? <laughs> oh, you should have seen the look on your face! Oh, oh, I needed that. All right, all right, don't worry. I'll arm the broadswords and blast a path through them. What do you mean, no? Look, they aren't letting us through, and I don't want to wait around and find out what those things can actually do. Yes, I know it's your decision, but that doesn't th I mean, you gotta think- Okay, fine. You're the boss. Apparently you're fucking crazy too. Okay, so, what do we do, boss? Where are you going? Hey! Oh, worst assignment ever. Oh, it's you, sister. I don't suppose you're here to let me out, are you? I'm quite interested in what is happening out there. You have questions? Well, I suppose I have little in the way of choice. Very well, what do you ask of me? You want me to help you on your mission? <laughs> Forgive me, sister, but why would I aid in a mission that is clearly an affront to the gods? I don't even know what your mission is. You expect me to follow you blindly into this hellscape without knowledge of your objective. You have a lot of faith for someone committing an act against the gods. Why is that? What do I think? Hmm. Perhaps the gods are asking you to act in secret on their behalf. Or maybe... No, that can't be right. Could it? You believe the gods are unjust, don't you? I have an eye for these things, sister. 
Annoyingly, Albus is the only one who can elude my gaze. But tell me, if the gods are unjust, what do you believe in? Man? Demon? The otherworldly? You wish to tell me who you want killed. You have my ear, sister. Hmm. Doesn't seem like there's a pattern of formation. It's just a big group of them. Well, I, I could have told you that. that. What the hell are you doing here? Hey, hey I, I live, live here. here. You serious? Nah, I'm fucking with you. I had you go for a second there, huh? Oh, please, can we not do this right now? Save your energy, kid. You're gonna need it. If you want to survive. Survive? Don't tell me you got a bleeding heart for me. Don't mistake my letting you live for weakness, little man. There's nothing I hate more in this world than the pitiful. If you're gonna keep choking me, you could at least fuck me too. Oh, believe me, Albus, you're gonna get fucked. But not by me. Well, if not any of that, then what? Albus. What do you believe in? Um... What? Don't make me ask twice. I don't do sequels. Only prequels. <laughs> well, I guess I believe in living in the moment. You guess? Living like it's your last day. Because you never know when that life will end. Is that so? I think so. Yeah. Well, that's boring. <laughs> what did you expect? Well... I was thinking you'd say something about her. Her? Who's her? See you around, Albus. Wait, who's her? Ugh. Damn demons. <laughs> Guess fucking a monster's still on the bucket list. Wonder if any of those guys out there are interested. I see. That's why you asked Albus to help you. No other knight paladin would want to endanger the gods, let alone spill the blood of one claiming to protect them. But sister, how can you be so sure your brother is incorrect in his actions? Of course not. I would never try to justify the murder of... All right, I I've had enough. Yes, I will help you. And I won't tell Albus as you request. I doubt he could ever understand anyway. All right, let's find out what damage Albus has done to my ship. There you are. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Salutations, little brother. I hope I find you well. See? Terrible liar. Also, what the fuck? Why did you let him out? Because unlike you, Albus, she sees my value. <laughs> you have value? My own existence has more value than you, Albus. <laughs> Maybe so. But you're pretty useless on the battlefield. Face it, Vinny. You're out of your depth here. You're right. In fact, I'm certain we've all bitten off more than we can chew. The least we can try to do is get along with each other. Besides, I have a way we can get through this sea of shades we find ourselves in. Is that so? I've collected information on all known creatures the paladins face. I then aimed to accommodate for those obstacles when building this ship. We don't need the background. Can you get us through the shades or not? Watch carefully and you just might survive, Albus. Lights. Seriously. What is this, a festive feature? Not just any lights. Look. The shades. They're clearing a path. Why? Admittedly, this was only a theory. These lights harness the power of our sun. The shades don't like ultraviolet light. Why else would they hide down here, in the mantle? With those black clouds in the sky to act as cover, they can roam as free as they like. Wow. <laughs> You're a real nerd, aren't you? It's working, isn't it? What was your solution? Killed them all? Simple and effective. What can I say? Ugh, I can't stand meatheads like you. Hey, is uh, that supposed to happen? What? The port light! It's blown out! The shades are coming back! Do we have a spare or something? Yes, but... 
Albus, you're going to have to go out there and replace it yourself. Me? Out there? I know you'll be fine. The air is breathable. That's not what I'm concerned about. How do I know you won't just leave me behind once the light's been replaced? Oh, honestly. I'm not so cowardly that I would abandon comrades. No, oh, that's cute. But I'm a bastard. I'm no comrade. Am I? Albus, I will not abandon you. You're lucky we don't have much choice. All right, I'm going. Where are the spares? There's a storage room on deck two. The spares should be in there. Computer, release emergency brake. Good, we're moving again. Any ground we can gain here will be important. Sister, would you mind steering? I'll direct you so we don't hit any shades. Thank you. One last prayer before we start. I found the spare. I'm taking it outside now. Be careful with it, Albus. We only have one extra. Yeah, yeah. I figured as much. Sister, turn the wheel to the right by five degrees. Excellent. Now straighten up. Perfect. Hmm. Right, 15 degrees to the left. Albus, how are we looking out there? This is easier said than done, you know. Don't be such a baby. It's not like I'm sentencing you to death out there. Oh, really? Well, in that case, maybe you can join me. Great work, sister. Now straighten us out. Okay, I'm here. I just gotta get rid of this one. All right. I just gotta get... Oh, come on, get in there! Don't force it in, you have to screw it in! Oh, really? I'll screw you in a second. What? Oh, it's nothing! I know what I'm doing, Vinny! Just focus on your own thing! Oh, right, uh... Damn, there's too many. I'm bringing the ship to a halt! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Albus! Albus, can you hear me? Uh, yeah, I can hear you. Uh, forgot you can actually walk on the water here. <laughs> Hey! On the cameras, can you see me? I yes we can see you. Why? Isn't there some kind of, uh, old world deity that can walk on water? Guess what I am? I think... Uh, are you talking about Naruto? Yeah, yeah, that's the one. Look guys, look at me, I'm Naruto! <laughs> guys, look! Guys? You know, I could leave him. I could turn the ship around, lock her out of the controls and take us home. The idea is highly tempting. Be rid of Albus. He'd be trapped here and I'd never see him again. I could even get my ship home in time to fix it for my father. He'd probably even be proud of me for ridding our family of its stained child. Hmm. What about the quest? The sister has trusted me. Hmm. Well, what is the life of one sacrifice next to the well-being of the godless subjects? Yes, it is a sacrifice I could make. All I'd have to do is make one command. Press one button. Oh, sorry, I was just thinking to myself. My apologies. Let's prepare for launch. Hey! What's wrong with you? W what? What are you talking about? You were thinking about betraying us, weren't you? N no. No, I wasn't. Faithful, we can't trust him. The second he gets the opportunity, he's gonna turn on us. I, I won't turn. I won't. Yeah, I don't buy it for a second. Do you know how many times I've been lied to? How many times I've been betrayed? More times than you've pissed in your life. You can't bullshit me, Devlin. Don't even try it. The sister here has put faith in you. Your job is to make sure it's not misplaced, because if it is, you'll have to answer to me, brother. What was that? Why? Why would I even think about betraying them? This mission is important to the sister. Surely I wouldn't turn my back. I'm a paladin. A man of honor. So why? Hey! Enough soaking! Get the ship moving! Don't bark orders at me! These things are more complicated than you could ever understand! I understand that this ship isn't moving, and the one person who makes it go is stalling! Maybe if you left me alone, we'd move faster! <sighs> Damn brat. Sister, I... I don't know what to say. Was I going to betray you? No, no, I, I don't... I don't think so. This place, it frightens me. I've never been to the mantle before. I've lived in fear of it. I see that now. Sister, am I... Am I going to die here? 
No, I'm not. Are you sure? You are, aren't you? You truly believe that? Very well, I will not die. Not here. <laughs> I did a pretty good job back there, didn't I? You did well too. I've never had much confidence in my own ability. I've always taken a back seat for someone else. It feels really good. When your life's on the line, it's like none of that other stuff matters. Well, I'll give Albus credit for something. He is right about my standards. Just please don't tell him I said that. <laughs> Sister, I am on your side. I will help you complete your mission. I owe you that much at least. Will you continue to trust me? You will. And I thank you, sister. You will not regret this. Now, let's see if we can increase the efficiency of the thrust. Did you know you've both been driving my ship at a quarter of what speed it's capable of? Allow me to show you the meaning of haste. There are horrible creatures beyond these walls. Mind peelers, heart rippers, bone drinkers. Be not afraid, we will be safe here, young one. But there may be no going back for me. I pray the gods forgive me for what I must do. But I fear my family would not. On my blackest day, an answer I will give. But when that day comes, shall I be a sinner or a martyr? A question only the gods truly know the answer to. Until then, we must complete our work. The ritual must continue. The circle must be completed. Hmm? Oh, sister, it's you. Apologies, I thought you were Albus trying to jump me. We're almost at the inner wall. I'm quite excited, actually. I've only ever heard the stories. A fortress encircling the inner mantle that protects our world from its horrors and built by the strongest heroes of the Second Age. They say Athian Blightfinder himself was the original designer, but personally I think he stole credit from Forge Master Dawn. I mean, the fortress is literally called the Wall of Dawn. You can't tell me the Forge Master didn't at least play a part in its creation. Apologies, sister, you don't want to hear any of this. You don't mind? Are you sure? Well, thank you for your kindness. I've loved architecture for as long as I can remember. There's always so much to be learned from the old ways. In my free time, I like to adapt the styles from the first and second age to see if they can be utilized in our more modern age. The Wall of Dawn is one such structure I feel I could learn a lot from simply by being there. Of course, most paladins don't have the eye for detail that their forge brothers do. They'll just look at the Wall of Dawn and think- Well, that's a big fucking wall. It has a name, you know. How close are we? We'll arrive in 48 hours, so I suggest you leave me to get on with my work. <laughs> Why am I the one that has to leave? Why does the sister get to stay? You guys fucking? What? Uh, no. Ah, oh, shame. I'd want to see that. You know he's a virgin, right? Where are you getting this information from? Oh, so you're saying it's true? No, I'm not. Just- Leave me alone, will you? Okay, okay, I'm going. Finally. Dirty bastard. You say something? Nothing, just go. <laughs> I guess he really is my half-brother. Hmm? 
Oh, sorry, sister. I was just thinking to myself. I, um... I want to apologize for my previous behavior. I know I've already said that I'm sorry a thousand times by now, and I know you've forgiven me each and every time, but... I still feel incredibly guilty. Why? Why can't I forgive myself? Why can't I move on? You think I might be looking for forgiveness from someone else? From who, then? Albus! Why would I want... What was that? This thing on? Vinny! Get to the engine room, we got a problem! What? Albus, can you hear me? Damn! Oh, excuse my language, sister. We'd best get to the engine room. <sighs> Took your sweet time, huh? What are those things? <sighs> Who cares? They're dead now. Looks like they were trying to get to the fuel. Looks like they succeeded. Why? Is that gonna be a problem? I'm not sure yet. Alvis, you said you killed them, right? Yeah. Why? Then why are they still moving like that? I don't know. It's probably nothing. <coughs> that's disgusting! Oh, damn it! So that's what they are. What are you talking about? I've seen those things before. They're called bloat saps, nasty fuckers. They like to drink the ship fuel and they aren't too picky about the type either. Wait, bloat saps? That's really bad! It's not that bad. Yes, it is! Bloat sap stomach acid is a sterilizing agent. It turns into a fog that A. smells awful and B. renders fuel unusable. Wouldn't there be some more in storage? I didn't exactly stock up the ship before we left, Albus! Okay, okay. So what do we do? What do we do? Albus, we're dead. There's no fuel out here, there's nowhere to get help, there's nothing! Oh, come on, Vinny. Don't be such a woman. No offense, Faithful. We're done for. Done for? I'll never see the light of day again! Hey! Stop it! We're gonna be just fine, okay? How would you know? <laughs> well, lucky for us. I've been in this exact situation before. Of course, there was a lot more of us, and we all knew how to defend ourselves, but hey, you've got a metal arm, right? That counts for something, so I'm sure we'll be fine. Maybe. Alright, then what do you suggest we do? Easy. We just siphon some liquid fuel from the wells around here. Wells? What wells? Well, the ones that supply the wall, obviously. We can't do that! Those wells are sacred to the holy warriors that guard our world from the monsters behind the wall! Oh, really? Oh well, let's go. We can't take what little they have, that's pure evil! <laughs> we aren't taking much. Just enough for a round trip, it's all we need. Besides, there's tons of wells, I'll be fine. I'm sorry, but I, I can't go along with this. Oh yeah? Well, I'm open to ideas, you got any? Well, I, I, I could... Uh, yeah, that's what I thought. Go and pack, Vinny. You too. I'm not leaving anyone alone out here. Mm, looks like I'll have to break this thing down. I'm sure Vinny can fix it. Hey! I know you're there. <laughs> not exactly good at hiding, are you? Is something wrong, Faithful? Why do you have to go too? Well, he won't admit it, but Vinny's gonna need an extra pair of hands out there. And if mine are too busy fighting whatever we find out there, this mission is gonna go tits up pretty fast. Don't worry, it's not gonna be complicated. You'll just have to hold something in place or something, probably. What? <laughs> Where's that coming from? Why do you want to know about me and Vinny? Just curious? Well, there's not much to tell. I'm sure he can tell you better than I can. I'm not avoiding the question, I'm stating a fact. He can tell you better than I can. I'm not being distant. Uh, okay, fine. What do you want to know? Do I hate him? <laughs> no, not really. It's kind of a mutual thing. See. He hates me, so I play villain for him. I do the same for the rest of the family. It's not a personal thing. <laughs> Actually. Okay, maybe it is a personal thing, but it's not like a him thing. I'm the bad guy for everyone, like I said in our fighting lessons. Never trust a bastard, right? I'll just let you down. If your mission wasn't unjust, we wouldn't be having this conversation. 
Well, you accepted the risks, crazy as you were. I have to admit, I respect that about you. Also, you puff up your cheeks when you're determined. So how could I say no to that? <laughs> hey! 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 Don't throw that at me. Well, there she goes. The mad woman with a death wish in a heart of gold. <clears throat> we need to temper yourself, Albus. It's not gonna happen, and you know it. Everything here should be in order. Ugh, why do I have to go to? Surely anyone could see that it's a bad idea. So why must... Oh, sister, good to see you. Is everything alright? You look... Well, you look inquisitive. As I've said, I have an eye for these things. You want to know my relationship with Albus? Well, I can't say there's been much of a relationship. Everyone in the family has met him, willing or not. Me, I was the latter. He just showed up one day and attempted to ruin my promotion to Forge Master by blowing up a docking station. I haven't trusted him since. Every single time I've seen him, something bad has happened. Now look at me, kidnapped and trapped in the mantle of all places, and who does it all lead back to? I know he's helping you, but I truly do fear for your safety. Who else could you have asked to help? I... Hmm... Well, you've got me there. I suppose there are other bastards. Had any of them gotten to you first, perhaps things would have been different. Who can say for sure? Well, it doesn't matter now. I'm ready. At least, I think I am. This whole event is new territory for me. Hey! What are you all waiting around for? An invitation? Let's go! Yes, yes, I'm ready now. Let's just hope Albus can actually protect us. Okay, we're clear. Let's move. Whoa, you actually can stand on the water out here. It must have something to do with the density. Considering our depth in the mantle, it's possible we could assume- Vinny, put your nerd boner away for five seconds. In case you haven't noticed, we're not exactly in Kansas anymore. I'm aware. <sighs> you couldn't let me have one ounce of comfort, could you? If I'm not comfortable, I don't see why anyone else should be. Let's go. I think I can see a well hatch. Hey, doesn't he seem a little... angrier to you? You didn't... say anything to him, did you? No? Hmm. Well, we should keep an eye on him, just in case. Maybe you can do that when I can't hear you as well. Oh, shit. Okay, we're here. You're up, Forge Master. What the hell did you do? What? It's an extractor. You broke it! No, I didn't. It's just a bit... Oh, what's the word? D disassemble. That's the word you use, right? How else was I supposed to get it here? You're lucky I came prepared. I knew you'd break something. What are you doing? Fixing what you've broken! How long's that gonna take? Just... give me a few minutes. I'll keep a lookout. Yes, you do that. And... could you keep a lookout on him? Faithful, what are you doing here? Shouldn't you be helping Vinny? Wait, don't tell me. Vinny told you to keep an eye on me. Pfft. Figured as much. The prick nearly betrayed us, yet he thinks I'm going to bring us all down. You really believe in him, don't you? If I didn't know better, I'd say you had a thing for him. No, no, it's, it's fine, really. I mean, who am I to judge, right? I've fucked more people than he's met. <laughs> not, not you, of course. Maybe that's why Vinny likes you so much. He likes them. Untainted. <laughs> okay, okay, I get it. This is just a job, and he's just a guy you're working with. Closely working with. Seriously, if you have a thing for him, I'm, I'm not going to hold it against you. I know, I know, I, I just want you to know there's no judgment here. <laughs> what about me? Faithful, I, I'm, I'm against incest, and he's my half-brother, so... Oh, oh, you meant with you. Well, I don't mind if you wanna... Mm. Uh, ow! Ow! Oh. 
Why would you ask that if you weren't interested? Ah! Ugh, women. You always have to make things so complicated, huh? How do you live with yourselves, huh? <laughs> okay, okay, I get it. <laughs> oh, that was worth it, though. You are so hot when you're angry. <laughs> hey. You smell that? <laughs> Smells like... <sighs> hey! Vinny! What now? Isn't there supposed to be some kind of smell suppressor on that thing? It was too damaged. It's fine, we're almost done with the first extraction anyway. Dumbass! I'll tell you we'll track more of those damn bloat saps. Albus, look! Oh, case in point. Faithful! Get back to Vinny and help him finish up. I'll hold them off. Okay, we're done. Hey, hold that container open for me. They're almost here. Albus! Follow me and stay close. Not too close, you don't want to get hurt. You ready? Just about. Um... Are you sure we can do this? That's a lot of bloat saps. I know, right? It's like bone of heaven for me or something. What? What are you talking about? Oh, daddy is horny now. What? You like that? That felt good, didn't it? Well, maybe not so good for you. But goddamn, I feel like it's good for me! I, I'm going to block this out of my memory when we're done. Oh, I'm so fucking hard right now! Yeah, that's it, take it! He's carved a path for us. Let's go. Good boy. Come on, who's next? I'm gonna view Kaki the fuck out of ya! Oh boy, that post-combat clarity's kicking in. Was it good for you too, baby? Can you stop licking your sword and help us? Oh, sorry, kiddies. But I gotta go take care of something now. Saved your asses and the ship. I'm two for two. You know what? I'm gonna jerk off with two hands tonight. Oh, I have a feeling two is my lucky number. Don't wait up. But Albus, we've gotten hardly any fuel. It's enough to get us to the wall, and then we'll get some more. You've got money in clearance, right, Vinny? Oh, fuck me, I'm so fucking hard. See you around. Uh, Albus, Albus, stop. Ugh, he's gone. I'd rather not follow him. Would you help me carry this to the engine room? Thank you, sister. Whew, we're back online and moving. So, how was Albus? N no, I'm not spying on him. I just... I'm wary of him. Surely you can understand why. Sister, I don't know what he might have said to you, but he's a bastard. He's not to be trusted. Please do not forget that. Regardless of your current beliefs, Albus is a monster. You should believe that after witnessing him doing... Well, all of that. Well, I suppose I'd better work out what I'm going to say to the Warriors of the Wall. No doubt there'll be some inquiry about why we're there. Hopefully some good can come from all this. We'll have to try and keep details about your mission private. If the Triad is supporting your brother on his mission... It worries me what the Warriors of the Wall might think of us for standing against them. Go and rest, sister. I'll have some ideas to run with you tomorrow. Albus? Well, we'll find a way to keep him quiet, I'm sure. Good night, sister.
Before we left, the triad of the gods informed me that they would make sure we would not be disturbed. They have provided a unique protection to this temple. This much I know. But I'm not sure how far their power reaches. I do know that those who oppose them don't last long. If I were to guess, I'd say they managed to influence the warriors of the sacred wall to keep us safe. How safe? I am unsure. I don't care much for them, personally. I've always felt they've had a few screws loose. To each their own. What's important is that we're all on the same side. <clears throat> what the hell? I'm tied up. Where am I? What the? Faithful! Vinny! Wake up! <clears throat> hey, we've been captured! Wake up! W what? What are you playing at, Albus? Devlin, this isn't a prank! Wait, did you just call me... What the hell? Where are we? Why am I tied to this chair? I don't know. I've never seen this place before. Faithful, are you alright? We're gonna be just fine, okay? Don't panic. Wait, look at the walls! What about them? The design is from the Second Age. Oh, wow. That's really helpful, Vinny. It actually is, Albus. It tells me exactly where we are. Oh, yeah? Well, go on, then. Tell us where we are. The Wall of Dawn. Welcome, brothers. And sister. You've traveled a long way to get here, but I'm afraid your journey has come to an end. Who the hell are you? Me? Oh, where are my manners? <laughs> Your knight, Captain Bran, 73rd Battalion, stationed at the Wall of Dawn. How do you know all of that? We've met before. <laughs> As your wife, by the way. <clears throat> you have some nerve to speak of her in my presence. Still not speaking to you. Got it. You've seen to that, haven't you? How did you even do it? <clears throat> what are you talking about? Don't play dumb now, bastard. How the fuck did you kill my wife? What? A Albus, you... You killed one of the immortal warriors of the wall. You know, you'd think I'd remember doing something like that. Well, that's <sighs> convenient for you, isn't it? <laughs> Keep holding my chin like that, Daddy. And I might get a little hurt for you. <clears throat> you know, I thought when you actually showed up, I'd get my answers. And I'd finally put to bed this nightmare I've been living in for the past few years. But even with you right in front of me now, I can see... Killing you isn't going to do anything. I need to make you beg for your life. Good luck with that one, big boy. <laughs> My life means nothing to me. So don't threaten me with a good time. You're forgetting something, Sonny. The warriors of the wall do things a little differently than the comfy prison cells of the overworld. I'll be back. W wait what about us? Hmm... We have orders from the Triad to hold you until such time as the ritual has been completed. After that, you'll go home. Really? What about us? Are you stupid or something? It was a valid question! Rule number one of getting tortured. If the guy torturing people doesn't address you, the last thing you say is, Oh, please, sir, can I have some as well? <laughs> You're a real fucking idiot, aren't you? Uh, you can talk! Why'd you have to go and mess with the Warriors of the Wall? Well, I've got to keep things fair, don't I? Can't not mess around with the Warriors of the Wall just because they can fuck a bit better than the clans out west, now can I? What do you think I am, racist? What? No, that, that's, that's not even... Okay, whatever. But I mean, of all people, why them? Aren't you at least afraid of what he'll do to you? I'm not afraid of anything. Why did you do that? Do what? You gave the sister a glance. Why? I don't know what you're talking about. Fine, be that way. But we have to get out of here. I'm working on it, don't piss yourself just yet. A razor whip, eh? 
That's a nice toy you got there. Where are you gonna put it? I was thinking I'd start with a face, work my way down the body, slice up the arms as I go, then <laughs> we get to the fun part. Oh, I love the way you said that. All right, so what are you waiting for? Hit me already. I know you want to. Oh, it's not for you. Oh, shit. So, who shall I start with? Holy shit. The brother? Brad, come on. This is between you and me. Leave them out of this. Or the sister. Don't you touch one hair on her head. <laughs> you know I can't do that, Albus. What do you want? One? What do you want? Why, Albus? I'm glad you asked. What I want is for you to suffer. Wait! You asked me a question earlier, right? You want to know how I killed your wife? Chulain. Her name was Chulain. Chulain. Look, I don't know what happened to her, okay? I genuinely don't know. What, did I poison her, stab her, what? I pretend you don't know. You blew her up. Okay. That's a new one. You... You're serious, aren't you? How dare you? Blew up. Wait, how long ago was this? It was four cycles ago. Chulain was... Travelling to the overworld. It breaks our oath if we leave the wall. We lose our immortality if we do. But she said it was important. There's something about a prophecy, a god-killing child. What? Okay, one thing at a time. What was the name of the ship she was traveling on? Was it the Marigold? Yes. How did you know that? She was... at the docking station. The day of my first promotion attempt. Night Captain, I I'm sorry. I am partly to blame for her loss. How do you reckon? While the Marigold was docked, Knight Commander Chulain left the ship for refreshment. During that time, I was watching over that ship during my Forge Master training. We had a security breach alarm go off, where the Marigold was stationed. I quarantined the vessel and sent a squadron to investigate. They found an explosive device in the engine room. They managed to dispose of it safely. I took down the quarantine and the Knight Commander reboarded the ship, but I guess there was more than one. I ran down to the station to help survivors, and through the flames I saw Albus. <laughs> I failed my promotion after that. Oh great, you had to throw me under the bus somewhere, eh? So, you're confessing that you had a hand in her murder? Yes, Knight Captain. Do with me as you like, but leave the sister alone. <laughs> well, well. Seems you've accrued quite the harem of loyal followers since then. Neither one of them wants to see you hurt. What did I say? Get your fucking hands off her! But it seems fitting that the best way to punish them is to punish you. Wait! Wait! There is something else. I only ever put one device on the Marigold. There was no other. You're lying. I'm not! Look, I just wanted to disable the ship, okay? My goal wasn't to kill anyone. Albus, you took out the whole station! Hey, I thought it was weird too, okay? There was no need to go crazy, so I only had the one device, and it was barely considered lethal! You'd have to get stupid close to it in order to kill you. Enough. I will return. Shit. Faithful, you okay? Sister, you'll be alright. We'll make sure of it. Damn it! Why did you lie about there being only one device? <sighs> Lying? I wasn't lying. Sure you weren't, Albus. I said I wasn't lying! Shit. I thought he'd go after me. 
I was gonna swipe that razor whip and cut myself loose. Okay, and how the hell were you gonna do that with your hands tied? Well, it doesn't matter now. The fuck is going after Faithful, isn't he? Shut up, Albus. You're freaking her out. <sighs> fuck me! Where do you think he's gone? <clears throat> I don't know, and I don't want to. So, what do we do? Well, the thing is, these people are ancient. Anything we think of to try and escape, they're gonna be on top of. Oh, they probably have a listening device in here somewhere as well. I'm guessing that's how they figured out to go after fa Faithful. Hey. Hey! Look at me. You're gonna be fine, okay? We're gonna get you out of here. No, no, stop it. You're not gonna die. Hey, stay with me. Stay with me. Couldn't be the same child, could Take it? a deep breath. It's unlikely to have two children. That's it. Killed. You got this. Now, try to hide this now. Perhaps it see if you can find anything interesting. Loose paneling, broken glass, anything. Child. What are you whispering about over there? I'm trying to piece this mystery together. It may hold the key to getting us out of here. It's not going to help much longer. We need to find a way to escape while we can. Hey, just hear me out. Sister, your original intention was to save that child you mentioned. Karano, right? What if that child was the god killer Bran mentioned? Okay, so I'm completely lost. What child? Uh, oh, sorry, sister. But I suppose Albus was going to find out sooner or later. Albus, this isn't just some ordinary assassination mission. Um, <laughs> hate to break it to you, but that's what everyone who gives me those missions says. You're gonna have to give me a bit more than that. Well, this one is also a rescue mission. Um, what? <laughs> Let me break this down in a way you can understand. Your target, Brother Coria, is going to kill a child. The sister here wants to save the child. You are helping her save it. But hang on. You, you never paid me to help you save anyone. Money! That's what you're thinking about! You were gonna try and save the kid by yourself, weren't you? And you brought me on to kill your brother. The one thing standing in your way. One flaw with this amazing plan of yours, though. What were you gonna do when you survived this? You'd still be a heretic, you know that, right? The Triad would be hunting you down like mad. You already know that, don't you? All that stuff you brought on the ship. You were planning to run away, weren't you? Get off world somehow. <laughs> well, I have to admit, you're crazier than I had you pegged for, Faithful. <laughs> there is another issue. How the hell were you going to get yourself onto a ship without the Triad finding out? Even shipmakers run background checks that go by the Triad before they make a ship for someone, right Vinny? Well, actually, I let them steal it from me after I've been knocked out. Oh, and for good measure, they kidnapped me too. Oh, really? Well, I guess we did it by the book after all. The point is, this child might be the God Killer. The one that Knight Commander Tulane found out about through that prophecy. How do you even know it's the same kid? I don't doubt the Triad has killed thousands of kids over the years to find the one. Why is this one the right one? I... I don't know. Watch this. What's this? You making modern art now? <laughs> Gonna express your woes through a positive outlet or some shit? This is footage recovered from the wreckage of the Marigold. Wait, is that... Night Commander Chuline. Bag over her head. Tied to a chair. Much like all of you are. And right there, the face of Albus Yorg, placing a bomb on the engine right in front of her. No. No, that... that can't be. So what do you say to that, bastard? I... that... that never happened. That, that didn't happen. I never saw her. You're lying! I'm... I'm not. Confess! You knew full well what you were doing. It wasn't like that. Oh, now I see. You aren't just lying to me and everyone else. You're also lying to yourself. I am not lying! I know that I'm a bastard and that I'm not to be trusted, but for once in my life, can I say something without getting shot down as a fucking liar? Everything I have said is true. I haven't lied once since I've been here, but no one fucking believes me! Something is wrong. Oh, you're finally catching on, are you? Welcome to the conversation, Vinny. The footage. Where did it come from? Who gave it to you? 
It was delivered to me personally by the triad. They said it was all that survived the wreckage of the marigold. Here's the thing. A lot of the imperfections in the footage can be chalked up to the explosion of the marigold, but there's a few things that don't add up. What are you saying? I, I just think that there's a possibility for reasonable doubt. You're telling me that this isn't my wife getting incinerated on camera? N no, I never said that. I just- Why are you asking? Excuse me? You're a warrior of the war. Why are you asking us these questions? If Night Captain Bran was presented with the murderers of his wife, he wouldn't waste time asking questions. You'd torture us, kill us, and be done with it. So why? Why are you hesitating like this? My gods. That's it, isn't it? What? Uh, huh? Don't you see, brother? I should have seen it sooner. The reason he isn't torturing us right now, the reason he isn't killing us, is because he doesn't believe it either. He wants us to tell him the truth, but he doesn't know who or what to believe. Isn't that right, Night Captain? You said you saw flaws in the footage, right? That wasn't my exact wording, but... Did you or did you not? I did, I did, okay? Where? Well, look at the shadows. They're off, see? The main light source is coming from the engine, so why is the chair's shadow off to the side? Also, Albus's shadow disappears when he gets closer to her. <sighs> there is one other thing. At the end, you see the result of the explosion. She's nothing but dust. Except the dust is in a neat pile on the chair. There's none on the floor or anywhere else on the chair. And on top of that, wouldn't the chair be toppled over? But there isn't even a scratch on that chair. The chair could be reinforced. After an explosion like that, no, I don't buy it. In fact, I think it's safe to say she wasn't even on the marigold. Oh, is that so? Then where was she? Well, data patterns can be faked. Not easily, but it's possible. And no one here actually claims to have seen her at the station. After everything I've seen and heard, I believe the ones who killed your wife, Bran, are the Triad. What? Um, yeah, what he said. What? Bran, do you know why we're here? I don't mean why you put us here, I mean what brought us here to you. You're trying to get to the inner mantle of Imprazil to kill Brother Coria. The Triad contacted us and told us to stop you. Brother Coria is about to kill a child who is believed to be a god killer. Sound familiar? The prophecy Chulain was carrying. The Triad wouldn't want to leave behind any witnesses that would cause a panic. Chulain told me she was planning on telling everyone. She didn't want to keep quiet, so they killed her and fabricated her death on the Marigold. And the Triad never told us why you wanted to kill Brother Cory, huh? To further cover their asses. By the gods, could it be such a conspiracy? The sister here is even more evidence of that. She's trying to stop the Triad. By doing this, she has renounced her faith in the gods. If you won't believe us, believe her. Sister, is this true? You are faithless. Oh, I see. Damn. But what? What should I do? What can I do? Oh, I can't kill a system. Why couldn't it have just been Albus? Oh, I am loving the respect I'm getting right now. You can start by letting us go. Give us back our ship, a few supplies for the trouble, and we'll be on our way. Pretend you never saw us, and we'll do the same. That sound good to you? Oh, and a map. We don't need a map. Yes, we do. We need a map. It is a straight shot to Emprazil. We don't need a map. We'll give you a map. Oh, well, fuck you very much. All right, that should be everything. Sister, is there anything else I uh, can do for you? Are you sure? Oh, I can order a detachment to journey with you if... No, you're right. They would only get hurt or killed, or worse. This mission of yours has seen as heretical. Their hearts would not be in it. My apologies, sister. I... I wish to beg your forgiveness for torturing you. You didn't deserve it, but I was angry. 
overcome with an emotion I thought was beneath me. I am a warrior of dawn, and my behaviour has been distasteful to say the least. You were too kind to me, sister. Here, please take this as a symbol of my gratitude. But don't tell anyone I gave this to you. It is an artifact found within the inner mantle. A key that unlocks the mind. The where I can traverse the unconscious minds of any of the key touches. Take it. You may find more use for it than we will. Goodbye, sister. Look, you got your fucking map, right? Let's just go! Devlin? Uh, oh, yes, Knight Captain. Thank you for helping me. You're welcome. Honestly, I'm just happy to even be here. The architecture really is incredible. Oh, fucking nerd. Shut up! I want you to have this. What is... The blueprint for the war? Is this... It's a copy. Obviously, we must hold on to the original. But to make a copy is heresy. You... You would go this far for me? It's the least I could do. And besides, at this moment, we're all heretics in the eyes of the gods. I... I won't tell anyone, Knight Captain. You have my word. You're a good man. Take care of yourself, Forge Master. <laughs> oh, by the gods, I can't believe this. I'm going to get these steam pressed. Wait, would they get damaged? Uh, maybe laminated. Yeah, oh, this is so cool. Oh, so you're giving out gifts now. Got anything for me? No. Yeah, figured as much. Got you to cheat on your wife. I pretty much have all you came for. See you around, big boy. Albus? Don't let her get hurt. <laughs> sure thing. Hey, Bran. She was a good fighter. And I bet she was a better woman, too. She was the best. And I'm going to write notes on every little detail, like the kind of material used and compounds of said material. Hey, don't you have a map to drool over? Shut up and let me have this, damn it! You know, it's really nice that you're helping us. With the way things are going, I'm gonna need some practice if I'm looking after children. I'm two years older than you! Yet somehow I'm still your big brother. Aren't I? No, that's not how it works. All I'm saying is, one of us has a prepubescent burner for a fucking piece of paper. <laughs> and it's not me. I'll look at the map later. Oh, all that fuss for a map and he never uses it. <laughs> fucking brat. Whatever. I'm gonna go find something useful to do. <laughs> oh, gonna help you. Am I okay? I, um... I don't... <laughs> what are you asking me? Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't worry about me, I'm fine. I always am, right? <laughs> what are you doing? You're gonna kiss me on the cheek. <laughs> please, please don't. Please, no, 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 I'm serious. Don't, don't... <gasps> I said... Don't! Don't you ever kiss me like that again. Um, I, uh, I, uh, I'm, I, um, I have uh, to go. Hey, brother, I have a question.
question. What is it, my child? I know it's rude to snoop, but I saw you drawing something in your journal. It was a bit scary monster. It was so cool. What was it? Oh, well, first of all, I appreciate your honesty, young one. But please do be careful. My notes are very important to me. They are messages shared only between the gods and myself. Really? That's so cool. Can I have a journal too? Hmm. I'll think about it. Secondly, the monster you saw was something called a leviathan. Le, le, leviathan. That's right. They were big monsters that were defeated by a band of legendary heroes a long time ago. Whoa! That sounds awesome. Would you like to hear the story? Can I? Of course. One story before bed won't hurt, right? All right. Where do I begin? Once upon a time, there was a strong and brave warrior named Elenus Mirio. This could be a problem. I'd better bring the others up here. Oh, sister! I was just about to call you and Elvis up here to go over the map. Is something wrong, sister? You look uncomfortable. Albus? What did he do? Did he hurt you? I only knew it was a matter of time. An accident? I'm sorry, sister, but I don't believe you. If he has hurt you in any way, I... I won't forgive him. A push, a shove, I don't care. How long before he does something worse? I'll talk to him, okay? This won't happen again. <clears throat> Gods be damned, that was the best shit I've ever taken. <laughs> you really went all out with those luxury bathrooms, Vinny. <sighs> so, the inner mental. We finally made it. We know where we're going. Um, <laughs> why are you standing like that? You, uh, posing for a magazine or something? What did you do to her? What? Albus, don't fuck with me. What did you do to her? What are you... <laughs> Faithful, what's all this about? Don't talk to her. You're talking to me. <laughs> I, I didn't do anything, okay? Lay off. You hurt her! What is wrong with you? It was barely a push. Calm down. I don't care if it was just a push. It shouldn't have happened to begin with. Well, it did, okay? Look, I acted in self-defense. Self-defense? Against a sister of the church? What did she even do to you? We're not talking about this right now. Don't you dare brush me off. <laughs> Devlin, get your fucking hands off me. If you ever touch the sister again, I'll... The event alarm! Something's approaching the ship. Category 9? Oh, that's not good. What's going on? There's a storm headed our way! Okay, so what? It's just a little water, right? Except this is a storm localized here in the inner mantle. The water is much denser here. Each raindrop weighs well over a ton. It's a blood storm. And it's massive! Can we outrun it? I wouldn't know which way to go. The radar tells me the storm is all around us. Oh, can't power through it, can't run away. Guess you know what that means. Lockdown. We divert all available power to the S-H-E-L-L -L and pray to the gods we don't die. You need anything to make it happen? No, I can do it all from here. But you two should hold on to something. Okay, we're ready. Here it comes. Oh, Trigus, hear my cry. Please, I beg that we survive. Oh, I hate the ones that rhyme. Mighty in Brazil, hear my plea. Let this not be the death of me. Whoa, that was a rough one. Brave and honorable Syndagorn, I pray my ship escapes the storm. Have you always been this good at rhyming, or is this like a heat of the moment type of thing? <coughs> oh, what a mess. Ow. Oh. oh, great. Now I'm bleeding. Faithful! Vinny! Where are you? Faithful! You okay? Are you hurt? What's that look for? Oh, come on, you're still mad at me. <laughs> this isn't exactly the right time for it. 
Fine. Be mad. That's just fun, Vinny. I'm here! I'm okay. Any injuries? I don't think there's anything external, but there might be some bruising or other internal damage. Yeah, you're fine. Oh, that's the final verdict, is it? Well, you're still a massive dickhead, so yeah, I'd say so. Your hospitality is immaculate as ever, Albus. How have you not been left for dead yet? I have. (laughs) But to the dismay of many, I survived. Hmm, well, that checks out. So, we're alive. Yes, but where are we? Let's go find out. Okay. Systems should be coming back online. Now. Whoa. Is that- Well, that's a big fucking dead thing. Is that the limit of your vocabulary? I don't know what that word means. Of course you don't. It's a leviathan. Uh, what? You know, the core hunters. Oh, the core hunters. (laughs) Jeez, just say that next time. Oh, shut up. So, where are we on this thing? Hey, don't touch my map, you'll rip it! Oh, by the gods, I'm not gonna rip it! I don't trust you and your clumsy hands with something delicate like this. (laughs) I'll have you know, my hands can be very delicate when it counts. Why do I feel like you're insinuating something gross? Hey, you're the one thinking it. (sighs) Let me run a deep scan of the area to find our best course out of here. My goodness, brother, at least buy it dinner first. Are you even capable of understanding the words, shut up? Mm, I don't know. Well, now would be a good time to learn. What's this? Some kind of energy signal? Or is it a life sign? I, I can't be sure. I'm bringing the ship about for a closer look. Still looks like a big dead thing to me. Wait, look there. Where? There, at the top of that mound. Oh yeah. What is that, some kind of sword? Those markings? Where have I seen them before? Vinny, come on, it's just a fancy sword. Even the heroes of old had something like that. Wait, that's it! The old heroes! What about them? The heroes of the Second Age had crafted themselves tools and weapons the likes of which had never been seen before. The Shield of Athian, the Helm of Charlane, the Hammer of Dawn, and the Blade of Arlanas. I thought the blade was destroyed. By the Triad, right? Yeah. Oh, I get what you're saying. At this point, why would any of us believe anything the Triad says? Yeah, I guess you're right. Well, time to leave. What? We can't just leave. (laughs) Yes, we can. That blade is one of the most powerful swords ever created. To leave it here would be foolish. And yet, we're going to. We have a job to do. We aren't looking for buried treasure. Buried treasure? It's right there. We'll be in and out. Yes, it's right there. A mile away, at the top of a mound of molten core hunter flesh. Yeah, we're not doing that. Why are you so resistant? Sister, back me up here. Don't you bring Faithful into this. Look, think about this, right? What if the Triad knows exactly where the blade is, huh? Supposing it's some kind of trap. Albus, that's ridiculous. Why would the Triad do that? Hold on now. You just said we wouldn't trust the Triad. Yes, they've done shady things, but that doesn't make them evil, Albus. Besides, the idea of them turning a random location that has been lost for decades into an elaborate trap is just plain asinine. How would you know, huh? How would you know?! Albus, why are you getting aggressive? Forget it. Let's just go. Please. What? Faithful. You can't be serious. As expected, the sister sees reason. What reason? There is no reason for doing this! Majority vote, brother. Fine, but let's make it quick. What are you doing? You want an apology. For what? pushing you? You're not gonna let me come along unless I do. Are you fucking serious? Why is that so important to you? It was just a push! Albus, stop it! Just apologize so we can go. No. I will never apologize for who I am. If that's what you want from me, I can't give it to you. Albus! She's not asking you to chew your arm off. If you both want to go off and get killed, that's your business. I want no part of this. My job is to protect you on your journey. This is not part of it. Albus, wait! You want to go play Treasure Hunter? Do it on your own time. Not mine! Damn it! Sister, I'm sorry. 
I'm so confused. What? Oh, wait, where are you? Oh boy, that wasn't good. Alright, that should be everything. Oh, sister, excellent timing. Here, put this on. Don't be afraid, it's just a holo scanner. I've modified it to help us with our little hunt. Try it out. It's good, right? It warns you of dangers and scans through objects to locate threats. With these, we can find the safest path to the blade. By the way, have you been in contact with Albus at all? No, you're right. You don't need to go to him if you don't want to. But, well, it might be ideal to have him along with us. Why? Sister, I understand you're upset, but going out there without someone experienced could be suicide. A at least let me try. Alright, let's go. Albus? Albus, are you in here? Oop, watch out! Albus? What are you- Red Mystic Alcohol? Where did you get this? Uh, just a little gift from the Warriors of Dawn. <laughs> Guess it's their way of saying sorry we tortured you. <laughs> and what are you doing with it exactly? Something the Warriors in the Southern Faithlands call a therapy session. I'm also going to be mourning the loss of a couple of dumbasses who fancied themselves to be treasure hunters. Albus, now you're being petty. Please, just come with us. You want me to go with you? Yes! And faithful? Well... Yeah, that's what I thought. Have fun, you two. Ah, fine! Drown yourself in your own pity! I hope you choke on it! Guess we have something in common after all. Oh, the smell! It's wretched! I suppose this must be the scent of death. Perhaps a pair of nose plugs would have been handy. On second thought, the smell would have entered my mouth instead. That sounds much worse. Sister, take my hand. We better stay low in case something sees us. Yes, I see it too. Whatever that creature is, I don't think it can see us. Let's try this way instead. That's it. Nice and slowly. Whew. How are you holding up, sister? You think this is a bad idea? What makes you say that? No way to defend ourselves. Sister, I swear to you, I won't let anything hurt you. These scanners are equipped to help us find a way out of any situation. We'll be fine. Please, sister, have faith in me. Thank you. Now, let's get us that sword. Oh, well, gods be damned. <coughs> Forgot how strong the wall makes its alcohol. Oh. oh, it's gonna put me under for years. Perfect. Just like I always want. <laughs> oh, well, well, sir. Would you like another? Don't mind if I do, my good man. Another! Oh, oh yeah. I'll be under in no time. <laughs> Sorry, Albus. But we can't have that just yet. Uh, demon! S stay back! I'll, I'll, I'll have you know, I am proficient in hand-to-hand -hand combat. That's what it's called, yeah? Yeah, you stand no chance against me! Oh, oh, why, why, why is there five of you? Poor Albus. Too busy feeling sorry for himself to do anything. <laughs> of course. I don't blame you. <laughs> Why don't you blame me? It's always my fault anyway. Blame me. Come on, do it! Blame me, you coward! Do it! You won't! No balls! Alright, that's enough of that. What, what the... Oh, oh, what did you do to me? You were drunk. I... undrunk to you. Oh, you must be a lot of fun at parties. Oh, so good at making me feel like shit. 
So, what do you want this time? So rude. Come on, I just want to talk. Okay, I, I didn't notice before. What, why are you less demony right now? Eh, I wasn't in the mood. Besides, I want to be on your level right now. Oh, wow, how humbling. <laughs> well, don't keep me in suspense. I was wondering why you didn't tell the others about the Blade of Elenus. What, you mean how the damn thing is cursed? Come on, don't tell me you believe that fairy tale nonsense. Exactly. So I decided to do a little research on Elenus. On you. You're kidding. Normally, yeah, it would be. But what can I say? Curiosity got the better of me. And what did you find? At first, nothing. Your little backstory was such a waste of time. I practically fell asleep. <laughs> Sorry to disappoint you. But, let me finish. There was one thing. What can you tell me about this Operation Sub-Delta? The bone structure is so strange. I can only wonder what these monsters looked like before they were slain. There, look, we can get across this crevasse with that bridge-like structure. The scanner indicates it can support our weight. Yes, I suppose it is a little narrow. I'll go first. If anything goes wrong, I'll be on the other side to catch you. Here goes. Well, that was a lot easier than expected. Alright, sister. I'm ready when you are. You're doing great! You're almost there! Oh shit, it's giving way! Sister! Oof! Nice jump! Uh, oh, sorry, I I'll put you down now. Uh, my apologies, sister. L let's keep going, shall we? I was part of a million random operations. You can't expect me to remember just any old one. Oh, but this was no regular operation, was it? I don't know what you're talking about. You can use that deflecting shit on anyone you want, but you can't put anything past me. Got it? I thought you said you did your research. Don't you already know what happened? I do. But I want you to explain it to me. Okay. But why me? You getting some sick pleasure out of- Oh wait, never mind. Don't answer that. I was gonna say, if the fact that I'm a demon didn't tip you off, I was gonna be really disappointed. <laughs> well, forgive me for having some hope. Putting hope in a demon? You're fucking crazy. We try so desperately to climb this mound, but it feels like we aren't making any progress. Perhaps something is preventing us from doing so. Hmm. There is a strange energy pattern emanating from the sword. Something that wasn't there before. Wait, I have an idea. Climb the mound with me, but don't look at the sword. Just look down. Just trust me on this, okay? Here we go. There! We made it! Ha! <laughs> it was a perspective trap! I've never seen such bizarre power before. I must admit, this whole endeavor has been truly fascinating. Say, um, thank you for agreeing to do this, sister. I've really enjoyed spending time with you. Even if it was here of all places. <laughs> Wait! Don't touch the sword just yet! That energy reading is gone, but we better make sure it doesn't activate any kind of trap if we touch or remove it. So, I'm still waiting. Tell me about... Sub-Delta. <sighs> Albus. Piss off! Fine. I'll start you off. Operation Sub-Delta was a mind control operation organized by the Triad to keep soldiers in line in times of crisis. The first subjects, as you learned, were the 10,000 soldiers that were given to Elenus Mirio. Elenus killed them all off when he found out what the Triad had done and would have gone public with what had happened. But then he... disappeared. 
So, the triad decided that the world wouldn't mind if a few bastards went missing instead. After all, who cares if a few unwanted children go missing, right? What's the matter? Too painful to remember? I mean, I guess that's fair. After all, they made you a p <coughs> toyed with your mind, made you p <coughs> grinding down your psyche, forcing you to p <coughs> and they made you do it over and over and over and over and over and over. <coughs> Remember those cute little animals they had? How they made you pick one up and... Stop. Stop it. And who could forget when you got... No, stop! Told you to... I said stop! Why do you want me to stop? After all... And the trigger for all of this... Get off me. Was a kiss on the cheek. Get away! Get away! <laughs> oh, poor little Albus. Lost and alone. And then, when they were done with you, they told you to... But something happened, didn't it? Something they didn't know you could still do. See, despite how many times they told you to... You somehow resisted. So they wrote you off as a failure. You were. Because no matter how many times they told you to, you wouldn't. They threw you back on the street. The only survivor. And since you're a bastard, they didn't bother wiping your memory. Because at the end of the day... Why... Why won't anyone believe me? Why won't anyone listen? I never did anything, 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 anything to them. And, th and they just, just crushed me. <laughs> so there it is. The real Albus York. Angry. Broken. Scared. Alone. And that's what this was about. You just wanted to break me down? Sometimes the best way to realize something is wrong is to put it right in front of you. <laughs> that, that is all kinds of fucked up. It's a fucked up world, Albus. But here's the thing. In this fucked up world, weird things can happen. I like you, Albus. No, not in that way. But you remind me of me. I think... You and I are gonna get along just fine. Now you're offering to be my friend after all that. We're all we've got, Albus. People like us have to stick together. We just gotta trim out the fat. What do you mean? Come on, Albus. That brother of yours and that stupid priest pitch. You and I both know they're a lost cause. Your brother is never really gonna be friends with you. And the sister? I mean, you already know it's never gonna happen. So ditch them, and let's go wreak some havoc. That does sound nice. Finally getting revenge on all those people, all those fuckers. <laughs> no, I can't do that. Excuse me? <laughs> You're right about me. I'm hopeless. A lost cause not worth fighting for in any respect. But I'm not fighting for me. I'm fighting for her. As for my brother, well, someone needs to keep her happy. And it sure as hell isn't gonna be me. Well, good luck with that. Oh, and by the way, yeah, the sword is actually cursed. What? And it looks like Devlin's aiming to touch it. What? Did you honestly think they were gonna run back at the first sign of trouble? <laughs> Your brother's no fighter, but he's no quitter either. Oh, fuck! I'll see you soon, Albus. <laughs> fuck, fuck, fuck! Running will take too long. How the fuck do I reach them? Scott.
scans haven't picked up anything, but I'll double check just to be sure. Sister, are you all right? I couldn't help but notice how you've been staring off toward the ship. I take it you're concerned about Albus. I'm sure he's fine, sister. Passed out in a pool of his own vomit, sure, but fine nonetheless. If anything, he's a lot better off than we are right now. <laughs> Sorry. Sister, may I tell you a secret? It's something I would prefer you never mention to Albus. Can I trust you with this? Thank you. Well, the thing is, I'm kind of jealous of Albus. <laughs> I know, I know. But, uh, I mean, he's just so confident. And he's so much more like father than he realizes. It makes me wonder if maybe I'm the bastard. I'm nothing like him, nothing like father. I wish I was more of a fighter. At the very least, I'd be more recognized for what I do. And I could protect the people I care about. I could be strong. That's all I've ever wanted. Being a forge master allows me to command my forge hands, yes. But if anything happens to them, what can I do? Nothing. I'm... I'm weak. And I envy Albus's strength. Maybe the sword can give that to me. Again, please don't tell him I said any of that. I can't even imagine the ego. Hmm? What's this? There's some kind of energy spike in the sword. What could that mean? What? Oh shit, it's that monster from earlier! Did it follow us? I think it's going to attack! Sister, watch out! <laughs> oh, that hurts! Albus! Oh. Hey brother, I see you're getting points in while you can. What? Uh, oh, sister, I I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to touch you like that. Okay, okay, enough of this rom-com bullshit. Come on, get off her. Uh, ow! Hey, what's your problem, Albus? Wait, that look in your eye. Are you on drugs? Oh, come your tits. It's just some adrenaline. I found it in the first aid supplies. N needed to take some before I shot myself out of that cannon. My ears are still ringing. You shot yourself out of a broadsword cannon? I was gonna say, uh... I might need you to speak up, so thank you for doing so. It's a long story, come on, we have to go! What about the sword? Fuck the sword, the damn thing is cursed! What? I am not gonna argue with you, let's go! No. Excuse me? Why don't you want me to have the sword, huh? Is it to keep me weak? Keep me under your thumb? What are you talking about? Wait. Devlin. Your hand. Where did you get that cut? Think you can keep me afraid of you, you bastard. I won't let you take this away from me. The sword is mine! Devlin, please, let me help. Stay away from me! All you do is hurt people! Me, father, my mother, the sister, everyone you've ever met has suffered because of you. So leave us alone! You have every right to hate me. But I don't care about that right now. What's more important is that I can save you. Save me? I don't need saving. I have the sword. I'll be stronger than anyone. I'll make them all pay for what they did to Lord Mirio. <clears throat> gotcha! <sighs> Second time's the charm, eh, little brother? Come on, let's get you <clears throat> back to the ship. <clears throat> hey, Faithful, can you walk? I need your help, come here. I know, I, I know, it's a lot to take in. Let's just get back to the ship, okay? We can catch our breath when we're safe. Come on! What? What do you mean, don't go that way? <laughs> Devlin gave you a scanner. Okay, okay, I, I understand. Lead the way. I'll pick up the slack. Oh, that Forge Master implant is fucking heavy. Oh. Hey. Hey. Look at me. Hey. Hey. I said, look at me. 
You're okay. You aren't hurt. You're just a bit in shock, okay? Take a deep breath. Don't pa panic. You're... You're doing great. <laughs> I promise. <clears throat> what? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm fine. Ow! Ugh. What the hell was that for? Everything! Everything. Everything. <laughs> Where have I heard that one before? And I'm lying on top of it all, she says. <laughs> fine. You want to know the truth? No, I'm not fine. I haven't been fine since the day I was born. And, and ever since you two left, I've been hallucinating, seeing demons, and on top of everything else, I think that slap was the last thing my body could ha handle. I am literally going to collapse if anything even touches me. <sighs> but I don't expect you could ever understand. And I don't want you to either. You mean too much to me. Because even if I know it's never gonna happen, even though you have no interest in me, I'm in love with you. <laughs> Isn't that the best joke you ever heard? <laughs> and you know what else? I wasn't kidding about the whole slap thing. That, you know, the thing, thing about me gonna collapse? It's, it's weird even, you know? I'm kind of weird I haven't fallen over. <clears throat> oh. Oh. <clears throat> well, <clears throat> there goes the last of my movement. Oh, and it's starting to fade to black. Oh, that's great. That's just great. <laughs> The blade broke down your walls, huh? Works for me. <laughs> Who said that? Who are you? Who, me? Oh, I'm just a new roommate. Devlin. What do you want from me? How do you learn my name? Oh, I know a lot of things about you, Forge Master. But I'm a bit of a... Sinner. I don't want to just know stuff about you. I want to know everything about you. I told you not to go out there. But... I heard a voice outside! Don't talk back to me, child. Now go and apologize to our Lord Emperazil. You know what happens to those who defy his will. Yes, brother. But... Can I really never go outside? My child, there's a reason we don't go outside in this place. Demons lurk around every corner. But I'm more surprised you didn't break anything. I could have sworn the thing actually hit you. But it did, brother! It punched me right in the face! It felt really weird. What? But your face is fine. No bruising or cuts. You're sure it hit you. Cross my heart! Of all the strange creatures I have encountered out here, young one, you are most definitely the strangest. A 
sister, what happened? Why are we in the ship's infirmary? And why is Albus on the floor? No, I, I remember some things. I remember reaching the sword. I remember getting attacked and then... Oh gods, that's right! Albus shot himself out of a cannon! By the gods, what was he thinking? His body is probably shattered. Quickly, let's get him into bed. <sighs> All right, now let's get those rags off. It's amazing his clothes are still in one piece too. Well, there's definitely visible damage done. I'm afraid my medical knowledge is very limited, sister. Would you help me? Is that everything? Incredible! Not a single broken bone! You're a lucky man, Albus. Now for you, sister. What do I mean? Please don't insult my intelligence. Your distress is plainly obvious to me. Is there anything I can do for you to ease your burden? No? Well, perhaps you'd at least consider getting some rest. It's been a long day. I thought so. Say, perhaps you'd prefer to sleep in my bed tonight. Might make you feel more comfortable. Am I suggesting we- uh, Oh, no, uh, of course not. I still have some work to do myself. I have a ship to pilot, after all. I just thought you'd appreciate me being close by. No? Well, that's all right, then. I'll see you soon, sister. Sleep well. Huh? Oh, sister. You're awake. You're out for a while. Fourteen hours. Impressive, to say the least. What am I doing? Oh, nothing. Just looking over the system diagnostics, making sure everything is operating efficiently. What? No, we haven't moved away from the core hunter yet. Again, I'm trying to make sure everything is working properly first. Sister, I know you want to leave this place. I do too, but it's important that I do this. It also helps me to sharpen my senses and muscle memory. And after I just experienced a lapse in my own memory, thanks to Albus, it's important to me that I'm thorough in what I should know as a forge master and the ship's chief operator. You know, this ship is built to be operated by a minimum of at least 12 people. It would be fairly disastrous if I had forgotten something. How am I doing? Well, I'm not quite sure. On one hand, I feel amazing. Refreshed, even. On the other hand, I haven't slept since I woke up in the infirmary, so there's that. Albus, I think he's still unconscious. You're worried about him, aren't you? He'll be alright, sister. He's been through intense physical trauma before, I'm certain of that. Just watch, as soon as he wakes up, it'll be like nothing ever happened. No! No, I wouldn't recommend going to see him. He needs his rest, right? And a longer rest than normal is to be expected in situations like this, right? N no, I, I haven't been to see him, but... All right, all right, I see you're worried. I'm sure one visit won't hurt. There, see? Right where we left him. Oh, sister, why are you hugging me? You're crying. I had no idea that this was still affecting you. It was insensitive of me, I'm sorry. Oh, I have been affected too, I just... I don't know how to feel about this. I mean, it's Albus. I shouldn't feel bad for him. He has represented every dark day for my family. So what do I do? Well, I do what I always do. I work, I fix, I build. It feels like it's the only thing I know is there. The only thing that's true. Does that make any sense? You're too kind, sister. Come to think about it, you've struggled the most. Despite all our fighting, all our arguments, 
You've tried to keep this group of us together. It's no wonder you snapped at Alice when you did. I'm honestly surprised you've tolerated him this long. Sorry. <sighs> we should go. He obviously needs some more rest. I don't know when he'll wake up, but being here isn't going to make you feel any better. <sighs> what? What is... Let's go, sister. <laughs> Albus, you're awake. Faithful, what are you doing? How long was I out? Around half a day. Half a day, huh? You didn't get into any more trouble, did you? No, we haven't moved yet, actually. How are you feeling? Oh, dizzy. Oh, feels like my head has been smashed in with a fucking hammer. Faithful, I have barely any life in me, and you're squeezing it. Can you stop? Ugh. Fucking hell. You're stronger than you look. Oh, stop your blubbering. I hate it when women cry. Maybe you should rest a little longer. Oh, I bet you'd love that, wouldn't you? And leave you two all alone to fuck when I'm not looking. <laughs> Fat chance. I'll pop a load and be back on my feet in five minutes. If you insist... I'm going to the bridge to finish my diagnostics report. Hey, wait. Yes? What about you? What about me? You've just been possessed by a cursed sword. You're telling me you aren't feeling anything from that. I was at first, but I think that blow to the back of my head was enough to knock it out of me. I'm fine now. Really? <laughs> well, isn't that great? Yes, I suppose it is. Nothing. Seriously. What do you want from me? <sighs> Forget it. Go run your ship diary or whatever you call it. Okay, dealing with that later. Are you okay, Faithful? <laughs> I see you patched me up again. How do I know it was you? <laughs> Easy. Remember the first time we met? You patched up my arm. The way you apply bandages, it's got a pattern to it. I even came up with a name for it. I call it the drill because of the way it spirals down the arm, see? Look, just like a drill. Something on your mind? What's wrong? What do I remember? What, you mean like from before? Well, honestly, I don't recall too much after I shot myself out of that fucking cannon. Glad I didn't break anything, though. <laughs> Love it when I do that. Hey, stop that. That mopey look. You clearly have something on your mind. Just fucking tell me already. <laughs> what, did I say something while I was high off my ass? Oh. I did, huh? No, no, you, you don't need to tell me. But, uh, hope you aren't expecting an apology again. You're sorry? Uh, <laughs> what? Why are you sorry? Sorry for... hurting me? <laughs> Why are you saying this all of a sudden? I... I, I don't know what you're talking- I don't get hurt. Whatever. Thank you. <laughs> what are you talking about? Alright, whatever you say. It's, um... It's good to see you again. I am, um, uh... I'm... Glad you're, uh, safe. Look, I'm not good at this kind of thing, okay? Just take what you can get, all right? <clears throat> Faithful! <laughs> oh, you're in a strange mood, aren't you? Oh, my head. You have any water? Oh, great, give it here. Oh, oh that's a bit better. I think I can stand up now. Let's see if I can... There we go. Oh, so far, so good. I haven't collapsed yet. Oh, 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 fucking spoke too soon. Oh, this doesn't feel right. Oh, oh. No, no, you don't understand. I've been unconscious for days and woken up just fine, but this, this feels different. It's like I've been drugged or something. Oh, my neck is sore as well. 
Ah. Wait. What's that? Faithful, look where I'm feeling. Don't be weird about it, just look. You see that? Is that what I think it is? Are those needle wounds? You didn't inject me with anything, did you? Oh, it hurts. Oh, so much. I can barely move my neck, let alone think. Oh. No, no. I've had enough sleep. At this point, the only time I should be sleeping is when I'm dead. <laughs> hey, do me a favor. Help me find Devlin. I have to ask him something. Albus? <clears throat> That's my name last time I checked. Surprised to see me? Actually, yes. I thought you'd have fallen back asleep. Hey now, why would you go and think a foolish thing like that, dear brother? Hmm. Well, you're choosing to be awake. I need your help. You need my help? Yes, I need your help. Is that so hard to believe? You'd let me touch all your precious machinery? I don't like it any more than you do. Alright, so what do you need me to do? It's primarily general maintenance. Everything should be simple manual labor. Nothing you can't handle, I'm sure. Manual labor? Oh, come on, really? Brother, please, take pity on me. You know how I feel about pity. You're right. I do. Exactly! So... What gave me away? The brother I know is more naive and emotional. You lean too hard into his work bonus side. I see. What's the matter, Faithful? Oh, you're confused. Ugh, she's always confused. Typical. That's not Devlin. That's a demon. Devlin's been possessed. Must have happened when he was unconscious. Guess that makes this my fault. Oh, feels weird to be back in familiar territory. Yes, spell it out for her. Are you caught up now, or do you need flashcards? My sword! This hasn't once ended well for you. Why would that change now? Fourth... Fourth... Times the... Jump! Cute. Fun fact. The average healthy male grip strength for your kind is about 73 pounds. I think you'll find Devlin's implant to be... Slightly stronger. <coughs> Throwing random shit at me? Please. We haven't been properly introduced. I am Kravitas. The pleasure is all yours. Damn. You know, I didn't see it before, but now that I'm closer to you, there is something about you. Something that makes me want to- No, you don't! Grabbing me from behind, Albus? I thought this was what you wanted. Devlin and your precious faithful breeding till their heart's content, while you play lone wolf and ride off into the sunset. Faithful! Don't just stand there! Run! Get off! Where are you? <laughs> oh, I love it when they run! It's getting you all the more. Faithful! Faithful! I'm still alive, okay? Don't worry, I'll, I'll think of something. You can't run forever. I'm inside Devlin's mind. I know every corner of this ship. And if you try to leave, well, you won't get far. Kravitas! I'm the one you want! Come on and fight me, you fucker! It's not always about you, Albus. Sometimes I just like to play around with other toys. It's not your fault, I just need to break someone else for a change. Something fresh. But don't worry, I'll come back to you when I'm done. No! Don't you fucking touch her! Oh, you don't have anything to worry about, Albus. I'll take very good care of her. <laughs> Not if I stop you first! I have to admit, your persistence is impressive. You haven't won against me a single time, but you keep trying as if this time will be different. If it weren't so sad looking, I'd applaud the effort. <laughs> Never won't let you hurt them! Impressive, albeit a little sad. How many chemicals did I put in your body, hmm? How many poisons? How many venoms? I suppose the real question you're asking is, is it enough to kill you? Well, I don't want you to die. Not yet, anyway. So why don't we give you some antidotes? 
tell them to struggle, but it'll only make it more painful for you, so struggle all you like. Oh, I guess I should have mentioned, since I'm giving up several injections at once, that there's a small side effect. A paralytic side effect. That's a good boy. Now, come with me. You're going to want to see what happens next. I found you. Oh, don't worry about him. He's conscious. I'll just prop him against this door so he can get a good look at you. There! Now, be a good boy and stay. After all, a good dog knows its place. Now, where were we? You know, possessing humans is quickly becoming one of my favorite things. I can feel all their little emotions, all their desires, hear all their thoughts. Then I can act upon them. And let me tell you, Devlin here has some very impure thoughts about you. One of them happens to be pinning you to the wall. Want to know what happens next? You're just gonna let it happen? Or are you gonna stop being a little bitch and kick me in the fucking dick? Ah! That... that fucking hurt! What the fuck was that? Did you just kick me in the dick? Who does that? You, you fucking bitch! What did you do to me? Uh, uh, what? What are you doing? Wait, what is that? That key. I, I know what that is. No, stay back. Get that thing away from me. Don't you dare touch me with that thing. What's the matter, Vinny? Can't take the heat? <laughs> Should have known you were out of your death. I just want to go home. I can make you strong. I hate... I hate you, Albus. But I hate me more. She doesn't deserve you. And you know that. You know you want this. I can give it all to you. It's true. Am I... A monster? Call yourself a man, do you? Alone. No one wants me. I am alone. Nobody wants you, Vinny. Just go back to your ships. Work. I have to work. Uh huh? S sister what are you... Wait, where am I? Wait, I know this place. It's my first workshop. Ah, oh, I really miss this place. Forge Master Flang was so proud of me when I graduated from the academy, he practically gave it to me when he retired. God, I still remember the last words he said to me. As long as you have your mind, you're always equipped. Oh, look at this! My first thermal spanner! I haven't seen this thing in so long! No way! My old design book? I thought this thing was destroyed when... When I... Set my room on fire. None of this is real, is it, sister? It's just... The one place in the world I'm happiest. It's what I want to see. I kind of hate that. I saw right through this whole thing instantly. It's like I'm trying to not be happy or something. Why? Why can't I just be content with this? This is everything I have ever wanted. I can build anything in here. So why do I have to ruin it for myself? Because I know better, I don't understand. What do you mean? Well, yes, I want us to succeed, but... You're right, I did choose to help you against all odds. I just... Why? Why are you doing this? Why do you believe in me so much? I'm not a warrior, I'm weak! All I do is fix the ship. So why do you care? Why go through all this trouble just for me? Because you need me. Really? 
But I... I don't see how. Why did I want to help you? Well, because it felt like the right thing to do. I've never seen anyone so sure of what they believed in. I wanted... I wanted to help you. Because you gave me a chance to do something more. I don't want to let you down, but... I'm scared, sister. Honestly, I don't know how you do it. How do you manage to keep going? You have a friend. What, you mean Albus? Me? What are you saying? I help you. How? I, I don't understand. You're scared too. We're one and the same. That's why you came here, isn't it? You wanted to help me because you knew I'd do the same for you. That's why I know better than to believe a cheap illusion. Because despite how terrible things get, I'll never give up on you. Thank you, sister. What do we do now? I have a few ideas. I'm not a warrior, but an artificer is strongest in his mind. Go back, sister. I'll handle things from here. To turn dreams into reality. That is my job as a forge master. You chose to mess with the wrong mind, demon! What? What the fuck did you do to me, you bitch? Faithful. Well, doesn't look like anything has changed. Guess you failed, didn't you? You really should have expected this. You're just a faithless worshipper. An oxymoron by every stretch of the word. What do you even do? I... I can't... move! What is locking me inside my own mind? Surrounded by my own insecurities? I must admit that was a clever idea. Who said that? But you made one fatal mistake. Go away! I'm in control! How about you stop using my voice now? What are you... What the fuck? How in the fuck should are you doing that? <laughs> I told you. You made a fatal mistake. You locked me into my own mind. Do you know what I even do there? What? I dream. I tinker. I build. And then I find a way to make it real. That is who I am. What the fuck is that? You said it yourself. My mental walls were torn down. So I built new ones. With a few extra defense options to keep monsters like you out. Well, holy shit. Looks like you were right, Kravitas. My brother, he isn't a fighter. But he doesn't quit either. Don't you dare use my own shit against me! I am Kravitas, maker of immortals! I'll fucking kill every one of you, cocksuckers! Yeah, yeah, heard that one before. Hurry up and get rid of that motherfucker, Devlin. With pleasure. He's gonna fall. Faithful! <sighs> Thank you, sister. How do I feel? Well, I've been better. Why does my mouth taste like fruit? <sighs> That's pretty normal for demon possessions. <clears throat> Not sure why, though. Are you planning on getting off the floor anytime soon, Albus? You paralyzed me, motherfucker! <clears throat> Lucky I can move at all. No, I didn't. It was the demon. Oh, yeah, I'm sure that'll fly in court. Court? Oh, please, as if you know anything about the judicial system. Hey, Devlin. What? It's good to see you again, brother. Oh, uh, it's good to see you too. Okay, now that we got that sappy shit out of the way, can someone please help me? But brother, it's so cold and it hurts. This isn't up for debate, child. Now go to sleep. This isn't fair! Why don't you get to sleep in a bed? But I have 
to sleep on a big dumb stone. The altar keeps you safe, my child. It's for your own protection. But couldn't you keep me safe, brother? I am keeping you safe. But... We are not having this discussion right now. The gods have given you a place of rest. That's more than what the average paladin gets. Take their offering, child. They aren't as generous to anyone else. Okay. I don't like this. Look, I did the best I could, alright? You ruined my sword. It feels completely off. It complements your fighting style. Like hell it does. I feel like I'm swinging around a toothpick with a bag of shit stuck to it. Careful, brother. You're starting to sound creative. <sighs> What's the matter, brother? You think my whip will make me a better forge master than you? Not in the slightest. The idea of you becoming a forge master is laughable on a good day. <sighs> Well, you never know. If this is how you make a sword, I imagine I could catch your rank pretty quick. Uh, just deal with it, will you? He's enjoying this way too much. Typical. Well, in any case, he's almost done. After the last few charges are placed, we'll be able to clear a path through this forest for the ship to move. And then afterwards, I'll have a talk with Albus about changing the course heading. Oh, please. My way was faster and you know it. Your way would have us encountering 80 different anomalies that were all at threat level black. And your way would have meant waiting around for God knows how long and hoping nothing finds us. What kind of plan is that? The kind of plan that won't get us killed in an eldritch forest. Better to die fighting than to die stalling. What kind of logic is... What the... Albus! <clears throat> There's something out there with you! <clears throat> something big! Oh, you don't say. I think I'm gonna need a bigger sword. How does a broadsword sound? You're actually gonna use it this time. We don't have much choice. Nope. <clears throat> Guess not. Hey! You big fucking thing! Over here! And lo, the warrior turned to the hideous monster and yelled, Hey, you big fucking thing. Truly the stuff of legends. That's it, look this way! Come on, turn around- Whoa! Okay, that is a massive- Albus stopped staring at it- Wow, okay, that is- yeah, you see it too, right? I'm just confused. I mean, how does one even... You know what? I don't want to know. I do. Now is not the time. Oh, come on. It's not like the thing is moving very far. Albus? Albus! Oh. Oh. I'm here. Oh, I'm here. Calm down. Oh, fuck me sideways. That was close. All right. No more distractions. Big boy or not, the fucker tried to kill me. As far as I'm concerned, that's a death sentence. Let's dance! He's climbing up the back side? Ah, I see what he's doing. Albus, I'll let you know when you're within firing range. Sister, can you help me? Albus set a timer on it when he shot himself out of a broadsword, but this will be different. You aim, I'll shoot. Come on. No, no! Fucking death swing me off. That's it. That's it. Almost there. Okay. Hey! You see me over there? Let's see. Yes, I see you. All you need to do now is bring it into range. Oh, that's all, eh? Anything else while I'm doing the impossible? Just do it! Okay. Sister, aim a little more to the left. Okay, now bring it down a hair. Firing! No oh, shit, my sword is stuck. No, oh, fuck this. Who did it? It's dead! And the ship is covered in viscera. Great. Albus, are you still breathing? Thanks for your concern. Oh, yes, I'm fine. Covered in shit. But I'm fine. Good. When you're done, come on back to the ship and we'll set off the charges. Yes, sir. By the way, sister, did you want to say a blessing before the detonation? These are holy charges after all. 
It would make sense for a member of the faith to give blessings to them. Alright then. Let's wait for Albus to get back and then- I'm back. Perfect timing! The sister was about to bless the charges. How long is that gonna take? Really, Albus? I just fought my way through a horde of bone drinkers and an eldritch giant. If there's anything I missed out there, those charges are gonna be sabotaged by the time you're done praying or whatever you're doing. Oh, it'll be fine, I'm sure. Wait, where's your sword? It blew up. What?! It got stuck in the giant, okay? I couldn't get it free. Well, where are you going to get another one? I don't know, storage maybe? Ugh, I can't believe this! <laughs> Faithful, why don't you go ahead and start your blessing before Vinny's head explodes? Well done, sister. I must say that was quite a passionate blessing. Hmm. <laughs> That's all you have to say. What do you want from me? It was good, alright? A man of few words. Alright, I'm setting off the charges. There we are. One river wide enough for us to pass. That doesn't sound good. Hold on, let me check the scanner. Huh. What is it? We've uncovered a gravesite beacon. The forest must have been masking the signal. I'm copying the beacon data. Might be interesting to see whose grave it is. I doubt it. Vinny, come on, we really should be moving on. There we are. Hmm. This isn't a paladin I recognize. What about you, sister? Lots of paladins pass through your temple on the way to the mantle, correct? Is she someone familiar to you? Sandy. Did you say something, Albus? What? No, no, I, I didn't. Um, we should, um... We should move on. Right, of course. I may need a few minutes to course correct, but we'll be moving within the hour. Good. Ah, oh, good. You know, the longer I spend time with him, the easier I find it to read his face. Sister, why don't you go and find him? I have a feeling he's going to try and leave the ship without anyone knowing. He might need some company. I'll stay here, keep the engines warmed. Good luck, sister. Hey. <laughs> don't bother hiding, I know you're here. Devlin figured me out, didn't he? That's why you're here, right? It's not a good thing, you know. If he figures out I'm not the monster he thinks I am, he'll be really confused. He'll also be dooming himself in the eyes of the family if we become friends. <laughs> you know what amazes me the most? Despite all we've been through, you somehow remain completely adorable. How do you manage that, eh? How do you keep that up? How do I keep going? Well, I, I, um, I just ignore it all and focus on what's important. So what's important about this, she says? <laughs> Nothing. Nothing at all. It's why you need to stay here while I do this. Focus on your own thing. You'll be safer that way. Seriously? You're not going to relent, are you? You can be really stubborn sometimes. Anyone ever told you that? What are you even going to do when we get there? Pray? <laughs> Again? <laughs> oh, fine. You can come. But... We need to be first. Okay? So if you slow me down, you're going back. You got it? Alright, here we go. Where are you going? Oh, you know, just thought we'd have some fresh air, have a quickie, and be back before you noticed. Sure, whatever. Just be back soon. <laughs> Thank you, brother. You're... you're welcome. Oh, damn. All right, this way. Oh, go on then, ask your questions. Stop that. 
I know you have questions, don't play dumb. I can see it on your face. And besides, do you really want to walk in awkward silence? Where are we going? <laughs> A grave. Have you not been paying attention this whole time? Whose grave? <clears throat> my, um, my night trainers. We've uh, talked about it before, you know. Night Sergeant Sandiver. The recruits call us Sandy. You know, because of the... <laughs> you know what? I shouldn't have to spell that out for you. Was I fond of her? No, not really. But she hated me less than most. She used to pick on me in the ranks. Albus, you're up first. Albus, fetch me my sword. Albus, see me in my quarters. You know, maybe the reason she hated me less than most is because I knew my place. Most of the bastard children in my company thought they still had something to hope for. <laughs> Sandy fucking hated that. Means they aren't broken yet. So when someone like me comes along who knows I'm just a slab of meat, both physically and... Physically? <laughs> well, Sandy really couldn't get enough of me. Did I like her? <laughs> Well, in time I learned to love her. And then... I unlearned. What do I mean? Oh, I just mean... Sometimes you go through things that... Make you realize what being worth nothing really is. Some people may think they know what that's like, but uh... Anyway, it doesn't matter now. Hmm? Oh, my ring necklace. You like it? Yeah, I found this ring back in my training stash. No idea where it came from. Not sure what, but, uh... It felt special to me. So I kept it. Hey, didn't you hear me? It was in my stash, I didn't steal it. Besides, no one seemed to care anyway. Can you see it? Oh, sure. Let me just, uh, take it off. Yeah. Yeah, no markings or anything, just a gold ring. Strange, isn't it? It's like it doesn't belong anywhere. It doesn't fit in. It's, uh, kind of like you, isn't it? Huh? Oh, I didn't say anything. Can, um, uh, can I have it back now? I know you're not going to steal it, I just... I, I don't feel right without it. Thank you, Faithful. I uh, forgive you. Oh, uh, nothing. Just, um... I wanted to say, uh... You apologized to me a couple days ago. Remember? For the whole... Pushing you thing? Yes, I know, it was a while ago, but you, you seemed upset about it, so this is me forgiving you. No, I'm not doing this for my own benefit, I just... Oh, oh never mind, it was stupid anyway. No, no, come on, moment's passed. There's no point. Okay, okay. I'm forgiving you because... I hate seeing you sad. And the last few days, uh, whenever you look at me, I just... I can't... I, I just... Do you know why I call you Faithful and not Sister? No, it's not because you're a woman of Syndergorn. It's because you do have faith. Despite what anyone says, you aren't faithless. I know you still have faith, because against your better judgement, you have faith in me. Despite everything I've taught you about not trusting me or anyone of my kind, you're still here. You're still standing with me. So, you know, it's the least I can do. To forgive you. 
I'm still here to protect you. That hasn't changed. Okay? And just so you know, this isn't me going soft. Understand? It's a mutual respect. Good. I'm glad you see it that way. No, no, of course not. I wouldn't want that. Right, yep, it's just a job. No funny business. Yep, glad we're on the same page. Mm hmm. <laughs> oh, hey, look at that, we made it. <laughs> hey, thanks for coming with me. I didn't realize how much I needed this. It's, um, nice. It felt good. Just to talk. So, uh, yeah. Thanks for talking to me. <sighs> okay, that felt weird. Moving on. <laughs> Jeez. Isn't this supposed to be a shallow grave? Feels a bit more royal than I was expecting. I don't know. It just feels like it's too much. Oh well. We're here now. I, uh... Guess I should say something. Ah, <sighs> damn. What should I say? Hmm. Okay, this might sound stupid, just so you know. I'm really not used to this. Um, hey there, Sandy. Did you miss me? <laughs> I bet you did. <laughs> you know, I often wondered what I'd say to you if I ever saw you again after... After what happened. Who knows? Maybe they were lying. Maybe you'd have actually believed me if I had told you. Well, no way of knowing now. I think I know what you'd say though. Warrior's code. We don't think, we fight and we fuck. At the end of the day, that's all we're gonna be good for. If you know something you shouldn't, you keep that cute mouth of yours shut. Eventually, you'll forget it even happened. <laughs> if only. Well, I'd, uh, say it was good seeing you again, but, uh, we both know I'd be lying. <laughs> See you around. Alright, that's all I got. The Kansas Black Knight. That's what they called her, I think. She told us Kansas Knights have certain creeds about burials. We are buried with honor and steel. <laughs> I'd be amazed if she had any honor, Sandy, but, uh... Let's see if there's any steel. Faithful, um... You may want to turn away from this. What am I doing? Oh, nothing. Just, uh... Checking something. <laughs> it looks like I'm grave robbing. <laughs> Is that so? Wow, that's crazy. Look, she's fucking dead, okay? I think I deserve something for all the shit she's put me through. What the? <laughs> shit! Faithful, get behind me! Heart rippers. A lot of them, too. <laughs> They're acting as your guardian, Sandy. I don't think they approve of me. Or maybe... This is one final test from you. Eh? <laughs> Let's see if you can actually help me this time. Aha! I know this sword. Always had it in your bedchambers, but you never used it, did you? <laughs> I even started thinking it was fake. Well, let's see how fake it is. Faithful, stand back. <laughs> oh, holy shit! That felt good. Oh, fuck me. That's better than sex. Oh, this feeling. Oh, this must be what bloodlust feels like. It's enough to make a man sick. Come on, then! Let's fucking go! This... This feels 
feels so good. I can barely think. Oh, my mind is going blank. <laughs> What's with that look now, Faithful? You look like a scared animal. So out of place here. I'm not done with you yet! I hate it. <laughs> I wish you wouldn't look at me like that. Ah! 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 You broke my leg. <laughs> Good. I thought this was getting too easy. Ah! But we don't always get what we want, do we? Besides... This is who I really am, isn't it? A broken arm too, huh? <laughs> I don't think you understand what you've done. I fight a lot better like this. It has to be. What else is there? Another arm too, huh? Come on, try and kill me. You know you want to. Damn. I think I'd be lying if I said I could still win this. Yes! What's the matter? Never seen a warrior fight without a shield? You know what it means, right? <laughs> Come on! Is that the best you've got? A warrior with no shield has no reason to live. That's why you never gave it to us, right, Sandy? Look at all of you. Monsters by any other name. <laughs> But I don't see monsters here. I just have to keep fighting. Keep fighting. Come on! I'll show you what a real monster looks like! Why? Why? Why am I fighting? Why am I even here? Oh, fuck you taste good when you die! Oh wait. Well, I was... I think I was... Protecting... Something. Right? That's a good boy! Scream for me! Scream! No, that, that can't be right. The only one worth protecting here is... Yeah. Faithful! Hold on, I'm coming! So that's why they call them... Hot Rippers. Where... Where are they going? What's wrong? You scared of something? You better be. You... You better be. Faithful? This is your chance to run. Leave me here. Leave me... with the monsters. No, no, it, it's, it's, too, it's far too late for me. Hey, look, look at me, look at me. Don't be scared, okay? This, this was gonna happen eventually. We always knew this, but you. You have a chance to live, and I'll be damned if you don't take it. Go. Go. Before they come back. I knew you were doing something stupid. A heroic death, brother. How very noble. Oh, seriously? Oh, you couldn't just let me die now, could you? Oh, I hate you both so much. So, are either of you going to tell me what in the hell happened? Uh, like I said, just uh, popped up for a quickie. You're really joking around at a time like this? Are you nuts? Why were you fighting heart rippers? And where did you get that sword? Uh, uh, hey, Vinny? What? Just uh, shut up already. Even half dead, you still don't want anyone to help. Typical. Absolutely typical. It's Amazing how little you appreciate everything we've just gone through for you. You put the sister's life in danger, you tried to get yourself killed. The least you could do is show some gratitude. But apparently that's just too much for Big Bad Albus. 
Can't you see we're trying to look out for you too? Albus? Albus! Sister, he's not breathing! Where am I? Hi there, it's GB. I hope you enjoyed the video. Before we end for today, I'd like to showcase some of the art made by the patrons. If you'd like to get your art shared on the channel, be sure to join the Discord and subscribe to my Patreon. Thank you. The child is asleep. I wonder what she dreams of. The days move by slower and slower as the final day approaches. The gods are testing my will, but I cannot break. This mission is sacred. My path is just. Karana will be sacrificed on the day of the Black Sun. Albus, wake up! Sister, I don't understand. We've tried everything, but his vitals are still going down. If this keeps up, he's going to die. You've seen what he's gone through before, right? This should be nothing. Right? Oh, I knew we should have stopped him. We should have made him talk. We could have convinced him not to leave. Well, when you put it like that, maybe not. Gods above, this has to stop happening. And why am I getting deja vu from this? Albus is wounded and lying on a bed in the medical ward. I swear I've been here before. When I was possessed? Really? Well, that does make sense in a way. I suppose my body retained some memory of the experience. Wait a minute! When I was possessed! Of course! Sister, do you still have that, uh, thing? You know, that thing! The thing that lets you be inside me! <laughs> Gods, even unconscious, he's such a child. Yes, the key! Now, hear me out. You could use the key to go into Albus's mind and wake him up. Well, I said you could, because... Well, do you really want to go into his mind? I mean, who knows what kind of horrid thoughts linger beneath that thick skull of his. It's most likely full of violent murders and unspeakable acts of sex and depravity. So, you know, probably not the safest place. Wait, what's that you have there, sister? Oh, it's that ring Albus wears around his neck. No, I've never seen anything like that before. I wonder where Albus even got it. As far as I know, the clan doesn't have anything like that. It sure does stand out though, doesn't it? Much like Albus, I suppose. We need to save him. My mind's made up. He'd do worse for us. And besides, I don't think we'll be able to go on without him. What do you say, sister? Uh... Also, about that key. This might be a bad time to bring this up, but... You can pull away any time, right? You don't think you can get trapped, do you? You don't know. 
Well, that doesn't exactly fill me with confidence. You're going to do it anyway, aren't you? You're going in there. All right. I know you don't really need to hear this from me, but please be careful. I'll keep an eye on everything out here. Oh, waking up now, are you? For a second I thought you died. Whoa, hey, no need to panic. You're in good hands. What? No, no, I, I haven't done anything. I swear on my oath, I have not touched you. Okay, now you're hugging me. That's a bit friendly, don't you think? I mean, we just met. Oh, but where are my manners? I failed to introduce myself. <laughs> Apologies. I, Captain Albus of Trent's, 82nd Battalion, Clan York. I was out on patrol when I found you lying face down out in this field. Tell me, you aren't one of those field urchins, are you? Because if so, I'm afraid I can't let you stay here. Remember you? Oh, uh, I'm sorry, have we met somewhere before? Not to brag, but I know quite a few people. <laughs> okay, okay, I understand. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. Why don't I make it up to you? There's an inn not too far from here. I was actually heading there before I found you. The food's pretty good and it's quiet too. I find it's a good place for me to think. Would you care to join me? Ah, not at all. It would be my honor. Can you stand? Ooh, strong one, aren't you? <laughs> all right, let's go. Hey, why are you staring at me like that? <laughs> you like what you see? Oh, don't turn away. You're breaking my heart here. Okay, I get it. Not in the mood for talking right now. Hmm? You say something. Nothing? Really? Oh, weird. Thought I heard something. Must have been the wind. <laughs> it's a joke. Oh boy, not a good day for you at all, is it? <laughs> Don't tell me you're always like this. What's that look for now? You weren't expecting a more royal treatment, were you, princess? I mean, if you want, I could take your hand and... Hey, wait. Your hand. Oh, you're injured. Here, let me see. <laughs> you gonna unball your fist first? <laughs> don't worry. I don't bite. Let me clean it up for you. There, see? That wasn't so hard. And now... Oop! <laughs> All better. You feeling okay? You look a little, uh... Red in the face. You aren't sick, are you? I mean, you were lying face down in the dirt. I wouldn't be surprised if you caught something. Here, look into my eyes. Don't worry, I'm not being weird. I've learned to tell if someone's sick by their eyes alone. It's kind of a gift. <laughs> Come on, don't be sassy now. Please? I just want to help you. Thank you, Princess. Mm. Mm, yeah, that looks about right. Mm. Well, there's no doubt in my mind now. You've got beautiful eyes. <laughs> Apologies, I couldn't help myself. No, no, I wasn't lying. You're actually just fine. A bit shaken, a bit stirred, but not sickly. Well, we're not far now. If you still want to, you can still hold my hand. No? You sure? <laughs> well, I'm always open to it if you change your mind. <laughs> I'm not saying anything, don't worry. Your hands are very soft, by the way. <laughs> Here we are. After you, princess. Hmm? 
Oh, hello there. Welcome to... Albus? Hello, brother. What are you doing here? It's a little early for your shift to be over, isn't it? I'll get to that. I found this one outside in the dirt. She claims I know her. I see. You won't get in trouble for this, will you? <laughs> Don't worry. Taking care of people around here is what we signed up for, right? So if anything, I'm doing my job. Will your superiors accept that? I hope so. <laughs> Albus. It's fine, okay? Tell you what, why don't we say I'll owe you one for this? You'll owe me one. A part of our oath is that a knight keeps to his word. So you know I'm good for it. Well, okay. Do you want anything to drink? Two pints of cherry mead. You're sure your friend here can handle that? Who said it was for her? Albus! You are not drinking two pints of cherry mead. Why not? One for now, one for later. You'll be buzzed out of your mind. <laughs> you let me worry about that. What about you? You want a drink? Nah, it's fine. Get whatever you want. You don't know what we have. You must not be from around here. Let me get you a menu. You're in for a treat. Devlin's got a pretty wide selection to choose from. He gets imports from all across the land. Whatever you want, chances are he's got it. Here you are. I'll be back in a few minutes to help if you can't decide. Once you do, just call my name and I'll be here before you know it. Hmm? My hand? What about it? Well, of course it's flesh and blood. Why wouldn't it? Aha! Uh -huh. Careful, Albus. This one seems a little... strange. Nah, she's fine. Worst case scenario, I'll make a trip to the town medic. You aren't going to hurt her, are you? Not unless she gives me a reason to. <laughs> oh, she's harmless though. Look at her. Hmm. All right, I trust you, brother. You're the best, D. You are... Uh, you okay? You look a bit confused. Hey, don't roll your eyes at me. I'm just trying to help. You want me to stop? <laughs> okay, have it your way. What? You want me to stop staring at you too? Okay, but you said you wanted me to remember you, yeah? How am I supposed to do that if I don't look at you? What? Which drink has the most alcoholic content? Uh, that one. Why? Hey, what are you- Yes? Have you found your drink of choice? Oh, that's... Uh, that's pretty strong. Are you sure you can... No, no, of course, I can make that for you. Just... I'll... I'll go and prepare it for you then. <laughs> You've really got Dev spooked. If I didn't know better, I'd say this is one hell of a prank you're pulling. <laughs> So, if you're saying I know you, would you mind giving me a clue as to how and where we met? At a temple in the far eastern Faithlands. You're gonna call me crazy for this one, but I have no idea what that is. Yeah, I'm serious. How long ago was this? No more than a month ago. You must have the wrong guy, then. I've been on patrol around the border of Sosea for the past eight weeks. I've never even heard of this eastern Faithlands. You sure it was me? Well, now you're not so sure, eh? Hey, listen, don't worry. Wherever you need to go, I'll get you there, okay? It's what you pay me for, right? <laughs> um, sorry, I, uh... Don't know why I said that. It was weird. Uh, hey, Devlin, where are those drinks? Here you are. Try not to overindulge too much. That goes for both of you. Oh, trust me, Dev. I've got a feeling I'm needing this now more than ever. Mm. Oh, so, oh, let me get this straight. I'm a bastard. Ouch. I came to your temple in search of aid after a demon almost killed me or whatever, where you invited me on a quest to kill a priest who happens to be your older brother. Also, he kidnapped a child. So far, so good? Okay. We travelled over several days to a ship depot 
to find transport to a place called the Inner Mantle of Emprazil. In the process, we kidnapped a forge master who happened to be my older brother Devlin. Also, he apparently had a metal arm. Is that right? Well, I'm sold. Yeah, everything sounds sane and valid to me. No, of course not, you skyrocket! You sound like you ingested radio shrooms, are you mad? So what's the truth? I'll tell you what the truth is. I was born in Trent's, my father trained me to fight when I was a kid, and my mother taught me how to keep my nose clean. When I was old enough, I joined my brother's platoon and journeyed across Quaria until he decided to take up work outside of combat. I was his right hand at the time, so uh, I was given the position of Knight Captain. And you've done a good job with it too. You're welcome, by the way. Oi, have I ever not been thankful to you? Now, I didn't say that, little brother. Apologies for eavesdropping, but my ears were burning. So what do you reckon from this? Here's the thing. Your story sounds... impossible. But I have a mind to know when someone is telling the truth and if they're crazy. What I'm saying is, as weird as it sounds, I believe you. You can't be serious! We've seen all manner of outlandish things in our time together, little brother. How is this any different? Well, you've got a good point. So, where do we go from here? What do you mean, we? I've got a bar to maintain. Oi, whatever happened to never leave a fellow soldier behind? Very true, but I'm no soldier, am I? Well, it was worth a try. Miss me that much, do you? What can I say? I miss the good old days, don't you? There is a part of me that yearns for that nostalgia, but I can't. Oh, come on. Part of being a soldier means being a man of your word. I said I would stop fighting to run this in, and that's exactly what I intend to do. Ooh, I'm getting chills. You ever get tired of being stunning and brave? If you're quite finished, I'll take your glasses. And don't worry about the tab this time. Oh, that's very kind of you, brother. Don't get used to it. I still have a business to maintain. By your orders, Knight Captain. I heard that. Excuse me, I just need to grab your- Oh, careful! Phew, nice catch. Albus? Is everything alright? What is that? What is what? That! Where did you get that ring? Have I seen it before? Yes, but... I, I, I don't know where. Good gods above, Albus! Don't scare the poor girl like that! Sorry, I just... It feels strange seeing that ring. Do I want to hold it? Yeah, sure, I... I, I... Albus, what's come over you? <laughs> you said come. That's a good one for... Albus! Albus, what's wrong? Devlin? Devlin, where did you go? What's happening? What's going on? It's you, isn't it? You know what's going on, don't you? This is your doing, isn't it? No, get away from me! A wall? <laughs> You've trapped me in here. <laughs> I should have known. Listen, I don't know what it is you want from me, but I want nothing to do with it! You understand? I'm no one's slave! God's above, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. S slave? Is that what I am? W what I was? To you? No. No, no, that's, that's not it. That's not it, right? I... I... I'm... No, I'm in... I'm in love with you. I'll tell you. I, I... I don't remember. Stay the fuck back! Don't you know who you're talking to? I'm Albus fucking York! I'll kill you just for looking at me funny. Wait, that's not who I am. Stop it! This has to be a joke, right? You, you drugged me. That's what this is. You drugged me. Slipped something into my mead when I wasn't looking, yeah? So, I can just wait out the high. Simple as. What are you doing? No! Don't come near me with that ring! It's evil! I want nothing to do with it! No! No, I don't remember! Don't even try to- Yeah, I found this ring back in my training stash. No idea where it came from. 
Not sure what, but uh, it felt special to me. So I kept it. <coughs> Stop it! You can't... You can't do this to me! Strange, isn't it? It's like it doesn't belong anywhere. It doesn't fit in. Ah! Why? Why are you doing this? Why do you insist on hurting me? Not real. What are you talking about? This place is very real. The air, the atmosphere, these tables and chairs, the bar! I could touch them. They're all real! Sticking to your story, are you? Fine. Maybe I believe you. Huh? Maybe none of this is real. But I don't care! The world we come from. From what little I remember from it. It, it runs on, on lies and blood! But this right here. This lie you, you found me in. There's no blood here. There's nothing here. There's none of that! So I beg you, I'll get on my knees. Please, just let me live this lie. For the first time in my life, I finally felt... I finally felt like... like I wasn't a monster. Like people wanted me around. They were ashamed of me. Tell me, who have I gotten out of the world? Who's got my back? No one! Not even you! And even if somehow you did, I'd push you away. That's who I am in that world, isn't it? The kind of person who has to distance themselves from everyone because... because I've been hurt so many fucking times! What kind of life is that? So please... Please... Whether it's a fiction of my own imagination, or, or if it is actually my reality. Please, just let me live. Please! <laughs> what was that? The lights. There. Dimmer. Why? Why? What's going on? I'm dying, aren't I? <laughs> That's why you're here. You came here to, to save me. <laughs> well, forgive me if I'm not exactly grateful. Seems like I have to choose between living in hell or dying. What kind of choice is that? Maybe I should just die. Maybe I'd be better off. Wouldn't have to deal with this pain anymore. No. No one. <sighs> Fuck. I can't bring myself to do that. I can't die. Why? <clears throat> Why? What's holding me back? Tell me. <sighs> In that other world, is there anything? Anything that keeps me going! Is there anything I'm fighting for? You don't know. <laughs> My gods. That's it, isn't it? All this time, fighting for a reason to live and, and that's it. <laughs> it's cute. You don't know what I'm talking about, do you? To be honest... Me either. <laughs> okay, I get it, you can stop trying. I'll come back. But... Before I do... I want one more drink. Something to remember this place by. Not sure if I will remember or not, but I'm not sure if I care either. Do you want anything? Oh, come on. 
It's not like it's real. One drink won't kill you. Here. I'm not exactly good at mixing, so I just kind of put everything into two mugs. There you go. This bar... It's a nice place, isn't it? I was pretty damn happy here. A lot of good memories. Guess they're all fake though, right? <laughs> Can I see that ring? Thanks. Whew, it's very shiny. No wonder he's so fond of it. <laughs> he loves you, you know? The other me? He won't tell you that, so I'm going to do it for him. Uh, so what if he gets mad at me? What's he going to do? Give me a stern talking to? But, uh, yeah. He loves you. A lot as well. How much? <laughs> well, let me tell you. He looks at you, and he sees an angel. And he won't make a move, because he's unworthy of you. You're a lot stronger than he is. Ah, oh, shut up. We both know you don't need to fight monsters to be strong. <laughs> Being strong is sticking to your beliefs, even when things get rough. When you look at it like that, Nambus is pretty pathetic. Can't even die right. Oh. How's the drink? It's good, yeah? Maybe a little too good. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking the same thing. In any other circumstance, this drink would taste like shit, considering I just mixed a bunch of stuff together. <laughs> Guess it really is fake then, huh? Maybe this is no way to live after all. I don't want to go back. I don't... I don't want to go back. <laughs> I'm... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just... I'm being a bitch. <laughs> what? Hold your hand? <laughs> what could all that do? <laughs> that sounds really dumb. No, I'm not gonna... Okay. Okay. If you think it will help, I'll hold your hand. <laughs> oh, God's above. I'm such a baby. <laughs> could you, uh... Could you do me a favor? If, for whatever reason... I don't remember any of this. Would you please remember it for me? <laughs> Thank you. In that case, let me give you something to remember me by. I'll see you soon, Faithful. Are you okay? <sighs> I was worried. Looks like his vitals are stabilizing. You did it, sister! So, I hesitate to ask, but how was it? Were you safe? Better than you thought. Well, that's good at least. I really am glad you're safe, sister. Having you around... It makes me feel a lot stronger. Just something I noticed when you weren't around. I wanted to say something sooner, but... Well, you know. I, uh... I was wondering if we... No, when we get out of this place, 
Uh, maybe we can... Oh, if you're gonna start making out, can you do it somewhere else? Alvis! You're alive! Oh, thank the gods! Don't you dare finish that sentence, Vinny. Oh, the gods had nothing to do with this. Are you in any pain? Yes, my ears. You're making them bleed with the sound of your voice. <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> Stop it. You're being weird. I know you want to start a fight, but I'm just so happy to see you again. See me again? You've been staring at me this whole time. What do you mean? Oh, Faithful, where's my sword? I gotta use it to smack the shit out of him. You sure you want to touch that thing? We thought it might be cursed. What? No, it's not cursed. I'm just really good at killing things. Aha. Uh -huh. That's why I ended up saving you with that heart ripper call. What are you talking about now? <laughs> A small gift from the wall. They knew we were going to die here without any help, so they gave us the tools and data we'd need to survive. So, hang on a sec. You're telling me I've been running around out there fighting monsters and risking my life this whole time, and you had access to that? I've told you this multiple times, but you wouldn't listen. God's fucking damn it. So this really is all my fault? Yeah, pretty much. Don't worry, brother. You won't have to worry about fighting anything for a while now. You think I'm worried about fighting? I can't even move, you dickhead! Yep. And we'll be going by my route, so you'll have plenty of time to recover. Oh, yay. Lucky me. Not like we're on a time limit or anything. No, that's not happening. Come on, gotta get up! Sister, how much time do we have? Really? Oh, that's plenty of time. Back to bed, Albus. What are you talking about? No, stop moving me back. That's... Ugh, it's no time at all. Albus, stop being a baby and let us take care of you. You have three broken limbs, and that's not counting the muscle tearing and fractures. Devlin, stop being a prick. Hey, give me my sword back. You can have this back when you start feeling better. Sister, would you mind watching over him? Don't worry about the ship. I'll take care of things. Devlin! Devlin, come back here, you bitch! Ah! Ow! Okay, okay, but I want it on record that if I fail to do my duty, it's his fault, not mine. Hmm? What do I remember? What do you mean, like from being unconscious? What are you, some kind of dream speaker now? Well, no, not really. I mean, I, I kind of remember a few things, but it's pretty blurry. Why do you ask? No reason? No, oh, okay. Well, there, there was one thing. No, forget it. Please, it, it's really dumb. You, you don't want to hear it. No, come on, it, it's really nothing. You want to know that bad, huh? Okay, fine. This is uh, kind of embarrassing, but... Uh, I remember how good I felt. It was just like, I wasn't, I don't know how to put it. I was happy. I was really happy. Yeah, well, like I said, it's dumb. It's not. <laughs> sure, whatever you say. Thank you, Faithful. I, um, I don't deserve it, but, uh, thank you. Hey, you crying? Oh, uh, um, do you, uh, do you want to, uh, hold my hand? <laughs> don't make it weird. If you don't want to, just say so. Y y you do? Oh, uh. Okay, here. Listen, I, um... I, I know I, uh, put you in danger. I'm sorry. <laughs> yes. I promise I won't do it again. Hey, uh, listen. I'm gonna get some rest. You can stay if you want, I'm not gonna stop you, but, uh... Considering our situation, uh, you'd be better off helping Devlin right now. No, I'm not going to try and get up. Like I said, you can stay if you want. Alright, wait till I'm asleep then. <clears throat> Good night, Faithful.
My observations are now all but finished. Only one more day until the ritual is to be completed. You're coming for me, aren't you? You're out there right now, desperately clinging to the idea that you must stop me. That you're right to stop me. I've sensed that you're coming for a while, but I wasn't so sure. I could trust my senses at all this time. You'll understand, I'm sure. My dear sister, always doing the right thing, even if it means spitting in the face of everything we stand for. My hope is that this place forces you to reconsider my position. I await your arrival, sister. I pray you have come to your senses by the time you arrive. Then again, you are a Korea. And much like myself, you were stubborn to your last breath. I wish you luck, sister. You're gonna need it. I've fought monsters as big as warships, slain creatures with a stronger lust for blood than myself in heat. I've walked across lands wider than a temple mother's saggy tits. And sadly for everyone, I'm still alive. This, however, will be my toughest challenge yet. I might die, but if I don't do this now, I will suffer a fate far worse than death itself. Here goes. Albus, we're here. Are you all right? I need to pee. What? Don't you dare make a big deal out of this. You need to... Wait, does, does this mean that you... Albus, I don't need anyone's help, York, is requesting assistance. Vinny, I swear to all the gods above. <laughs> I can't believe what I'm hearing. Sister, is this another Eldritch illusion? Are either of you going to come down here and help? Oh, I almost threw up. Oh, that was weird. Are we going to... What did you say? <laughs> Devlin, I will fuck you up for this. Oh, is that all? Bye then. Wait! Don't go. I need her. Uh, I need her. Uh, uh. Hair. You need hair. Come on. You almost got it that time. You are so fucking lucky. I can't move. Okay, okay. We're on our way. Big baby. Bow. 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 Fuck. Stop moving around so much. Oh, yes, because I'm completely in control of this full-body prison. Oh, come on, it's not full-body, it's just most of your body. I should slap you for that. Do it. Keep talking like that and I will. Such scorn. You know a spiteful paladin doesn't pass through the gates of Emprazil. Fuck you and your pearly gates. When my time comes, I'll fuck up Emprazil like I fucked up Clan York. You know, you'd think that would get to me, but... After being around you long enough, I find that you're kind of adorable, Albus. How fucking dare. Ooh, and now you're growling at me. I've learned it's your last resort for when people don't listen. It's your way of instilling fear. It would be incredibly scary if you weren't currently pants down over a bucket. Devlin, this is the only time I'll do this, but I am begging you. Walk into my closed fist and knock yourself out right now. And miss the action? Albus, I could never. Oh, you want action, do you? <laughs> Lie down and open your mouth. I guarantee you won't miss a thing. And neither will I- Ow! Okay, okay, I'm sorry, sister. It's just so refreshing having him rely on us for a change. You have to admit it's rather cute seeing him struggle, right? <clears throat> <clears throat> what? Why are you looking at me like that? Oh, fuck off to both of you. Let me piss in peace. <laughs> you see? Poor old Albus. Don't you fucking touch me. Whoa, okay, sorry. 
Right, fun's over. I'd better go back to the bridge. Got to make sure this ship doesn't end up in another red level event. <laughs> Someone's chipper. Pisses me off. What am I doing, Amichi? Where can I take this damn thing off? You don't know. <laughs> well, it better be soon. We're almost there. Just gotta get through one last hurdle. <clears throat> All done. You can take me back now. What's wrong? Why are you turning away from me like that? Oh. <laughs> oh, gods above, you're so innocent. There. You happy now? <laughs> so precious. Well, back to bed then, yeah? I'm sure you've got a lot of work to do around the ship, so I'll make this fast. <clears throat> That's one way to work out. What? Yeah, I'm... I'm fine. Hey, why do you bother asking? Every time you come here, you ask me that like a dozen times. And every time I say, I'm fine. So what's up with that? You're just trying to take care of me, huh? Okay, whatever. You can go now. You wanted to ask me something first. <laughs> Is it am I okay? Gravitas? Oh, okay. Well, I know he's a demon, but not much else. Don't exactly know what you expect from me. What did I mean by I'm the one he wants? W what are you talking about? Back when Devlin was possessed. Oh, right. Uh, that. <laughs> Surprised you remembered. <laughs> um, uh... It was uh, just a heat of the moment type of thing. Don't read too much into it. Something you think I need to tell you. <laughs> Thanks, but uh... No. No, I don't think so. Because if I did tell you, what good would it do? Best you not concern yourself with the woes of a bastard. Best, the young servant of Syndagorn, focus on her own sins, so that she might be redeemed in the eyes of the purest lord of honor and valor, yeah? Hey, don't worry. I'm still here to protect you, okay? I'm under contract after all. <laughs> well, the point still stands. You, uh, you okay? You're fine too, are you? Oh, you're so funny. My, um... <clears throat> my, uh, mother was a sister paladin, you know. She was a servant of the orphan god, Trigus. She was, uh, pure of heart too, or so I'm told. That is until Night Paladin York showed up and put a baby in her. She tried so hard after I was born to convince her fellow brothers and sisters I wasn't a bastard, and that I shouldn't be marked. To make matters worse, York denied ever meeting my mother. Still, even after I was marked, it didn't stop her from trying to get into the clan. Gods, I remember those days so clearly. I was just a kid living on the streets in East Trent's, digging for scraps just to get by. When I was old enough, my mother sent me to the Order's Academy to become a knight. Of course, bastards can't get past the initial ranks if we don't get praise from the upper ranks, but uh, that didn't matter to my mother. Her plan was to showcase my eventual fighting style to Clan York, show them how similar it was to the Knight Paladins, make that her evidence I was his son and we get safe passage into the clan. But they rejected us at every turn. They choose who they let into the clan. They didn't want scum like us. She never gave up, though. <laughs> she told me all the time how much better our lives are going to be. But then I figured it out. My mother? <laughs> she only cared about being with the Night Paladin again. <laughs> she couldn't care less about me. I was just her meal ticket. So after getting angry and screaming at her a bunch, I ran. Left Trent's behind, found my way to Kansas and got drafted by Sandy to complete my training. Except this time, it was just to complete my training. Good and proper. I wasn't fighting to prove anything to anyone. 
I was fighting to live. And so the rest, as you can guess, is cold bloody history. <laughs> My point to this story is never to regret anything. Sure, you may think life was better before, or that it could have been better if you tried harder or something. But you gotta remember the bad times. And you tell yourself, never again. Never again will I live like that. Oh, they'll tempt you. They'll do it all the time. They'll, they'll give you false promises and, and guilt trip you into doing things you hate. And when you finally deny them, oh, well, they won't respect you for it, I'll tell you that much. But you know what? Fuck them. Respect yourself first. In time, you'll realize you're the only one you can trust. Do I trust myself? <laughs> you tell me. <clears throat> Listen, I don't know if any of that helps you or not. I'm not exactly one to give out advice. You got what I was saying. <laughs> you, you were actually listening to all that shit. <laughs> well, um, that, um, well, I don't know what to say to that. <laughs> flustered? <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm not flustered. D don't you start. S stop, stop it. I'm, I'm not blushing. <laughs> That's cheating. Not serious. Seriously, stop. Ow! Ah, it hurts to laugh. Ah. Oh, I can't even move. Ah. Oh, you suck. You have another question. Okay, what is it? How do I know my mother was telling the truth about York? Well, you have a point. Old Mumsy is many things, and a liar would be one of them. If I'm completely honest with you, I don't really know why I believe her. Maybe it's a small piece of me that has some form of hope. <laughs> Stupid, really, isn't it? You don't think so. <laughs> You're a cute one, I'll give you that. Well, it's not like anyone else has stepped forward to claim their prize. So, until that happens, my name is Albus York. <laughs> Much to the dismay of many, I'm sure. Ah, speak the demon's name and he shall appear. What are you blathering about now? Oh, I was just talking to Faithful here about the proper curvature of a good cock. I'm told yours is somewhat lacking, brother. Are you ever going to tell me the truth? Would you believe me if I did? Point taken. In any event, sister, when you have time, I'll need your help realigning the stabilizers. Normally I'd get Albus to do it, but, well, obviously that can't happen. I hope you're not expecting a sorry for the disappointment. When you're done patching Albus up, head to the engine room. I'll be waiting for you. Oh, a private moment alone, eh? Remember, brother, the gods are always watching. What? <laughs> Why do I keep teasing him? Well, because he needs to hate me. They all do. If any one of my brothers or sisters decides they want to be friends with me, well, they get the boot from the clan. That's just the way it works. Why do I care? Oh, why indeed. Faithful, can I tell you something? Don't tell Devlin I said this, okay? I'm serious, please. I won't make any other request of you this whole trip, okay? That's a promise. Yes, other than getting paid, priorities. Okay, the truth is... I really care about my brothers and sisters. Yes, even Devlin. <laughs> as much as I rag on him, Devlin, he's... He's kind of amazing. He's one of, if not the youngest Forge Master in the world. He single-handedly designs ships. He built this ship, which he's currently running all by himself, by the way. And, despite everything we've put him through, he's still here. He hasn't given up. <laughs> I'm so proud of him. But I can never tell him that. Because if one day he decides he likes me being around, he's out of the clan. And a man with no people is not a man for long. Trust me, I should know. And I can't do that to him. I will not destroy him. I won't destroy any of them. It's why I play the villain. <laughs> well, there you go. Now you know the family drama. 
Don't ask me why I bother, <laughs> because I don't really know myself. All I can really say is, <sighs> go see him. Maybe you'll see what I see. Just don't tell him I, I said any of that, okay? You promise? Okay. Thank you, Faithful. Oh, hey! Ready to get started? The stabilizers are controlled by these valves, but they're quite heavy. I was working on a plan to use a long pipe to add some leverage, but it's still too much for just me. I need you to get on the other side of the valve. I'll slide the pipe in through the wheel and we turn it together, okay? Excellent! After we turn it to the correct angle, we'll need to lift the whole tube and slide it back into place. You all right, sister? You look like you have something on your mind. Do you want to talk about it? Well, if I were to hazard a guess, I'd say it has something to do with Albus. Am I correct in that assumption? It always seems to lead back to him, doesn't it? I can't say I'm surprised. He's quite the topic of conversation back home, too. Although we weren't allowed to bring him up too often, especially around my mother and father. Here, grab that end for me. Whew. Yeah, that's a lot easier with two people. <laughs> Better roll up my sleeves for this part. You know, I never wanted to believe Albus was my father's son, but I see more and more of my father in him every day. It can't be true, can it? I mean, I've heard of knights going off and having children during away missions before, but... My father, it just... Sorry, I don't mean to go on about family drama. Grab the tube by its base with me. Okay. Here we go. Gods above, that's heavy. But we did it. I knew we could. All right, now for the next one. Sister, is it wrong of me to feel jealousy towards Albus. God above, it feels so weird to say that out loud. Yes. Yes, I am jealous. I'm jealous of his courage. How does he do it? How does he go out there knowing full well no one wants him? How does he fight monsters and enjoy every minute he's alive while all I can do is watch from the sidelines? I don't get it. Saying all of this makes me think I'm going crazy. Sorry, sister. You probably don't want to hear any of this. Well, thank you for listening. You won't tell Albus, will you? I don't know what he would do if he found out, but I might get disowned if word got out to the clan. You do me a great service, sister. You have feelings for him, don't you? Sorry, I don't mean to pry, but I think it's kind of obvious. <laughs> you don't know how you feel. Well, I suppose that makes sense. This isn't exactly the best place to fraternize anyway, but I... I really care about you, and I want you to be happy. What I'm saying is... I think you should be with Albus. I see the way you two look at each other. He makes you happy. I see that all the time. Normally, I'd tell you to run for the hills rather than get with him. But if you're planning on leaving everything after this mission, you should take him with you. I know he'll keep you safe and... And you can keep him safe too. What about me? Well... All right, you got me. When you were in Albus's mind, I had a lot of time to think and overthink. I won't deny that I have feelings for you, but I'm not so selfish as to put my feelings before your own. If you find that you want to be with Albus, yes, I'll be sad, but like I said, I'll be rooting for you too. You have a great dynamic. 
What's your dynamic? Well, it's something that led me to coin the term wild and free. <laughs> Which one are you? Ah, that's the beauty of it, sister. You can choose to be one or split both. Well, we're just about done here. Thanks again for helping me, sister. Well, I, uh, better go check on the autopilot program. Could you check in with Albus? We're approaching this zone surrounding Empresil, and I'm not quite sure what we'll be facing. Albus might know a thing or two about it. Best of luck, sister. Do this with a bit of a fail. Why can't you see that? Is this really going to be the style? There's a difference between doing what's right and I need sister. Look at me. No, no, don't look away. Look at me. Touch me. See, touch me. I'm here, all right? I'm right here, okay? I'm actually here. It's okay. It's okay. Just breathe for a minute, okay? That's it. That's it. It's just an illusion. Hey, hey, don't look at it, okay? Look at me. Look at me. Look, look me in the eye. Okay, in the eye. All right? Look me directly in the eye. Okay. I need you to think. Remember that final hurdle? This is it, okay? So you have to focus. We have to find Devlin. Faithful, look at me. Look at me. Okay, I know you're scared. I know. Where is Devlin? Where's Devlin, okay? Faithful, where is Devlin? The bridge. The bridge. Okay, give me a sec. Hold my hand. Uh, hello? Devlin, it's me. Albus? What? But you're right here. You're... What? Where did you go? We haven't been to the bridge, Devlin. What? Why? Uh, how? I'll explain later. We'll come to you. Hold tight. Oh, and when we get to you, reach out and touch us. Make sure we're real, okay? Okay, be fast. Come on, Faithful. <clears throat> what? Come on, we have to move! My bandage is splint. It's fine, we don't have time to- <clears throat> Okay. Okay, but be quick. <sighs> How many times have you patched me up now, huh? <laughs> I've lost count. Why am I not affected by the visions? Oh, I am. I'm seeing shit right now, actually. Thing is, I've uh, been here before. Well, I guess trapped here is a better way of saying it. Ah. Oh, that... Oh, that feels good. Can I move yet? What do you mean, no? We don't exactly have a lot of time here, you know. Hey. Hey, what's wrong? Okay, okay, I get it, you're helping. You don't have to shout. What? <laughs> you want me to, to tell you you're not useless? Is, is that what this is all about? Oh, <laughs> Faithful. You're so precious. No, no, I didn't mean to patronize you, I just... I like it. I said I like it, okay? Don't make a big deal out of it. Hmm. Giving me another drill, I see. Oh, I'm not complaining. Actually, I'm quite proud. It's like I'm wearing a crest into my next battle. Hey. Thanks for patching me up, Faithful. Oh, I, I don't mean, like, just for this time. I mean, like, all the time. You've always been there to do that for me. Although, you're just doing it out of your own benefit, right? <laughs> yes, of, of course you are. We're, um, we're on a mission after all. Uh, this wouldn't be happening otherwise, right? Yeah. Um, uh, so, uh, yeah, you're, you're done, right? You can, you can get off me now. <laughs> oh, I'm a fool, am I? Would you care to help this fool up, then? Okay. Okay. I'm good. Keep holding my hand. See, I'm a bit of a fool. I might lose you. Don't want that to happen, do I? Who's there? 
sister! Calm down, Dev, it's just us. Oh, thank the gods. Sister, good to see you too. The ship sensors aren't working. It's like they've shut down or something. Yeah, that sounds about right. <sighs> All right, you obviously know what's going on. What is it? Before we get to that, I think you're forgetting something, Dev. What? I need you to touch me. Excuse me? You heard me. Don't worry. I don't bite. You just gotta trust me. Think you can do that? You mean to test if you're an illusion, don't you? Yeah, thought it was obvious. Come here, then. There. Happy now? <laughs> you sound disappointed, brother. Albus, when am I not disappointed by something you've done? Point taken. So, do you care to tell me what in the hell is going on with these visions now? You'd like to know more too, Faithful. Alright, fine. This place we're in surrounds the core of Emprazium. It's called the Land of Dreaming Death. In this place is a monster called a Black Wraith. It's said to be created by the mind of a slumbering core hunter that couldn't be killed. Why have I never heard of any of this? I was getting to that. Basically, the Land of Dreaming Death can only be talked about while you're in it. You physically cannot say the name of this place, nor can you speak of your time here anywhere else. What happens if you try to? You explode. What? Just kidding. But you will go nuts if you keep trying, so just don't. And the visions? The Black Raids cause them. It's weird though, they don't kill, they just stalk you and probe you with visions. Wait, are you saying this ship has been infiltrated by these things? That looks about right, yeah. Okay, so how do we kill them? No, absolutely not, we cannot kill them. What? Why? Well, it's only a rumor passed around by those who know this place, but uh, apparently if one is killed, the core hunter wakes up. And uh, you know what that means? The core of Emprazil. It'll be destroyed! And the entire planet goes bye-bye. But how do you know it's all true? I don't. But you really want to test that? I suppose not. Well, what can we do then? I'm glad you asked. That's the best part. What do you mean? Oh no. Oh yes! We're gonna get smashed! Why? Black Raids like sane minds. If you're drunk, they'll piss off. Albus, I... I've never been drunk before. <laughs> Ooh, baby's first beer. Albus, I'm serious. I'm... I'm kind of nervous about this. So you're telling me you'd rather be sane dealing with me when I'm drunk? Pass me a bottle. There's a good man. Faithful, come on, you t Okay, down in one. I'm kind of impressed. Where'd you learn that? In my head. <laughs> I see you had a good teacher then. Well then, shall we have a toast? I'd rather not. A toast it is to, uh, uh not dying. Fuck it. That's as good as any. That's the spirit. Albus, shut up. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I told you to shut up. <laughs> good gods above, you're a lightweight. You haven't even finished your first drink. It tastes bad. Leave me alone, you jerk. You're not supposed to taste it. You're supposed to down it in one. You can't tell me what to do. Oh boy, I'm not even close to drunk yet. I think it's time for another. Faithful, how are you holding? Easy there. Don't hug me so tight. You might split the bandages. Faithful, language. That's unbecoming of a sister of Syndagorn, don't you think? Oh my god. I never thought I'd be saying that. Maybe I am drunk. Why do you hate me so much? <laughs> what did you say? Like, I'm really trying here, you know? And I want you to like me. No one else does, and I just... I just want friends. Like, is that so much to ask for? <laughs> what are you talking about, Devlin? You have friends. What about those 4chans at the depot? Oh, please, I pay those people. You think they count as friends? Better than no friends at all. Oh, of course you would say that. You don't know what it's like. Everyone expects so much of me all the time. Even my so-called friends. Meanwhile, you get to be free and confident and... Yeah, people hate you, but it doesn't hold you back. Me, it's like every little thing matters. God, I'm so jealous of you. <laughs> Can you stop making me spit up my drink? <laughs> I'm... I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, okay, I got it. Please don't start drunk crying. Not sure I can handle that right now. Hey! Faithful, stop poking me. What? What's wrong? Oh, gods, you too. You want a hug? Go hug Devlin. 
You two deserve each other. Oh, shut the fuck up right now, Albus. What? What did I say? When are you going to be a fucking man and admit your feelings for her? I see the way you look at her. I see the way she looks at you. You're both so perfect together. Uh, and yeah, I have feelings for her. Yeah, sure, I fantasize a little bit, but you know what? I am rooting for you guys. You're both... You're both so cool, and... I love you guys. And he passed out. No, I didn't. Oh. <laughs> He's rooting for us, is he? <laughs> what a dumbass. Why? Why do you keep calling me dumbass? What did I do to you? Nothing. I love you too, brother. Wh what? I said I love you. You might not see it, but I've seen it every day since we met. And this whole trip has proven to me that you're one hell of a man. The whole ship would have fallen apart ages ago if it hadn't been for you. You fought a demon off with your fucking mind, and you saved us from Bran when he thought I killed his wife. Sure, I, I, you could have trained to become a knight like dear old dad just to impress the fucker, but you stuck to what you were doing. You made something of yourself. Yeah, people hound you. They, they want more from you, but you always deliver. Me? Oh yeah, sure. Wild and free, but... Oh, you know how many times I've wanted to kill myself? How many times I've had to keep secrets because no one can trust me? Oh, oh, and, and, and the things I, I could have told you both. And, and, and you know, he's right. I am in love with you, Faithful, but I'll never act upon it. I'll never hurt you. Your, your innocence is what gives me so much life. It reminds me that there's, there's undying goodness in this world. Yet, yeah, no, no matter, no wonder you, you feel useless here. It, it, this is bad place. This is a bad place where, where only the worst could survive. You look out, out, out of this place here, okay? You, yeah, I, I do love you. Mm, I do love you, Faithful. And, and it's because I love you, I can't be with you. You deserve a good life. <coughs> you deserve a good life. Think about it, okay? Just two seconds, just think about it. If you and I were to get together, all right? I can't promise you'll be safe. Well, I, I don't even know if, if, you, if I trust you around me, right? Let alone me around you. We'll, we'll be on the run, hunter, wherever we go. And you, you want to save a child that the triad wants dead too? You're fucking mental. I, I can't even keep both of you safe while we're out here. Okay, and, and at this point, I've almost died so many times, I feel like karma's gonna get me soon. But you know who can take care of you? My idiot genius brother over there, yeah? Uh, what was that? Well, Devlin, you have a life. There is no life with me! You, you once said you were rooting for us, Devlin. I'm rooting for you too! But, Albus... Shut the f- can, can you take care of her? Well, yeah, I guess, but... And you love her, right? Of course I do, but I- So have some confidence, big brother! You wanna be like me? Don't. Be better than me. I'm your villain after all, ain't I? You... You do all that for me? I've been doing it this whole time. For all my brothers and sisters. You just don't see it. As much as you all might hate me, I love you guys so fucking much. Elvis, are you crying? Oh shit. Uh, I... I didn't want you to see me like this. Do you... Do you want a hug? No. I can't stand hugs. I don't trust them. But... Why? I can't tell you. You don't want to feel that pain. Is there anything we can do? Promise me something. Both of you. When you both get out of here, never stop being yourselves. Whether you're together or not, just fucking live, okay? Okay. Yeah, we can do that. <laughs> That's all I want. And now, it's time for a nap. Yeah, I'm... I think I'll join you. Sister, maybe you should lie down too? You don't want to... to hurt yourself. Ah, uh, 
sister, you're here. I've been waiting for you. Could you keep an eye on the children? I received a note from their headmaster. He wants to talk with me in private. I would assume it's about where they're headed next. Thank you. Sister, I leave them in your care. Where did Big Brother go? He's busy? Oh. I was gonna ask him for help, but... What's wrong? I... I lost my Fluffle and I can't find him. He's really important to me. Can you help me find him? Please? You will? Oh, thank you, big sister. <laughs> Where do I see him last? Follow me. My name is Karano, by the way. It's nice to meet you. Huh? What? Clan am I? What's a clan? Oh, like a family? Well, I guess Fluffle is my family. That makes me Clan Fluffle. Parents? Oh, I think I don't have those. I heard people say it's because I'm an orphan. Big sister? What does that mean? Big sister? Oh! We're here! Let me show you where he was. Let me think. He was right over... Here! That's right! Fluffle was helping me build a mouse! Yes! A mouse! A mud house! I call it a mouse. I'm gonna live in a big mouse one day. Big sister? What's so funny? Oh, you like my mouse? Thanks! Me and Fluffle worked really hard. I'm gonna build a real one someday. And I'm gonna have friends come over to play with me too. No, I don't have any friends either. They think I'm weird. But I don't know why. It's not my fault Fluffle is a self-defense genius. I miss Fluffle. What does he look like? Um, he's blue. He has two ears and one eye. He lost the other eye in a secret war against the Scorpions. Oh, uh, don't be scared, Big Sister. He won. He was the bravest Fluffle in the secret army. Could he be... Anywhere else? Um, I don't know. Big sister, I'm, I'm scared. What if he ran away? What if I never see him again? He's always kept me safe. Will I see him again? Are you sure? Okay, I believe you, big sister. I'll be strong for Fluffle too. Is there anywhere he could be? Um. Uh, oh, I did go inside for breakfast. Maybe he's there. Okay. Yeah. Maybe I left him inside somewhere. I'll go find him. Sister, thank you for taking over with me earlier. You've been most helpful. Sister, you look perturbed. Is everything alright? You're looking for Karano. I see. She's a strange child, isn't she? An unmarked orphan with no clan? Sister? 
There's something you should know about Carano. Please sit down. You see this envelope? Look at the seal. The headmaster of the children delivered this to me personally. It comes directly from the Paladin King's Holy Council. It seems I'm moving up in the world. I agree. This is wonderful news. To be recognized by the crown is a great honor for anyone. What did the letter say? It was a letter of mission request. I am to journey to the core of in Brazil and perform a sacred ritual to rid our world of a dangerous threat. What kind of threat? A threat to the God sister. A threat to all we stand for. All we worship. A threat to our very way of life. I'm actually quite surprised. I thought someone would have told you by now. What does it have to do with Karana? Sister, there is no easy way to say this. Karana is a threat. She is being taken to the core separately and prepared for my arrival. The letter provides details of a prophecy. Karano has set all markers in fitting the prophecy. Sister, Karano is the god killer. Don't raise your voice at me. I'm doing this to get us in good graces of the triad. No longer will we be living in a pathetic hovel at the edge of the eastern faithlands. I know that you might be nostalgic for this rundown shack dress as a place of worship, but I, we, hate living like this. How do I know? How do I know what? That Karano is truly the god killer? It doesn't matter. If the triad wants Karano to die, the Karano must die. It doesn't matter what you think is right. This is how the world works. We give ourselves unto the gods, and they provide us with life upon which to live. Are you living life, sister? What about the life of Karano? How many times must I say this to you? It doesn't matter. She doesn't matter. All she is, is a tool for us to use. Would you really have our family spend the rest of their lives in squalor? All for the sake of a child who would sooner kill us all? You disappoint me, sister. Your naivety and closed-mindedness is very telling of your knowledge of the outside world. You're immature and inexperienced. If it weren't for our dear mother, Coria, you would have starved to death. Or worse, at least I'm trying to make our loves better. At least I'm not dwelling in my uselessness. Where are you going? Oh, I'm so sorry, but I'm afraid Mother Cory already knows. This goes for the rest of the clan as well. As I've said, you are the last to hear about this. Clan Coria is in full support. Except for you. You can't stop me. Best you accept the world as it is now. I'll be leaving soon. Goodbye, my foolish sister. I'm certain your disposition will change when I return successful. Still desperate to stop me, are you? How useless. Fine. Be that way. Even so, who would help you? This is the will of the Triad. No sane warrior would be willing to help you in such a sacrilegious quest. You'd be going against your family and your faith. And if you know what's good for you, you'll never speak of this outburst again. Do you understand? By the way, I found this toy out in the hallway. It's an ugly little thing, isn't it? It's missing an eye, too. I believe it belongs to one of the children. Would you mind returning it? Uh, my head. Morning, Muffin. How are you feeling? I think I'm gonna die. First time, eh? <laughs> Yeah, I remember my first time. Actually, I take it back. I don't. 
can you just shut up for once in your life? Oh gods, I think I'm gonna throw up. Faithful? You doing okay? <laughs> yeah, we're safe. No one's hurt. Hey, you remember what happened? No, you don't, okay? Whatever you remember, you don't. Never speak of it, okay? You can't move, can you? Oh boy, hangovers all round, eh? Want me to turn the lights off? What good will it do? Yeah, watch. Feel better? <laughs> yeah, you do. Don't ask me how it works. It just does. Why am I not hungover? <laughs> oh, I am. I'm just better at it than you. Uh... Okay, I'm back. Whoa, why are the lights off? It helps. It does? It does. By the gods, it does. what I tell you? Wow, I feel almost normal. It's great, right? Yeah, I think I could probably get some work done even. Nope, you're both walking your asses to bed. What? But we just got up. You both need time to recover. This is your first hangover. You need to take care of yourselves. And I'm not fully recovered from my injuries either, you know? Ugh, fine. At least let me triangulate our position. Okay, just don't take too long. Alright, let's see. Oh. Oh! Oh, that's... What? What is it? Sister, look! We've made it! That's the core of Emprazil, right there. And right over here... is the inner temple! We finally made it! What do you mean I can't come with you? I meant exactly that. Why are you repeating me? You dragged me all the way out here and now you want me to stay in the ship. Come on! Okay, first off, I didn't drag you out here. That was Faithful's idea. I was gonna throw you overboard, remember? Second, once we let you out of the brig, you took us here yourself. You could have turned on us at any point, but you didn't. Okay, I get it. I've made a ton of mistakes, and it's all my fault. Third, you can do more up here. When we find the brat, how are we getting our asses out of here? The ship, right? And who here can work the damn thing? <laughs> Be honest. You think Faithful and I could have made it all this way without you? If you come with us... And Emprazil forbid something happens to you down there, we're stuck. And no one will be coming for us. You know, I always believed the world would implode whenever you started making sense. Implode? What does that mean? Never mind, everything is normal. Uh, sister? Please be safe. Let's go, Faithful. Wait, at least take this. What is it? It's a device that allows us to talk over long distances. Who needs it? We'll just yell to each other. I'll be able to talk to you from inside the ship and while you're in the temple. Oh! The range is tied to the efficiency, so use it sparingly. That is good. Albus, you're impossible. <laughs> I've been called worse. Be back soon, Vinny boy! <sighs> Take care of each other. Wounded and standing in front of a temple with a massive fuck-off door. What do they call it? Deja vu? <laughs> I'll be fine. Don't worry about me. Focus on the kid, okay? Let me handle your brother. What's that you're holding? What is that, some kind of toy? <laughs> it's kind of ugly. I like it. <laughs> Garana's a fun kid, ain't she? Hey, we're gonna do this, Faithful. 
You've come this far. Don't start second-guessing yourself now. You're nervous. I get it. It's not an easy thing to have to do. Tell you what, I'll go in front, okay? Alright, here we go. Um, Faithful, I uh, don't want to alarm you, but uh, there's no one here. No, I'm not fucking with you, look. Hey, don't look at me, I don't know where they are. Come on, maybe there's some clues around here somewhere. Well, there they go. Should I reach out? No, no, I, I, I shouldn't. Albus is right, I should stay here. I don't think I'll ever get used to saying he's right, though. I need to be busy. Maybe I should arm the broadswords? It might help to have weapons ready if something happens. Oh, no, they might need me on the bridge. I can't just sit here and do nothing! Hey, ah! what's happening, Forge Meister? <laughs> Gravitas! What are you doing here? What, I can't even stop by and say hi? Why does everything gotta be something I'm planning, huh? You're here for a reason. If you're planning on possessing me again, it won't work. Nah, nah, I'm not here for that. Your body smells funny anyway. You might want to get that checked out. Why are you here, demon? Alright, alright, you got me. I'm actually here on business, not pleasure. What kind of business? Oh, the kind that makes mortals like you jump for joy. I'm here... to reward you. I've checked this whole temple twice over. It looks lived in, but no one's here. What about you? You find anything? No? Could there be another temple? Only this one. Okay. I'll check again, alright? Maybe there's something we missed. Come on, Faithful. Keep it together. We can do- Oh! Wait. <laughs> Don't tell me. It's hollow. <laughs> Your brother's a crafty motherfucker, isn't he? Let's see, we could find a way to open it, or... Oh, there we go, open says me! <laughs> How far down is that? Hmm, I can't tell, it's too dark. Guess I could jump. Find out pretty quick that way. <laughs> what do you mean, no- Watch out! What in the fuck is that? A statue that can move. That's a new one. Call me crazy, but I think we're on the right track. Faithful, go on ahead. Don't keep Karano waiting. I'll deal with this. Go on now, get out of here. That's a good girl. Now then, how do you kill a rock? What was that? I don't know. Probably nothing. Albus, can you hear me? <clears throat> oh, oh, hey, brother. So that's how this thing works. Is everything all right in there? Uh, it depends. You know anything about killing statues, brother? Uh, what? Oh, never mind. How's your life going, by the way? Oh, oh, don't tell him I'm here. <laughs> it's funnier this way. Albus Gravitas is back. I think what does that? What did you say? Albus. Albus! This is your doing, isn't it? I see where you're coming from, but, uh, nah. And I wouldn't take credit for work I haven't done, either. You know, except for that one time. I don't believe you. You want me to fix it? No, I don't. I'll do it myself. Right, you're the mighty Forge Master, after all. Ah, <laughs> oh, come on, Devlin. I don't want to be helping you, either. Just let me do something. I want you to go away. Nah, I don't think you want that. Come on, you can't ignore me forever. Fine, fine, uh, but why do you want to reward me? Oh, I thought you'd never ask. We demons have creeds to follow. Mine is, whenever I'm defeated, I reward the victor with whatever they want. You won against me, Devlin. So now, I'm in your debt. And you're expecting me to collect. Why now? Why not before? It takes me some time to remanifest. Hey, I'm here now, aren't I? <laughs> 
So, what are you thinking? New ship? Maybe a way out of this place? Money? Whores? You name it. <laughs> Forgive me, but I'm not in the mood right now. What about them? What do you... You leave them out of this. All right, all right. I'm just saying, if you want them to survive out there, I can make it happen. They've got their hands full for sure, too. Oh, boy. What are you talking about? Brother Joshua, you're working with him. God damn, you're sharp, Forge Master. Yeah, the Triad summoned me a while back and made me an offer I couldn't refuse. I helped them get rid of their prophecy brat, and they let me do whatever I want in this world with no intervention from them. Of course, they send a few of their bastards after me to keep me entertained. <laughs> it's hilarious. They think that'll stop me. What? But the Triad wouldn't risk their peace just to kill a potential threat. Oh, come on. Hasn't this whole journey taught you anything, Dev? The Triad are fucking with you. They don't give a shit about peace. They never have. This is all about control. And they're gonna make an example out of you guys. An example? An example of what? You really think Karano is the only one destined to be the God Killer? Sister, it's good to see you again. You look worse for wear. Please, sit down. Sister, please, there is no reason for us to fight. I imagine you've done more than your fair share just to get here. Yes, I know. You want to know where Karano is, but if you'd give me a second... As I was saying, if you'd give me a second, I'm sure you'll find we can come to a rational understanding. This mission is not something taken lightly, sister. I've had to make sacrifices too, you know. I've made pacts with demons, cursed myself with all manner of artifacts, and I've drunk strange, otherworldly potions that give me a power unlike anything ever before seen. This power is sacrilegious, yes. In fact, my power to paralyze you forces blood to spill from my eyes. But it's a necessary sacrifice for our family, and in the name of the gods. Look upon me with disdain if you must. It changes nothing. Don't fret. I'll release you once this business is behind us. Or I shall leave you here if you choose to fight further. <laughs> it's pitiful, isn't it? You've come all this way to stop me. And you're still completely powerless to do anything. What's that you're holding? That toy. Why are you still holding on to that toy? Ah, so that's it. It belongs to Karano. So this was your plan? You were hoping to lure back to your side with that ugly thing. Well... I hate to disappoint you, sister, but I'm not as good with children as you think. And besides, would Corano really want that? Any sane child would have nightmares at the sight of such a thing. I digress. I must admit, you have greatly disappointed me. Yet again, sister, you're always thinking you'd have a reason to stop me. But all you've done is show me how stubborn you are. Yet still, you are equally as useless. It matters little now. The time is almost upon us. The black sun is nearly overhead. I must prepare. That's the best you've got. Come on! I'm just getting warmed up! He's lying. No, he's not. He's gonna die. Stop avoiding the question. Who are we being made an example to? Isn't it obvious? Kids are being sacrificed almost daily to stop this god killer. <laughs> and some people, like your faithless little sister, don't like that idea so much. So, the triad opted to kill one group, 
and dissuade the others. Believe me, they're pulling out all the stops to kill off every last one of you. Except, of course, for you. What? Why not me? Well, it's kind of funny, actually. They don't actually know you're here. They thought you died, like, ages ago. <laughs> the Triad thinks I'm dead! Don't get offended. It means you're off the grid. You can do whatever you want. I'm kind of jealous. They're going to kill them. Albus. Karanu. The sister. Joshua, too, but uh, he kind of already knew that. You were all destined to die here. Uh, uh, oh, that was way too close. Oh, fuck. I can't even make a dent in this thing. So, Forge Master, million dollar question. What you gonna do? Uh, let me think. That temple looks too tough to pierce through. Albus, can you hear me? Uh, barely. What's going on, brother? Can you bring the fight outside? I'll prepare one of the broadswords to fire. Oh, good idea. Let's give it a go. You're gonna waste your precious ammo? This kind of thing is exactly why we have ammunition. Hey, I'm just saying, I could easily take care of it myself, if you want me to. The only thing I want from you is to be gone from my life. Well, that's just cold. Albus, I'm ready. Okay, get ready. Here it comes! Firing! Albus, are you alright? Are you hurt? I'm okay. I'm okay. It's just a flesh wound. Gotta, gotta find Faithful. Gotta, gotta find... Oh, great. What now? The time is upon us. The Black Sun approaches. I must raise the altar. Save your breath, sister. Karana cannot hear you. She's resting quite peacefully on that altar of the gods. What did I do? She's not dead if that's what you're implying. When I realized Karano had a little... too much energy to sit still, I decided the best way to keep her in one place was to sedate her. <laughs> I drugged her. Drugged is such a nasty word. I gave her some medicine, yes. Something I concocted when I realized normal sedatives wouldn't affect her. It was strange when I first learned of her immunity. As if fate itself was trying to resist. But this fate must not come to pass. The triad is our true destiny. And as their acolyte, I shall secure it. Ah, how fortunate. It appears my studies of the ancient tongue were correct. With light from the black sun, a portal shall open. Only one, painted with lords and struck through the heart with a holy blade, may enter. But none shall return. This is the only way to prevent great disaster. Ah, uh, I believe that's the sound of your brave soldier. What? Faithful? What's happened to you? Joshua? What the hell is going on here? <laughs> this is how you plan to deal with me? He's practically harmless. He looks like he could drop dead any minute. Sister, I was already disappointed. But now I'm amused. This is your champion? <laughs> if you're so sure I'm harmless, why don't you come over here? I'll show you just how harmless I am. Hmm. No. I'm not a fool. Albus. Oh, so you know me? Of course I do. When the Triad cut one of my sister's scheme, they made sure to keep a close eye on her movements. Of course, they couldn't follow you too closely once inside the mantle, but they had their spies. Ooh, wow. Big fucking deal. You know my name. So what? I'm still gonna kick your ass. You don't think the Triad didn't tell me about who you really are. The good dog who couldn't die right. And that's what they call you. 
What did you say? Albus didn't tell you about this, did he, sister? About Operation Subdelta? <sighs> you shut the fuck up. Right now. Why? Albus, are you ashamed? If I were you, I'd be honored to have sacrificed mind, body, and soul for the Triad. What else there for a bastard to live for? What else is there? <laughs> you got me there. Every paladin has a light in their life worth fighting for. And for the longest time, I believe the only thing a bastard fights for is more darkness. But I was wrong. We don't fight for darkness. We fight for the light we cannot have. We walk a grey line and protect those we deem more worthy than ourselves. That is the way of the bastard. And you, Joshua, are the kind we fight. You are unworthy! What the? Why can't I hit you? <laughs> and to think I was afraid to approach you? But that's why the failsafe exists, right? Failsafe? No. A good dog obeys commands. Shut up. A good dog can never hurt its master. I said shut up! A good dog knows its place. Ah, fuck off! Ah, 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 ah! You can swing at me all you like. As long as you see me, you cannot touch me. Ah, huh. <sighs> See? You? Oh, wait. Let me guess. You're thinking... Oh. Just close your eyes, right? You know that won't work. You think not hitting me is the limit of my power? You think I can't keep your eyes on me? Please. Don't take me for some kind of fool. <laughs> A fool? No. No, you're not a fool, Joshua. Not at all. Hmm. But I am. What the? My holy blade. When did you- well, Just because I can't hurt you, it doesn't mean I can't steal from you. Give it back. Now. I command you. <laughs> With pleasure, master. But first... <sighs> <sighs> You'd gouge your own eyes out just to stop me? Are you insane? I was up for debate for a while. But after this... <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty fucking nuts. <sighs> now then, where were we? Oh. <clears throat> <laughs> As expected. You may be immune to my control now, Albus, but even you have a limit on what can be endured. Now, to fetch Corano. Albus! No! Albus, can you hear me? Wake up! Damn it, the signal must not be getting through! Well, he's dead, so much for that. Pretty hardcore though, right? Why? Why is this happening? I told you why. The question now is what are you gonna do about it? I... I could go down there. I could... I could stop this madness. And how are you gonna do that exactly? Joshua has all these crazy powers. What do you have? Uh, the ship! I can use the ship. I can... I could launch something through that skylight. Oh, that's a great idea. And you totally won't miss. Or hurt Albus. Again. Or that she-priest you secretly wanna fuck. Damn it! What can I do? Come on, Devlin. I'm right here. I told you I owe you one. Don't I? You... You really want to help? I thought I made that pretty obvious. Fine. Don't possess me. Just help me. Whatever happens, they must not die. Albus, the sister, and Corano. Help me keep them alive. Alright, now we're talking. I'll do as you ask. Your friends will live. Eventually. <laughs> Where are you going? Gravitas!
There you are, my child. Peaceful as always, I see. Hmm. Who would have guessed that such great evil rested just beneath that innocent shell? Ugh. My eyes are bleeding more heavily. Why? Oh, I see. You're trying to resist me, sister? Quite an impressive burst of strength. Where is it coming from? Your love for Karano? Or something else? I wonder. It doesn't matter now. I must make haste. The Black Sun won't be overhead for long. If you do as you're told, and wait there, sister, you may come home with me. Or you can rot here with your pet bastard. Getting dizzy. Still trying to slow me down. Are you? What a pathetic child. Fine. Make my eyes bleed until I'm blinded with my own blood. I will complete my mission. I must. It is my destiny. What's this? What's grabbing me? The holy language of Trigus. How do you? There will be only one sacrifice today. Mother. Forgive me. <laughs> hey, Ambrosio. When this piece of shit walks up to the gate to meet you, don't even bother. <laughs> Faithful. No, it's okay. It's okay, I gotta... I don't suppose you got any bandages for my eyes, do you? No, no, it's fine. But you should take the kid. She'll be at least a little bit safer in your hands. You know, someone who can see. <laughs> oh, great, the fuck is happening now? Sister! Albus! If you can hear me, the temple supports are weakening! The whole thing is coming down! Keep the engine hot, Dev. We're coming back up. Good. Good. Come on, Faithful. No point waiting around here. Let's go. Don't panic. Just keep going. <sighs> Don't worry about me. I've trained to navigate without my eyes. I'll be fine. Just focus on getting Karano out of here. Oh, shit. Faithful, move! Ah, fuck. I think I'm pinned. No, don't come back. Keep going. Karano's safety comes first. Faithful, you came here to save Karano. Are you telling me we came all the way out here for nothing? I will survive, okay? I promise. Wow, you are such a liar. <laughs> so you are here. I had a feeling you'd show up. Let me guess. You here for Devlin? I told him I owed him one for beating me. <laughs> that it was my creed or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> and he bought that, did he? <laughs> oh, she'd make a great bastard. Yeah. <laughs> Sister, you have Karano. Where's Albus? He's pinned. No, no, no. We have to get him out of there. He has to live! I was told he... Never mind. Let's go. I'm coming with... No. No! Not like this! It's, it's alright. We can... We can blast him out! With the ship guns! Don't be stupid, brother. You'll just kill me faster. Albus! Albus, the entrance has caved in! We have no choice! There's always a choice, brother. Don't waste the ammo. 
All you'll do is blow smoke. We are not leaving you. Do you hear me? We've come too far for you to die here. Hey, brother. What? What is it, Albus? This isn't the time to joke around. I'm sorry I dragged you into this. Sorry? Albus, no. Look after her for me, okay? Protect her, brother. Protect her from the monsters. Albus, I promise I'll do whatever it takes. I always knew you were a good man. Can I talk to Faithful? Here, sister. Are you? <laughs> How you doing, Faithful? No, you're not coming down here. Sorry, Faithful, but uh, I lied to you. This is it for me. For real this time. <laughs> not something I thought I'd say. <laughs> How many times have I almost died here? Oh, you know what they say, never trust a bastard. You never did learn that lesson though, did you? Hey, listen. There's um, something I've been meaning to tell you. You uh, remember all those times I told you I didn't remember anything? Like, uh, when I was high off my ass or trapped in that weird dream world? Yeah, <laughs> I remember. All of it. I always had, I just... I never know what to do with that shit, you know? By the way, deal with that. Just makes me feel like shit. I just do my best to forget about it. I'm good at that, you know? I guess it's best for you too. I mean, what good is it gonna do you now, right? I don't even know why I'm telling you all this. Hey, about Kurana. What color's her hair? Black? <laughs> Ain't that something? I bet she's a real cute kid, eh? <sighs> You'll be good to her, won't you? A girl like that's gonna have some serious problems. <laughs> oh. oh, for God's sake, please don't start crying. I can't stand it when women do that. Why? <laughs> because, uh... It's always a dark day. When a good woman cries. From my experience, there aren't many of those left. Do me a favor, Faithful. Don't regret any of this. You brought us here because you believed in something. And because you stuck to what you believed in. Don't you dare regret that. And don't let anyone control you or tell you otherwise. Or you'll end up like your brother. Or worse. Like me. Get out of this place, Faithful. Never turn back. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a fight to pick with Embrazil. Goodbye. Albus? Albus! Albus, stay with me! You can't die here! You can't! I'll stop your crying, both of you. But you know, call me crazy. It's kind of nice being wanted. I think. I think I feel. good about that. It's weird. Ha <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<laughs> oh, Albus. What have I done? Big brother? Where am I? Big sister? Is that you? Yeah. Yeah, I'm okay. Um, big sister? Where are we? A bad place? Oh. Where's big brother? He's gone? Where did he go? He's far away? Okay. What? Fluffball! Big sister, you found him! <laughs> He's so ugly! <laughs> I love him! Thank you, big sister! <laughs> it's kinda ugly. I like it. <laughs> Garana's a fun kid, ain't she? Big sister? Why are you crying? You want me to follow you where? Oh, wow! That's a big boat! Are we... Are we gonna ride it? No way! This is the best day ever! Come on, big sister! Huh? Oh, yeah. The ship. I should... I should... Go to the bridge. Albus! Oh, sister, I'm so sorry, I thought. Uh, never mind. Uh, where's Carano? I suppose that makes sense. The energy of a child is unmatched, even compared to the most refined endothermic fuel. I'm sorry, I, I never asked. How are you doing, sister? I see. You shouldn't blame yourself, sister. Besides, this is my fault. It's... It's all my fault. While you were in the temple, I tried to tell you both, but... Gravitas, he... He told me he could save you. Yes, he... He was here. I, I don't know where he went. Sister, please, you must understand. I couldn't talk to either of you. I didn't know what was going on. All I could hear was Albus screaming, and I... I told him to save all of you. He said it was his creed to reward me after defeating him. I just thought... I don't know. I was scared, and I didn't... I didn't want to lose you. He, he told me things, too, like... Things about the triad, and how we were all supposed to die, and how I'm already dead back home or something, but I, I don't even know if any of it was true. It's all my fault. It's all my fault. <laughs> what? An alarm. Oh, one second. What's this? Something is approaching us. A vessel? No, a fleet! It's the Paladins of Dawn! Ah. 
here just looking at this place. How long has it been since I saw you last, sister? Six months? I imagine you'll cut my head off when you see me. I wouldn't blame you either. Damn. I really am pathetic, aren't I? How is it that I can design a ship three times larger than the realm of the Paladin King, yet I cannot bring myself to talk to one sister of Syndagorn? Maybe this was a bad idea. I should come back when I have a path of world. Maybe then she'll be happier with seeing me again. For now, I should go. I must admit, it's oddly quiet here. I thought I'd hear Karano by now. It's not like it's late at night or anything. Hands up, mister! Don't move! Wait a second. I know that arm! Mr. York, is that you? Ah, hello, Karano. Looks like you caught me... Whoa! Where have you been? We were so worried about you! Y you were? Mm-hmm. I, um... I'm sorry. I didn't mean to leave you all alone. You didn't! No, of course not! Oh, that's okay then. Well, you got over that fast. Come on, Mr. York! Big Sister has been waiting for you for so long! She has. She really missed me. Mr. York! You can just call me Devlin, you know? Mr. Devlin! No, not... And there she goes. <laughs> I made dinner tonight! I roasted all the meats! Oh, that sounds delicious! Thank you! Come on! I can't wait to show you! I can't wait to eat! Now that you've mentioned it, I'm starving. I ran out of nutrition pills a while back. I could use a good meal. Big Sister! Big Sister, where are you? I have a surprise for you! Ah, that sense of dread is back. What am I doing? How'd I get wrapped up in this? You're scarily persuasive, Karanu. Come on, big sister! Come and look! Hello, sister. It's, uh, it's... It's been a, a while. Can you believe it? I found them standing around outside like a weirdo! Uh I wasn't standing around, Karano. I, I was... I was just thinking. Yeah, thinking. Like a weirdo. How many weirdos do you know? Big sister, can he join us for dinner? He can? Yay! I'll go set the table! <laughs> You've only said one word, yet you sound completely speechless. I'm not any better, though, am I? Come on, Devlin, say something! Uh, how are you? Ow! No, no, it's okay. I deserve that. Gods above, how did Albus survive so many of those slaps? I'm sorry, sister. I didn't mean to leave you both for so long. I just... I knew you'd be safe here, and... I needed to be alone. It's nothing you've done. I just... I couldn't. I'm sorry. Even now, I can't explain to you how I feel. You probably think the worst of me. I can't say I blame you. The table is set! The food is ready! Oh, wonderful. I'm starved. Wow, this is amazing! Did you make this all by yourself, Karano? I sure did! I put it in the oven all by myself! <laughs> wow, you've really grown, haven't you? <laughs> oh, I almost forgot! I have a present for you! You do? Oh, thank you, Mr. Devlin! Here you are. Ooh, what is it? What is it? Open it and find out. What the? It's a red fluffle? I didn't know he came in red. It was pretty tricky to find. Fluffles seem to be a one-of-a-kind toy. Unique only to the city of Trent's. Wow. I bet this one is the bravest. Hey, 
Mr. Devlin? Yes, Karanu? Can I... Can I ride on your boat again? Uh, my boat? <laughs> I'm surprised you remember that. I'm sorry, Karanu, but it broke down and couldn't be fixed. You'll remember your friends at the wall. They're taking care of it now. Aww. I liked your bow, Mr. Devlin. What was his name? Name? Oh, actually, it didn't have a name. Really? I thought all boats had to have names before they could sail. Mine had to set sail under unusual conditions. Conditions? Yes, it was unusual. Unusual? Unusual. Unusual! <laughs> Eat your food, sweetheart. You don't want it to go cold. Okay! How are her studies going, sister? A clever troublemaker, you say? <laughs> she sounds like Albus. Does, um, Corono know anything about Albus? The mighty warrior, Albus York, um, slayers of monsters, destroyers of the bad guys, but who are the real bad guys? Careful, Corano. You don't want to choke on your food. Sorry, Mr. Devlin. Anyway, I'll take that as a yes. Sister, you kept his ring. I... Wow. I, I didn't know. I never thought I'd see it again. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I... I didn't want you to see me like this. Mr. Devlin? Are you okay? Hmm? Yes, yes, I I'm fine. You know, I, I think I'll just get some air. The food was delicious. Thank you, Karanu. You're welcome, Mr. Devlin. <laughs> Big sister? Is he gonna be okay? You don't know? Should I try and cheer him up? No? Okay. What about dessert? Can I give him some cake? You want to talk to him first? Okay. I'll be ready with cake as soon as you give the word, Commander Big Sis. I remember yelling and getting angry at the paladins when they came to rescue us from the core. I begged them to dig Albus out of the ruins. They said they weren't equipped for it. Even so, they couldn't dig up a possible grave on holy ground. After that, I realized my place was by your side. I wanted to do right by you, be there for you. But everywhere I went, I saw his face or heard his voice, and it never hurt more than when I was with you. Being around you both just kept reminding me of him. That's why I left for so long. I just wanted to stop hurting. No, it didn't help. I just felt empty. I liked being with you, sister. Karanu too. But when I looked at you, all I could see were my mistakes. All I could think about was how I let Albus down. Sister, I'm sorry. I'm so, so sorry. <laughs> Forgive me, sister. I, I didn't mean to abandon you and... And I know you were hurting just as much as I was. I just... I just didn't know what else I could have done. You... You, you don't want me to regret it. Why? Something Albus told you, is it? <laughs> I'll never understand his sentiment fully. But... Thank you, sister. On some strange level, I think I get it. 
Oh dear. I didn't mean to break down like that. <laughs> Looks like I made you cry too. <laughs> yeah. Maybe we did need it. This whole thing has been quite a lot to process. How has life been for you? Has anyone else come round to ask about you? Oh, that's good. I am honestly surprised the Paladins of Dawn have a safe house so far inland. It's very well hidden, too. We almost didn't find it when we first arrived. I suppose that makes sense if they wanted to get away without being labelled as heretics by the Triad. That reminds me, I went back home recently to Clan York Territory. I found something I thought you might find interesting. Hmm? Oh, yeah, that's apparently true. I am legally dead. I actually witnessed my own funeral, too. How was it? Surreal is a good word for it. But when they started slandering Albus and blaming you both for my death, I, I couldn't watch anymore. It's fine. My family has its problems, and I have my own. Here, this is what I wanted to give you. It's a file from the clan's Blacklist Codex. More specifically, Albus's file. I figured you'd transcribe it for me. If I asked, nicely of course. So, what does it say? His birthday? I don't even think he knew his birthday. Wait, what's that? It, it kind of looks like Albus's ring, doesn't it? What does this part say? Recommended for selection? What could that mean? Albus didn't tell you about this, did he, sister? About Operation Subdelta? <sighs> you shut the fuck up. Right now. Why? Albus, are you ashamed? If I were you, I'd be honored to have sacrificed mind, body, and soul for the Triad. What else there for a bastard to live for? Sister, are you okay? Operation Subdelta? No, I haven't heard of that before. I'll look into it, though. Which reminds me, I think I found a way for us to get off world. So, there's currently a need for members of the Faith to go on missions to Spring Rock, a world in the Mexico system. If I can get us onto the crew roster under fake profiles, we can leave and start a new life there. The only downside is I'm not sure what the culture will be like. They could be incredibly hostile to us, but I think it's our best bet if we want to go somewhere safe from the Triad's influence. What do you think? When is the next flight? The next ship departs in a month, from Crafthome in the Southern Forgelands. I was going to head there before I met up with you, but I came here first. I guess I thought you might change your mind. You're adamant on leaving? Well, of course you are. I shouldn't be surprised. I suppose I'd better get moving. Make sure we've cleared up all our business before then. <laughs> You're leaving? Grano! Where'd you get that cake? I was... I was gonna give it to you! I thought it would make you want to stay! <laughs> Are you leaving now, Mr. Deflin? No, Karano, I am not leaving now. I will have to go soon, but not right now. <laughs> oh. Do you know where I'm going, Karano? No. Where are you going, Mr. Devlin? I am going to get us onto a new boat. A new boat? Really? I sure am. That's what I've been doing this whole time. It's a real big boat, which is why it's taken so long. Mr. Devlin! <laughs> I think you're the coolest, Karano. Eh, I'm okay. 
Ooh, is that ego I'm sensing? Nuh uh. <laughs> Come on then, let's have some cake. Yay! I hope you like it. It's my favorite. So, what do you think? <laughs> As I expected, things worked out. You don't miss any of them? Of course I do. I'm just... I'm glad they moved on. I'm glad I had a death that was remembered by someone who didn't hate me. That's all I could really ask for. I see. All's well that ends well and shit? <laughs> Pretty much. So, what happens now? I thought I'd meet Emprazil and be sent to a cold oblivion. Instead I've got you. The fuck is up with that? What if I told you I was Emprazil? I wouldn't believe you. <laughs> That's a good boy. But sometimes, I do tell the truth. You've done nothing to prove that to me. I don't need to prove anything to you. Sure you don't. Hey, by the way... When I was fighting Joshua, was it you who brought me back to kill him? That's something I still don't understand. I had nothing to do with that. That was all you. <laughs> You're lying. Oh, wow. Fade away. Really? <laughs> so that's how it is, huh? Fine. You want me to tell the truth so badly? I'll we'll tell, tell the, the damn, damn truth. truth. <laughs> What's going on? What are you doing? My powers only work if someone believes I can do what I do. <laughs> and your brother, well, a small piece of him still thinks I can bring you back from the dead. How about I prove him right? Wait, what? What are you- Temple. Fuck! Fuck, 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 fuck! Congratulations, you're alive again. Why? Why would you do this? I told you, sometimes I do tell the truth. I told Devlin I would bring you back. So I brought you back. Eventually. <laughs> How the fuck can you even do that? Are you really asking that of me? The maker of immortals. So you did all this, just to prove a point? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Told you I was good. Oh, fantastic. I'm completely healed too. Arms, legs, eyes, even my scars are gone. You're welcome. Okay, I get it. Can I die now? I just gave you a second life and you already want to die? You revived me in what is basically the pit of the world. <laughs> Typical humans. I just brought you back from the dead, and all you can do is complain. Fine! If you won't kill me, I'll do it myself. Oh, no you don't. I'm not done playing with you yet. Not by a long shot. You know how I brought you back? I gave you some demon blood. My blood. And eventually... <coughs> slowly... Painfully... It's gonna take over. And then your lonely little soul... Will be all mine. Oh, stop trying to resist. I think you'll find you like it more than you realize. <sighs> Spoken like everyone else who's ever tried to control me. Maybe I was wrong about you. Nuh-uh. The fuck do you mean, nuh-uh? <laughs> Fine. Fine. You, you want it to hurt more? more? Go you right ahead. I'll, I'll be, be there, there when you finally break. break. See, See you then, then brother. <laughs> oh, by the way, Maybe you don't fight anything while you're here. It makes the magic work faster. You don't want that now, do you? <laughs> no. Guess not. I suppose I won't be needing this, then. 
Although... Well, it's worth a try. <clears throat> I swear an oath upon this shallow grave of which I have emerged. I swear it upon my birth god, Trigus, the orphan god of victory. And to my friends, the ones who miss me dearly. I shall not succumb to this demon's influence. I shall reach my true fate without hesitation. And I will reclaim myself and rejoin my brethren in a place where I truly belong. My friends, whether I succeed or fail, I pray you never have to see me. Not like this. I will not hurt you again, Faithful. I did, I did all over. I was shot it. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake! Where is it? So, I'm bored, and you've been wandering around for like two days now? What the fuck are you doing? I wouldn't want to spoil the surprise. Now would I? Is the surprise watching you run around until you die? Because, in all honesty, I've seen better. <coughs> you know, normally I'd be excited for a surprise, but uh, this... This is just painful to watch. <sighs> Be patient, demon. I swear by my oath, you will not be disappointed. That's another thing. I can't believe you made a fucking oath. And here I was thinking you're a bastard, through and through. Well, I'm a bit more than a bastard now, aren't I? When did you forget about the demon blood? Mm, true. But does that make you less of a bastard? Or more? That's a good question. I know not the answer. You know something funny? <laughs> Neither do I. <laughs> that is pretty funny. Coming from you, anyway. You know, I don't know why you're choosing to resist my blood, Albus. It's not like I'd do anything to hurt you. I'm just trying to help you out. <laughs> nice try. I'm not falling for that again. Besides, I have people back home I'd like to protect from the likes of you. If you take me over, how can I be sure they'll be safe? You might go right back to them. <laughs> I see. You're right, of course. But I thought you were planning on seeing that she-priest bitch again anyway. No, no. I was never going to go back to her. Not after this. I refuse to do that. I wouldn't even know where to look. Huh. Ah, uh, come on! Just tell me where you're going. If you do, I can teleport you there. <laughs> well, you know. Yes, please! please. Anything, Anything to cure this boredom! Order. Okay, okay. You want to speed this up? Then take me to that dead core hunter. The one we found after the bloodstorm. That place? Really? Did I stutter? <laughs> All right, hold on. <sighs> Finally, I'm here. Okay, so what now? Tell me, what do you know of Lord Elenus Mirio? I know a few things. Why? Do you know of the Mirio Massacre? 
Enlighten me. The blade of Alanus was forged by Forge Master Dawn to be the ultimate sword, with an edge sharp enough to cut down even the immortal core hunters. In the hands of Lord Alanus Mirio, the blade of Alanus would smite even the mightiest monsters. The essence of every monster killed with this mighty sword would be absorbed into the wielder's body, eventually consuming the mind forevermore. Only Elenus could resist the evils bestowed by the blade. And he accomplished this with sheer force of will. How do you know all this? It's part of Subdelta's history. They taught us everything, since they knew we wouldn't be telling anyone. Ugh, sob stories. In the time of the legends facing down the Core Hunters, Elenus made a request to his clan in the Overworld. Ten thousand knights from Clan Mirio to continue the Holy Crusade to the core of Emprazil. But when those knights met with Elenus, they did not greet him as one of their own. They just stood there, answering only to his commands. Elenus was confused and growing more frustrated. Why wouldn't his clan talk to him? And then, he saw it. His blood brother had streaks of tears running down his face. Elenus confronted him. He begged him to say something, anything. But as he looked into his eyes, he knew. He was silently screaming. They all were. For these 10,000 knights were the first of Operation Subdelta. <laughs> the Alpha Test Pool. That's what they called them. Helenus was horrified. For decades, he'd fought tooth and nail to save this world and its people from the brink of collapse. To kill the monsters that threatened his family. Only to find out the very people he was protecting were monsters themselves. And then what happened? Well, wait. Don't you know all this already? Oh, I know all this already. I'm just trying to tire you out. <laughs> Is that so? Well, try harder. I'm even more motivated now. Ah, shut up and tell me the rest. <laughs> well, Alanus, he, uh, he took his sword and he slaughtered his clan. All 10,000. He freed them from their shackles and remade them to fight by his side once more, strengthening his blade with the might of his clan. And he swore that one day, he would make the Triad pay for what they did. But he never got the chance. Of course, that's not the story of Alanus the Triad tells. Wait, is it Alanus or Alanus? Alanus, Alanus. I've heard some people say Alanus as well. It's all the same to me. Ten thousand. <laughs> There are 10,000 souls inside that blade, and they are angry. Devlin proved that to me, and he only nicked himself with the blade. Oh, speaking of, there it is. Okay, but you're going to go crazy if you touch that thing, right? <laughs> so, how are you going to kill me with it? That is why you're here, right? Who said I was going to kill you with it? Wait, really? Well, what else are we doing here, then? <laughs> well, you see... I imagine it's pretty easy to take over my body when there's only one lonely little soul inside of me. Uh, yeah, I guess. Exactly. Exactly. So, how do you handle 10,000? Wait, what? But don't tell me you're gonna- Stop! <laughs> you fucking idiot! You still, still think, think I, I can't, can't control, control you? you? Let's, Let's see, see if you're right! That's it, that's it. Come under my control. Fuck me. Damn. Guess you were right. That's not even my blood anymore. Even if you let go of that thing. I still couldn't possess you. You've cut me off. Well done, Albus. You're with your brethren again. <laughs> 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 
But there's a problem with that, my good bastard. With all those souls fighting for control, your mind is fucked. <laughs> and the rest of you too. Wow. You couldn't even let go of that blade if you tried. So while I can't control you, I can still point you in the right direction. And besides, I think your new friends would love to pay the overworld a visit. What do you say? You want to be a good boy? <laughs> then hear me and obey your master. After all, a good dog knows its place. <laughs> say no the presents whoa a sweater did you make this big sister i knew it <laughs> i love it thank you big sister you're the best hmm. what oh no i really do love it big sister but I wanted to show Mr. Devlin. Where is he? He's really coming. Well, he's late. Am I gonna be so mad when I see him? I'll never forgive him. Well, okay. Maybe I will forgive him. But only if he's really nice to me. Like he's gonna have to buy me all the fluffles! We're gonna go buy food? Okay! I'll get ready too! Sister! Sister, where are you? Mr. Devlin! You're here! Oh, thank the good gods above you're both safe! I thought he'd found you! Who, Mr. Devlin? Sister, you don't know. Don't know what? I wanna know! Karano, sweetheart, go to your room. I'll come get you when I'm ready, okay? Oh, is this one of those adult conversations? What? No, how do you... It doesn't matter. Just go and I'll be with you soon, okay? Hmm, okay. A demon was sighted crossing the border into the overworld. It tore a massive hole in the wall and laid waste to craft home. Yes, I agree. This definitely sets back our plans to leave, but there's more. The news outlets have been showing footage of the demon. Look. You see that too, right? That demon. It's Albus. I don't know. I don't know how that's possible. My my guess is that Kravitas might have something to do with it, but who knows? As soon as I saw this, I had to find you and Karano. I had to know you were both safe. We need to get you both to the bunker. Why? Sister, he's coming here. Everyone thinks he's wandering around aimlessly because he's not going after any major districts beyond Craft Home. They are wrong. I've mapped out his trail. He's coming straight here, and no one knows it. I know, it's a lot to take in, but we don't have any time. If he's coming here, I don't know what he'll do when he arrives, but I want to be prepared for the worst. Are you with me? All right, let's go talk to Karano. She'll have a lot of questions, I'm sure. Hello, Karano. Is it safe to come out now? Not yet. I need to talk to you about something. It's going to sound a little scary, but I need you to be brave. Can you do that? Oh, okay. There's someone coming here, Karanu. Someone dangerous. And I'm worried that this person might try to hurt you or your big sister. Now, I'm going to talk with them, 
but if things don't work out, I need you to be there for your big sister, okay? Do whatever she says and help her wherever she needs it. Do you understand? I understand, Mr. Devlin. Are you gonna be okay? I'll be okay, sweetheart. Now go with big sister, she'll take you to the bunker. Sister, one last thing. Before all of this happened, I was uncovering some secret operations carried out by different groups linked to the Triad. There's more to this than either of us realize. I haven't found anything on Subdelta, but never mind. I'll talk to you about it if we survive this. Good luck, sister. What did you say? What will I do if I can't reason with him? Well, if all else fails, I'll have to kill him. Yes, I hope it never comes to that either. Hello, brother. Can you hear me? We missed you... a lot. What has happened to you, brother? Can you hear me? Wait, is that the Blade of Arlenas? Why? When did you... You couldn't understand me even if you wanted to, could you? I understand that all too well. If there's even one chance you can hear me in there, I want you to know. I protected her, brother. I protected her from the monsters. But I never thought you would be one of them. Brother. Albus. Please, say something. I suppose I should have expected that. Well, if that's all there is to say... <laughs> then I'll show you how I've kept her safe! I wonder if you'd stay... Uh -huh. You know the things I've kept away I wonder what you'll do Would you charge me with your hate? You never really knew Just how terribly needed you you are nowhere to be found I was falling fast into the ground Have I lost? Have I lost you? Have I lost? Have I lost you? Of that night, there was no one there to end the fight. Remember what I did. He was no one really, just a kid.
much, but not enough, you see. I thought that it's okay. Dying slowly, just today.
This is this what you feel, is it, Albus? The heaving of your chest. You feel your heart beating in your head. The stiffness of your arms as you try to keep fighting. It's everything I thought it would be like. I can't stand it. But I suppose I was never much of a fighter to begin with. How was I? Yes, of course. Come on, then. I can keep going. For as long as you need me to. What the... Ah, my leg... Well, so much for that. I guess this is it. Go on, Albus. You win. I take your victory. I won't stop you. But before you kill me, I just want you to know how proud I am to call you my brother. And I hope you're proud of me, too. Why are you just standing there? What do you... Sister! Mr. Devlin! Corrado, stay back! Sister, what are you doing? No, stop! Stay away from him! Ah. Hold on, Mr. Devlin! I know first aid! Sister... The key? It's the sword, sister! The sword is possessing him! You have to make him let it go! I hope you know what you're doing, sister. Good luck. so much noise in my head. I can't... I can't think. Oh, oh shut up. Oh, shut up! Gotta make... Oh, gotta make sense of this. Gotta... Oh, I can't... I can't... What was that? That voice. I know that voice. You know my name. How? How do you know my name? Don't I remember? I, uh... I think I do. I just... Uh, it's hard to think. I can't... They're all screaming. In my head. I don't know what they're saying. So angry. So angry. I can't even make out what their words. It, it all just comes out as yelling. What are they saying? What do they want from me? But your voice. It's not yelling at me. Please, speak some more. I beg you. I need more. I need it. Such a beautiful voice. So kind. So gentle. So innocent. Faithful. It's you. Isn't it? Why are you here? You can't be near me. You can't. I might hurt you. What are you doing? No, stop! Don't look at me! I didn't want you to see me like this. Why are you here? I came to you. No, no, that... That's not right. I... I was trying to protect you. Protect you from, from me. Gravitas, he. He brought me back, but. 
he was going to possess me, I... I had to find the blade of Elanus. I figured it was the best way to free myself from... Where even am I? I'm in the overworld again. Why? Why am I... Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh. Of course. That's why I'm here. I wanted to make them suffer. For what they did to me. To all of us. Lord Miriel. It wasn't our choice. We didn't ask to be controlled! We just wanted to help! We didn't want to be so scared. But why are you? Of course. You're on their side, aren't you? That's why you're here. You don't want to save me. You just want me to stop. For their sake. Well, I won't do it! They deserve everything I'm going to do to them! I bet you aren't even really here. You're just some illusion projected into my head. They've done that shit to me before. The Tryon. <laughs> That's what this is. You're not real. So leave me. Stop torturing me. Save your breath. You won't win this. You're still here, huh? <laughs> you can prove you're really here. Is that so? How's that? My ring. Where did... I never told anyone about that ring. Why do you have that? Answer me! The only thing of me you saved. Faithful. It really is you. Isn't it? Only you would do something so... nice... for me. <laughs> God... I'm sorry. I am so sorry, Faithful. I didn't want you to see me like this. <laughs> what? You're happy to see me. <laughs> you don't have to lie to me. You're not lying? No, of course you're not. I should know you better than that. But why? Why are you happy to see me? You thought I was dead. You'd moved on. I wish I could have stayed dead. I wouldn't have ruined your lives. You have reason to celebrate now. Celebrate what? My birthday. What are you talking about? I don't have a birthday. You... found it. <laughs> I never knew my birthday. You really found it, didn't you? Damn it! Why am I crying again? <laughs> I swear, you're the only one who can break me like this. Happy birthday! <laughs> oh my gods. And then you make me laugh. How dare you make me smile after all that. <laughs> you must think I'm weak. I mean, look at me. I can't do anything right. And now, I can't do anything at all. I'd say at least I can't do anything wrong, but uh, 
<sighs> well, look how well that turned out. Just let go. Faithful, I'm not in control. It's like the pain is forcing me to hold it tighter. Even if I could, I... I don't know what will happen. I might kill you. I can't do it. I'm sorry, Faithful. But it's impossible. Ow! Oh! Okay, you know, despite how much I missed you, I really didn't miss that. What? I'm not alone in this. But, but Faithful, I might kill you. We've done the impossible before. <sighs> okay. I'll... I'll do my best. Thank you, Faithful. Here goes. <laughs> Sister? What happened? What did you do? Watch out! What's he doing? He's... I think he's fighting it. Carano! Fucking kill me! Albus? Uh, Albus, are you alright? Wait... Albus? I don't know what that word means... anymore... Oh, 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 hey, my scars are back. I feel like there's poetry in there somewhere. Oh, hey, Faithful. Did you miss me? <laughs> oh, I missed you too. What? Oh yeah, I still have my horns. Oh, call me crazy, but uh, I don't think that's all. Hold on. Ooh, that's better. What the... How did you do that? Don't know. Guess it's something left over from my possession. Your leg okay, by the way? It's fine. Does that mean it'll go away on its own? Your guess is as good as mine. Albus... York? Who's the brat? Wait. Don't tell me that's- Yeah, it is. The girl we saved. <laughs> Holy shit. How you doing, kiddo? Holy shit? Albus! What? What'd I say? Chrono, sweetheart. We don't say that word, okay? Oh, okay, Mr. Devlin. Oh. <laughs> Why don't you go inside and play for a little while, sweetheart? I'll come join you shortly. You will? Okay. See you soon, Mr. Devlin. Nice meeting you, Mr. Albus. <laughs> Mr. Albus, <laughs> I never thought I'd see the day. <laughs> you fucker! Oh, language, Vinny. Don't you Vinny me? You don't get to be alive this whole time and get away with it. I wasn't alive. I did die. Kravitas brought me back. Said it was because there was a small piece of you that believed he could do it. So, he did. Eventually. Eventually, that's what he told me. But how okay, did- look, Dev, look, I get that you have a million questions right now, but we don't have the time. And you know why. Oh, right. They're still coming for you, aren't they? To avenge Craft Home. We should go. Where? 
Anywhere, you saw, I can teleport now. Not sure how I know this, but I'm pretty sure we can leave the planet too. Leave the planet? That's great, actually. The sister was going to do that anyway. Okay, the sister, but what about you? I... I can't. Not anymore. Sister, I was going to bring this up under different circumstances, but I can't go with you. On my last journey before I arrived here, I found damning evidence of the Triad conspiring to kill people in an attempt to create societal martyrs. What's worse is that I have a suspicion it goes much deeper than that. What I'm saying is I can't leave. I can't just sit idly by and watch my home destroy itself. Not while I know I can bring the corruption of the Triad to light. I'm sorry for not telling you this sooner, but I couldn't find the right time to do so. Devlin, this path you're choosing to walk, it won't end well. Believe me, I know. But I also know I can't stop you. So, I won't. It's a noble dream. It suits you, brother. Thank you. I was hoping you might want to stay too, sister. I know how strong your desire for justice is, and I'll do everything in my power to keep you and Karano safe. At least that was the plan, but now that Albus is back, I won't hold it against you if you want to be with him. Devlin, we both know she's better off We are you. not doing this again, Albus! Okay, fine. If that's the way it is, then you've got to decide, Faithful. I won't push you one way or the other. You know I can't stay. And... I'd like it if you were with me, too. But it's up to you. Come with me, or stay with Devlin. It's your choice, Faithful. We won't judge you for whatever choice you make, sister, but I'm afraid you must choose. <laughs>